sus. Good morning, everybody. I hope you're all having a wonderful start to your day. I'm here to ruin it. <laughs> What's up, everybody? We're playing an interesting game today. I'm not sure how this is going to go. All I know is <laughs> I had to jump through so many hoops to be allowed to play this game on stream. Um, if you look at the official website, which we have a link to in the description, it warns you very clearly <laughs> that this game, From Madness to Love, contains strong language, sensitive topics, violence, horror, frequent nudity or sexual content, unreasonable scenarios, unintelligible nonsense, and very loud noises. And to please proceed with caution. Um, it's gonna be one hell of a day. <laughs> Keep in mind... I have not gone through any of the trigger warnings, but things that I know for sure are involved in this are like anything you find in a basic, like a very simple PWP fan fiction. I know that there's like spoilers for like 10 seconds. I'm just going to mention like three things that may scare some people away. So if you don't want to hear any like trigger content warnings, cover your ears for like 10 seconds. Three, two, one. Okay. There is definitely non-con. There's definitely age-related stuff, and there is definitely murder and abduction and torture. With that said, <laughs> sounds fun. I know, right? Okay, I'm sure everyone's back. If that's not your cup of tea, feel free to leave. The other thing that I do know about this game, one of the love interests is a teacher. You are playing as a student. The other love interests are all students. I believe they're all 17 to 18. So keep that in mind. This is fiction, but yeah, it's fiction. So, we're just playing a story about fiction. We're going to have fun with it. We're going to play around with the idea. I don't want people to be jumping in and being like, but, but that's a teacher, Fuchan. And you're a student. That, that's a power imbalance. I don't want to fucking hear it. Fiction. We're going to have fun today. We're going to fuck around. We're going to play around with things. And we're not going to care about any of that shit. It's a PWP kind of game. It's a little silly, you know, not super plot heavy more fun for the masses kind of game what a time for chat to die <laughs> this is your average ao3 tags yeah pretty much that's what i'm saying for anyone who's like spent any kind of time in this place like this is this is going to be nothing I, it's not going to hit like fadamoru level like darkness or deepness or anything like that i don't think it's even going to hit like doki doki literature club kind of stuff i just think it's going to be a lot of unintelligible stuff it's going to be a lot of silly stuff but at the same time, there are going to be adult scenarios and there are going to be things that if you come in and you're like, oh, but in reality, this would be bad. Yeah, no fuck. <laughs> no duh. So yeah. With that said, I killed chat to make my case. Yeah, pretty much. I took everybody out. So if you actually do want to look up all the tags, I'm pretty sure you can find that. But yeah, it's fiction. We're going to have fun. We're not going to sit here and be like, oh, but they're... You know, they're in school and he's a teacher and this and that and this and this. we're just gonna have fun with that said this is from madness with love it should be a good time 
Um, a lot of warnings already in the description. <laughs> there is a streamer mode, which will get rid of the nudity, at least. <laughs> there is nudity in the main game, but they give you the option to take it out, which is nice of the company. And it's fully voiced in Japanese. So I am going to let the Japanese voices play, and then I'm going to do my best to voice act them in English. So we're going to have both a Japanese and an English voice track. And I've already set it up so that the voice should be kind of balanced. However, as it says in the warning about there being random loud noises, <laughs> some of the voice lines are super quiet. Some of the voice lines are super loud. So, and yeah, there's these sound effects, which are already I have down to the minimum volume and the music. The music and the sound effects are down to million volume with the voices at maximum volume. And even then, I don't know what that sound's supposed to be. It's not a cat. They use all kinds of interesting sound effects in this game. Sounds like some sort of fish. But anyway, let's jump into this. Let's see what this is about. Now that sounds like a cat. A cat being like spun around in the air. <laughs> Please enter your last name. Overdees. No, I'm kidding. Just Ovid. Wow. Oh. Overdees. No. You're more intelligent than that, Fuchan. Come on, hold yourself together. Please enter your first name. Folger. I know my name. Is Ovid Folger correct? In that way of pronoun... Yeah, sure. Would you like to turn on streamer mode? Slight adjustments will be made to CGs that show a lot of skin. You can use this mode if you're streaming, or perhaps if the side of a man's body would make you go a little crazy. And that's a good start to a game. Because of that, I kind of want to do normal mode. But at the same time, I want this VOD to survive. So... <laughs> Don't tell me normal mode chat. You know I want to. You could play this by yourself if you want to see the... In fact, you can actually go through the CGs and then unrestrict it after you've like gone through the game. We're going to do streamer mode. I want the VOD. All characters, locations, and organization in this game are work of fiction. Please be aware that there are elements of violence, horror, and otherwise sensitive topics within the contents of this game. See, that's a nice, like, unspoilerific way to just say, hey, don't be a baby. <laughs> this game has no intention of criticizing any people or organizations nor of promoting any criminal acts thank you for understanding now then please enjoy from madness with love i can't with the little voice oh god <laughs> they weren't joking about the sudden loud noise <laughs> you know even that Whoa, it actually sings. Kinako wa kirai. Kinako wa daikirai? I like the teacher. Teacher kind of hot looking already. He kind of has short Vox Arcuba hair. Baby boy. Ah, sporty boy. What was with. But Odin doesn't suck ass. <laughs> What are these lyrics? <laughs> I love you, Kiriko Hayashi. <laughs> Don't put that in, it's too big, I'll die. There's no one left to help you now. What am I reading? Kinoku wa kirai, Kinoku wa takirai. <laughs> okay, we're gonna have fun with this. Oh, damn! That was quite a lot of skin, even in streamer mode. Okay. Interesting. <laughs> We're into the game now, I guess. I did not expect a full-fledged, like, little music video at the beginning. What is this melody? Screw the melody! What with the lyrics? Don't put that in me, I'm gonna die. Is that why they hate mushrooms? Oh, no. The fleshy Kinoko. <laughs> now the lyrics make sense. Kinoko wa kirai. <laughs> I didn't know where they said, whether they said Daikirai or Tabinai at the second one. Man, Fu, please. Come at me. 
It's this kind of game. Get used to it. <laughs> this is what we're dealing with today. Okay. My name is Folga. I'm 17 years old. I just transferred to Koshi... Koshian Kamaru... Koshian Kadamaru... Kadamaru... Koshian Kadamaru in Private Academy this month. Actually, just two months ago, my old school got bombed by a terrorist. I survived the attack, so I started going here since it's close to my home. Damn. It looks like a school for rich kids. So while I'm super excited to see how beautiful it is, I'm also worried I won't really fit in. Also, it... There were a lot of, like, eels and stuff in, like, the intro animation, and I know, like, the teacher has a seahorse in his hair. Um, are we underwater? Am I a merman? <laughs> anyway, I don't know if I'm shivering with anticipation or if I'm trying to hide my anxiety, but I found myself in front of the school gates in the blink of an eye. I'm a little early, but since I'm here, I guess I should take a look around. Where should I go? Okay. You know where I'm going. I already said where my bias is lying. We're going to try and find the teacher who's probably in the nurse's office. He's wearing like a white jacket. He's either into science or medical shit. Let's go. <laughs> and preg already. Just up. Oh, yep, we're definitely underwater. Okay. <laughs> Just because there are seahorses around here and possibly clownfish. God damn it, man. I should make sure I know where the nurse's office is in case I need to get to it in the future. I do get migraines. But Wow. Rich people's schools really are incredible. It's all so beautiful. Not yet, but it might. <laughs> hmm? Good morning. Has your health deteriorated? That voice. The man before me had a large stature, a friendly face, and a seahorse in his hair. Oh, no, sorry. I don't actually need anything. I just came to school early so I could explore it a little bit. Yo, his voice is so rich. It's deep, but it's got that rich and soft. It's an interesting balance of everything. It's like rich, airy, and deep at the same time. He sounds very soothing. It's nice to meet you. I'm Arakawa Shuji, the health teacher. If your health is ever in decline, or if your heart is hurting, or even if you just want to see me, then feel free to come on down. Yo, he invites me in immediately. Okay, I'm Folger. I transferred here from Eichi Sanko High School. That, um, seahorse in your hair. It's really cute. It really is. Although its face is kind of all curled up. and it's, it's fine. It's fine. He, he's pretty rough. I, I'm sure he's had a long night. Yeah. That is completely unrelated. <laughs> yes, I ate salmon this morning, so I've been deathly pale. Salmon? It's been really popular around here lately. I just tore some up yesterday myself. He actually said panoramic in English. Oh, good. He's ditzy too. I love him. <laughs> oh, my. That's very panoramic. Unfortunately, though, this old nurse has a meeting to attend. I'll have to be excusing myself. No! Come back, Sensei! I was about to faint. I promise you, you could have carried me in. The nurse went into his office. I don't think we were really on the same page back then. No, we were not. And I had a bunch of questions for him. But I noticed he smelled really good as he walked by. You see, chat? Do you get it now? Deodorant will just ruin things. Just, you know, a little bit of musk, a little bit of cologne. That's when you know shit is good. When you can smell that you enjoy someone. Wood? Yeah, probably smelled like wood. That's all it takes. It's a little bit of wood on top of your natural scent. Well... I shouldn't bother him. I guess I should head to my classroom. Get tempted by my smell. <laughs> like a fish who seeks fish food. What do fish eat? I mean, detritus, smaller fish. Anyway, let's see. I'm in year two, class pom-pom. Yeah. Class pom-pom? Oh God, there's gonna be a lot of that randomness, isn't there? <laughs> there were already several students in the classroom. The students in their blooming crimson uniforms were all crowded around each other. I need to be able to get along with them from here on out. So I took a big breath and called out. 
ごきげんよう。Greetings! That's, that's, that's a different boy, right? Okay, he interrupted me. Okay, good. <laughs> I was like, that can't be my voice. I'm not that Genki. I'm not that energetic. <laughs> the very first voice I heard sounded strangely familiar. Yo, I love his design. The dark circles around his eyes in red. The two little hair clips, the earring, and the little fang. Okay. Damn it. He's actually kind of sick. The very first, first, blah, blah, blah. the very first voice I heard sounds strangely familiar. Sounded strangely familiar. Hey, is that Foger pumping out Gamma? Um, he, he knows me. Am I famous? Wow, so did. <laughs> what? He's got a cool voice, but I have no idea what the shit he's talking about. <laughs> Remember me? It's Saiki. Saiki Yusuke. It's the rice plus. Got it? I'm guessing that's like the kanji in his name. <laughs> I remember now. Before the explosion, he went to the same school I did. He's a total hottie who had all the girls swooning. But I'd always avoided guys like that. I don't really get along with people who get fawned over for absolutely no reason. <laughs> Damn, he's throwing shade immediately. He's like, oh, the girls wanted him. But it, there was no reason for it. <laughs> he sounds like a mix of Albin and Dopey. <laughs> I think Albin could hear that voice really well. Dopey probably could as well. I think he's closer to Albinian. But yeah, Dopio could probably hit that voice as well, just because he's such a good voice actor. Albanyan could totally pull that off, though. He'd just need to use less cat energy and more, like, Genki energy. Need to throw in a little bit, you know, that kind of sound. Anyway. <laughs> oh, I never thought we'd end up in the same class. Maya, A, Blender, Senso, 3D Max. This one is Is he okay? <laughs> the yaoi hand. The hand is massive. It's bigger than his head. At the same time, Maya, AE, After Effects, I'm guessing, Blender, which is a 3D program, War, 3DS Max. Is he okay? Yeah, that's more than three. How is that? Maya, AE, Blender, War, 3DS Max. It's the three wonders of the world. Okay, good. I'm glad I'm not some... I was about to say, is there some translation errors? No, he's just not making sense. I don't get what he's saying, but he's such a ray of sunshine. Psyche stuck to me like glue after that. Better than having no friends at all, though, but I am a little worried about how things are going to go at school from here on out. Oh no, I'm stuck with the airhead. He's so dempo. Oh, there's something slightly off about that bell. It feels like we're already in a horror game. The way it cut out super early too. <laughs> He's Dopio coded. Now Dopio always makes sense. It's a bit tuny, but Pio Chan always makes sense. You just have to read between the lines and get what things he's referencing. <laughs> this guy, he's just saying whatever comes into his head. <laughs> After getting through orientation and officially kicking off the new term, Saiki and I were called over to talk to our homeroom teacher, Izzy Hart. Oh my god, I love that voice. <laughs> I didn't expect that. Everyone's been so cool so far. Hmm, so both of you transferred from that school and you're starting your second year together. Ovid and Saiki. It seems Ayurakun, the student council president, is planning to even tour the school to the new students. Go ahead and wait at the entrance of the first floor. <laughs> I love Chalamparan them. Express Canada. <laughs> what the fuck are you? Okay. So it's a champion Express Canada. I wasn't too happy about being with Saiki, honestly. But we headed down to the first floor together since it's on our teacher's orders. I'm glad my, like, POV character isn't swayed by his hotness either. He's just like, oh, God. How do I deal with this dude? <laughs> Oh my god. JP Mickey. Yo! It kind of did sound like Mickey the Mouse. <laughs> I can't actually do Mickey the Mouse though. Damn it. <clears throat> A group of students who might or might have not been familiar faces gathered by the entrance, talking to each other as they glanced sidelong at the other students leaving the school and all the fish. Soon enough though, a person who seemed to be the student council president clapped once, standing on the landing of the grand staircase by the entrance. Uh-huh. 
Folger, save me from this. Tell me what he's saying. That's some eldritch shit. With that, he descended the stairs and began the tour. Wait, you're not even going to comment on that? So that was Aorta, Senpai. Oh, God, I'm pronouncing... Well, is it Aorta? I guess. In Japanese, it would be Aorta, but I'm going to say Aorta because it's like the heart, right? The student council president of Koshien Camp... Koshien Kadameruin Private Academy. He looked like he'd have a stick up his ass, but I guess he's actually passionate and serious enough to be the student council president. Reverse playback. I thought it was reverse. He's got a cool sounding voice as well. Why would they do that? The flavor is furry roach, see? What? Psyche poked me in the shoulder and then went on ahead. I'm just not going to question him anymore. I followed suit hurrying off to a order, senpai. Uh, uh, he just says what he wants. It's fine. We're not addressing it. I think after... Oh my fucking god. <laughs> I think after Saiki, we're just rolling with whatever. <laughs> what is that writing, though? Like, does it make sense if you... Oh. I was going to see if it, like, made sense if you, like, read different bits backwards. It's perfectly fine in the backlog. Allow me to show you around the school. I'm the student council president Aorta. I'm very happy to be here today. I'd like to give a warm welcome to all of you who just cho who chose this historic and honorable academy. Now then, I'll begin the tour in the first floor. Please follow me. <laughs> Why did they make it backwards? <laughs> this is the nurse's office. If you're ever feeling sick, you can come here. Mr. Arakawa Shuji is our nurse. Okay. <laughs> I mean, I guess they did that in Fata Morgana, too, so... <laughs> Hello, everyone. I'm the health teacher, Arakawa Shuji. I hope we can get well acquainted. I promise to support your physical and mental well-being. Please feel free to come by whenever you'd like. I'm gonna be coming by a lot. So far, he's the only one in this game who makes sense to me. <laughs> and he was the first one I saw, and I was like, yeah, I'm going for him. Mr. Arakawa, can you tell us the secret to good health? You were meant to be the one, Arakawa sensei. You were supposed to be the one. Why are you making no sense now? Oh, lemons are quite bitter if you eat them within a week of purchase. Any questions? I have many questions! Pizza. My pizzas are salted! <laughs> I'm going to eat one of these pizzas. That's so hard, even for me. Let alone, oh my god, the L's and R's. Ah. This is my seahorse. Lolaleron, lolaleron. It's been tangled in my hair since last year. I can't seem to get it out. So we've been cohabitating. <laughs> that sounds like a problematic relationship to me. A whole fucking year. That shit must be smelly by now. Get it. <laughs> I'm pretty sure you get it means like, I get it. But it just translated as labau. Okay, Psyche, you've warmed your place up in my heart again. You get it. <laughs> Lolodon wasn't backwards in the middle of that. What the? They're really working hard on this. Everything was backwards except for Lolodon, Lolodin. A round of applause. Hmm. A round of applause. What kind of voice do I give him that isn't like Mr. Arakawa? I guess a bit more youthful. There we go. This sounds kind of intelligent and smart, yeah. A round of applause for Mr. Arakawa Shuji and his seahorse. Lolodon, Lolodin. <laughs> I don't really get what Edo Senpai is saying. Oh, okay. You don't understand him. What the hell, dude? <laughs> Love this game already. I, I think I'm just going to spend my time with Arakawa Sensei. 
Saiki is like hurting my brain and Aorta Senpai is hard to read. <laughs> There's a fourth character though. We haven't met them yet. I kind of got the gist of it from context. Why did we change scenes just for him to be... Okay. After going around the school, we all dispersed. <laughs> in order to get away from the latest pain in my ass, Saiki. Okay. Okay. This is what's interesting about the game. You think you're just getting messed with, and then the main character is like, yeah, no, he is a pain in the ass. <laughs> I don't understand Aorta Senpai. <laughs> I headed over to the courtyard and got some eel milk from the school store. Ugh. You actually milk an eel? They're not mammals. Can you, mm. <sighs> Am I ever going to find a friend other than Saiki? No. Hey. Hey. Oh. Who's there? They're tiny. Oh my god, their fucking jumper is so big on them. They must have an older sibling. Unless it's just a style choice to make them look even smaller. Are you gonna be my friend? God, I have too much energy. <laughs> I want that. He pointed at my eel milk. Should I give it to him? I. <laughs> oh, nay. <laughs> what the? F I'm, I'm gonna go with I. Uh, uh. He's a small child. You know what? Yeah. Drink my milk, tiny child. Grow bigger. Become strong. I will nourish you. <laughs> oh my god, the face. <laughs> he snatched my milk and started slurping it down. Please don't take that out of context, for the love of God. Okay. He's a happy child now. I think he fell asleep. Tastes like a baby's quads. How do you know that? I'm not sure what babies taste like, but the scent of this milk it really is addictive, huh? What year are you in? And your class? Actually, what's your name? I thought Aorta-kun would be like the Yandere character. This kid seems like the more scary one. <laughs> Hello? Oh, Oh shit, that voice is amazing. <laughs> Don't act like you can talk to me, you pitiful bystander. He's just gone. He's just gone. <laughs> huh? You talk a lot more clearly than I thought you would. He folded up the milk carton and just walked off somewhere. But seriously, I gave him free milk and this is how he repays me? This is how old city folk are? Wow. Cool. Oh god, I'm into it. No. Fuchan, please. <laughs> Not on the first day. Oh, well. He seems like he'd be pretty hard to make friends with. I'll just give up for today and start making friends tomorrow. I'll head home for now. He's so into it. He was like, damn, that's cool. Do you want to save here? Sure, why not? I don't like the cat sound. Why is it so loud? I Legitimately, chat, look at this. Um... This is how I have to have the sound settings for the music not to blow up and to actually be able to hear things. Why is the cat sound so loud? Yes, continue playing. Oh my god. Good morning. Good morning. Oh, good, good morning. I thought Aorta Senpai might be here as part of the Student Council's welcome campaign, so it was only right for me to respond back. Sounds concerned. Ah, oh, you're that second year who transferred here. I'm supposed to distribute these to freshmen, but if you'd like, you can have one as well. Please be ill milk. I need more ill milk. Nope. Aura Senpai handed me a sheet of paper. What could it be? Oh, you're recruiting for the occult research club? That sounds fun and dangerous. You might find it unexpected for the student council president to belong to a club like this. But it's difficult to say such unscientific things truly don't exist. So in order to find concrete evidence, I joined the club. He looks so embarrassed about it. He's sweating. Aw. That's okay. That sounds like a fun club. Just hang around telling ghost stories all night. I'd imagine once what they do. However, the club has suffered a sharp decline in membership and is now on the verge of being disbanded, so I'd like to extend an offer to you to help with our research. You look worried about something. 
I'll admit I was surprised to see our straight-laced student council president as part of this kind of club. But really, is something bothering you? The occult research club only has five members between the second and third years? Even though this school is so massive. Oh no. Does that mean the club might get disbanded? Maybe I should go check it out after school. Oh, he looks so shy. That's actually kind of adorable. Surprisingly endearing coming from him, who so far hasn't had much of a personality other than being the student council president. He's a bit, you know, into cute things. <laughs> but for the time being, I gave him a slight bow and headed off to my classroom. Bye-bye, Ayoda Senpai. I'll join you at your club tonight. Unless I get an offer from Arakawa Sensei. Konnichiwa. Good afternoon. Psyche greeted me as soon as I entered the classroom. Ah, oh, good morning. So done with him. Um, so do you have any ideas about what club you'll join? <laughs> Yo, is that a reference to Club Penguin? <laughs> oh, that's okay, okay, that's pretty good. The Shampoo Drinking Club, the Gaming Club, or the Pingu Club? Which one you dig? I think the Gaming Club sounds good. Hell yeah. But in that case, you might as well just go home and play games by yourself. Why would you have to do it at school? Shampoo drinking? Don't question it, chat. At this point, we just have to accept the things he says. What about you, Puddle? P -p Puddle? Uh, no. My name's Folger. You literally called it out on the first day. But I haven't decided yet either. Unless that's like a cute pet name. Anyway, I was just in some regular art club at our old school, so I think it'd be fun to try joining a club that's unique to the school. I've only just thought about the fact that we're all normal humans, but for some reason we're underwater. <laughs> you got dirt mesh extract seasoning powder? Wheat, soybeans, chicken, and pork? Dirt mesh that, that just sounds like the seasoning for, like, ramen or something. Why is the school bell now dubstep? What the fuck is going on? <laughs> the bell rang. Classes are starting today, so I really need to get my head in the game. Okay. Dubstep is a good way to wake up, I guess. <laughs> is that another bell? Or... Yeah, I guess it is. We have a different bell for every part of the day. <laughs> It's finally lunchtime. Where should I eat? Oh, God. I don't know. Um, Who do we think would be where? Central Hall, classroom. The classroom is probably Saiki because we we're in the same class. Courtyard. Maybe Aorta Senpai. I can't go to the nurse's office. I guess I'll go Central Hall. Uh, that little kid likes eating. He, surprisingly, the very sadistic little tiny boy is probably the most like normal of the other two that aren't the sensei. So I think if I can't spend time with sensei, I'm going to spend time with the tiny kid. He's probably in the central hall, right? He likes food. Or would he be courtyard? I'm going to try central hall. That's a big old crab. <laughs> Get that crab some food. Oh, sushi. Delicious. Sushi. Uh, eating lunch in the central hall sounds kind of cool. Like I'm really putting myself out there or something. Oh, yeah. <gasps> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> okay, he doesn't remember my name, but I chose correctly. Oh dear, you're the one I met yesterday. Spring ro 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 Jonathan, I believe. Spring roll Jonathan. Spring roll and Jonathan combined. Spring roll a lola lola Jonathan, I believe. <laughs> um, Mr. Arakawa Shuji? I'm Folger. You know, I've been thinking, but your taste in names is a little avant garde. Are you eating lunch here too? Ah, uh, he's gonna be kinky, isn't he? <laughs> I can tell from some of the things he's said already. He's gonna seem like the gentle one, and then he's gonna be like, anyway, I love watching my students while I eat. Tastes even more delicious when I imagine it's their flesh. The central hall allows me to see the faces of all my precious students. <laughs> And not to worry. If someone comes to my office, an alarm will sound and I'll come running no matter what. So you're planning to eat in the central hall then? <gasps> Why don't we eat together? Also, it looks like he has big horns because of the crab. I like that. 
He wants student sushi? Exactly. <laughs> he can eat me like spaghetti. Slurp, slurp, baby. <laughs> Mr. Harakawa, if you'd like, we could eat together. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. Oh my my, that whimsy of yours is très bien. I don't fully get what he's saying. That's because he added French. But he asked me to come sit down by him, just the two of us. That's got to be a good thing, right? Yay, my first friend is the teacher. I'm that kid. I'm that kid. <laughs> oh, we're just skipping? Okay. I don't really know what to talk about, though. Um, I think animals. I mean, he's literally got a seahorse in his hair. Hey, Mr. Arakawa, <laughs> you have that seahorse in your hair. Do you like animals? Okay, he's into plants. That's a good start. Of course I do. I have plenty of mic stands living in my house. And of course I never fail to water my plants. I mean, I have a mic stand in front of me right now, but I don't... Um... <laughs> I used to have a cute little Dunkleosteus at home, but that's all in the past now. What the fuck is it? <laughs> I'm Googling this. Dunkleos. Oh. <laughs> Prehistoric armored megafish. About 382 to 358 million years ago. And it's like five times the size of a human. Um, okay. Okay, you have an interesting choice in pets. You know what? I have a big dog. I get it. Dangerous things are sometimes fun. All in the past now. It was a pun. You son of a... That took me a moment. That took me a... Yeah, the pun. Oh, God. Or he's super old. Yeah. Or he's like the dude from like... Nagino Asukara. Or the like god who's actually been in the ocean the entire time living down there. Oh, I'm sure your Dunkleosteus... I'm sure your Dunkleosteus up in heaven was really happy you took such good care of him. It was so bitter that I actually threw up. He ate his pet. Oh, you ate your pet. We're just rolling on from that like it isn't super fucking... Okay. Cutlet Tomita, I hope you eat even better nemato nematodes and grow old in good health. He turned him into a cutlet. He turned him into a cutlet. <laughs> oh, wait. Did he mean me? Was he was he comparing me to the pet? He was telling me to eat nematodes. God damn. Okay, I'll be your pet. Mr. Arakawa, I said my name is Folger. But sure, I'll eat a bunch of them. Mogu, mogu. <laughs> Sakamoto-kun wa sinao de iiko desu ne. You're such an earnest and good kid, Sakamoto. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. Oh, my, my, my. You've got magnesium oxide on your mouth. Would you care to wipe it off for me? Uh huh? Where? Um, did I get it? Holy shit, yes. I, I suppose there's no choice. Now, hold very still for me. Ah! Uh, Mr. Ark! You're so close! You shouldn't be so greedy, you know. Oops. It's about time. I should be getting back to my nest, so... I'll see you in the next knife. Holy shit. That came out of nowhere. In the middle of the student dining hall. He just did that to a student. God damn. In the next life. And he talked about his nest. Look, man. He's still the most normal of all of the people I've met. It, it's fine. It's fine. He, he He's a bit kinky. Weird. Strange. Everyone's a bit strange in this game. Look. When everyone's a red flag, <laughs> the least red <laughs> is the safest option. <laughs> Mr. Arakawa picked up his lunch and left the central hall. <sighs> but still... His delicious, his delicious scent lingered around me. So I stayed there in that spot, eating silently until it faded away. We turned it into delicious scent. Maybe this is a cannibal route. Maybe he's going to try to eat me, but I'm going to eat him. I like this game. <laughs> For the fact that I have no idea what's coming, I'm just like, this could go absolutely amazingly. <laughs> or terribly. I don't know which yet, but it should be fun. Well, 
School's out. Oi, polypropylene, propylene, let's go. Oi, polypropylene, let's go. Let go. Polypropylene, polypropylene. Why was his one so much longer? He was like, polypropylene, polypropylene. <laughs> anyway, good voice acting. God damn. Hey, polypropylene, let's go. Polypropylene, oh, okay. Hey, polypropylene, let's go. My name is Folger. Why does nobody remember my name? Psyche pulled on my sleeve, trying to drag me off somewhere. <laughs> that phrasing means something very different in English. I mean, in like the UK British slang. Maybe he wanted me to go with him to the gaming club so we could check it out together. But this morning, Aorta Senpai invited me to try out the Occult Research Club. What should I do? Yeah, I'm sorry, Psyche. The Occult Research Club sounds way better to me. Sorry. Oh, the music died. Am I about to get in trouble? <laughs> Sorry, but I promised I'd check out the Occult Research Club. It just fades out, damn. Psyche just doesn't exist anymore. <laughs> Hello, I'm Folger, a transfer student in my second year. Is this where I go for the Occult Research Club? Oh, the baby's here too. Oh, you're the one I gave the flyer to this morning. I'm grateful you stopped by. Inside the club room was Aorta Senpai and some other club members, along with the boy I'd seen in the courtyard. So he came to check things out too. Is he interested in the occult? Oh yeah, we still don't know his name. Does he have a plant growing up? If <laughs> still noticing new things. This is the president of the occult research club. He'll explain what we do here. The tiny boy is the president? Hello. Oh. He's the president. <laughs> Can I romance him? <laughs> One thing, I love his voice. For another thing, the jacket, like, sleeve looks like, over the top of the shoulders. Nice. <laughs> Wait, I want to hear that voice again. Shit, it was something like, Hello, thank you all for coming. Go ahead and take a seat over there so we can talk. Oh, thank God. So glad the student council president is also the club president. I heard the president would be explaining what they do in this club. Yeah, we'll actually be able to understand it. Thank God we can understand the fish and not the student council child. <laughs> okay. I'm Maximum More, the president of the Occult Research Club. Aorta here is our vice president. We're both excited to have you join us today. Me too. Also, why do you have human arms? I only just realized. <laughs> why doesn't he have... Are they just decoration? Is his body just going straight down, but then to look more like a human? He has like human arms attached to a jacket wrapped around his body. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm glad he could at least remember my name. But I also love the fact that in the voice acting, he was just like, Eto! Kun. The voice actor was just like given the go ahead to just be like, just make up sounds. It's fine. They get to choose their own name. Let's see. Ovidkun, was it? I'm sure you've already heard, but this club is on the verge of being disbanded. Even though you haven't joined the club just yet, we're still very grateful you stopped by. <laughs> now, without further ado, let me explain what we do here. Oh, sure. That sounds pretty serious, actually. The Occult Research Club aims to investigate unexplained and occult phenomena and solve the problems that arise due to them as they are submitted directly to us or to the Student Council through either a request form or our comment boxes. Ow! That's why this... That's why the school's name is so weird. If you shorten it down, it turns into Co Academy. Ah, uh, fair enough. <laughs> Since Co Academy is such a big school, we got requests from a lot of students. Oh, well, the majority of them come from the student council's comment box. 
We can't let this club disband. It's my duty as the student council president to ensure that student body's utmost satisfaction. I can help you with. I mean, you can examine my student body. Was what I was gonna say. <laughs> Investigate and solve problems. It really feels like this big important organization. Bad things happen when you go sticking your nose into the occult. Is that why you're about to be shut down? They're gonna keep that up, huh? I really like his voice, too. You probably don't know much about this since you've just transferred in. But there exists a rumor regarding the seven wonders of this school. Coke Academy. Over the years, we've been putting all our effort into researching these seven wonders. And... And what exactly are these seven wonders? <laughs> oh, I love him. One! A female student who wanders the long stretch of hallway between the library and cleft room on the fourth floor. That's not a mystery. That's just a female. You didn't even say it was a ghost or anything. <laughs> <laughs> Two! The mirror on the landing that connects the second and third floors of the north staircase, which leads to another world. i take that isekai. I see, that's creepy. Wait, no, it's not. We're underwater. Anyone can jump off a roof. Three! The mysterious figure who appears on the rooftop and waves before jumping off. Even though the roof is closed off. The scary part is that the roof is closed off. God damn it. God damn it. <laughs> the moans of the creatures preserved in formalin inside the first floor science room. That one's actually creepy. Yo, if they start moaning even though they're supposed to be preserved, that's fucked up. <laughs> Five! The stain which looks like a human face that appears occasionally in the back of the second stall in the third floor women's restroom. The fact that it's occasionally makes me think somebody just draws it on. <laughs> Six! The whispers coming from the North Hall when nobody's there. Seven! The rumor that anyone who sees the nurse open his eyes is doomed to die but i've seen the nurse open his eyes that one's bullshit i haven't well oh well i might be fucked later on <laughs> that's all of the seven wonders of Co academy and there are a total of over 200 rumors and requests pertaining to them filling our comment box at this very moment we're not a very good club. We're terrible at our job. Wow, those were a lot creepier than I thought they'd be. <laughs> Maybe the formalin thing. That's about it. The rest of them weren't creepy at all. <laughs> now, you may be wondering, what's with all these rumors? There must be an explanation for all of this. I simply must unravel this mystery. It's so exciting. To which I say, join us. Let's work together to solve the seven mysteries of the seven wonders. Oh, whoops. Um, 
I can't say I'm not interested in the truth. I wonder what lies beneath the mystery. And also, I wonder what language Aorta Senpai is speaking. It's okay. We could use the log. We could break the fourth wall to figure out what he's saying. Hey, Maximum, don't put so much pressure on the new students. This is exactly why we're in danger of disbandment. Mm? Tanaka kun, yes. Don't let it affect you so much, okay? There are some investigations that get pretty dangerous after all. Backwards, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. It's definitely backwards, but yeah. <laughs> the fact that he can just talk like that normally, kind of scary. He should be one of the seven mysteries. It's Tanaka now. I know, right? They're sometimes just giving me random names. At some times, the mystery remains unsolved, and still more where we end with a disappointing conclusion. Effort doesn't always yield results. Even so, we're an eccentric group whose curiosity towards the unknown trumps all. That sounds pretty fun. It's like the Scooby Gang. You must choose your own path in your club activities, following your own curiosity. <laughs> The accent is sick, hot. That's the thing. Even while it's backwards, you can hear the tone of his voice. It's a very soothing and, yeah, sexy voice. It's just like Hayota says. You've only been here a couple days now, so you should make your final decision once you've gotten a whiff of the other clubs. Whoa. The president knows what Aorta Senpai is saying? It's incredible. He really is an occult leader. <laughs> and with that, my test run of the occult research club came to an end. Oh, do I get to go to the gaming club too? Do you want to save here? Heck yeah. Um, I don't think I've done anything that will ruin my game. Well, we did have one option. We'll save after every option. Continue playing? Heck yeah. He understands. <laughs> That's the eighth mystery. <laughs> yes. The eighth mystery is those two having that conversation and not minding it at all. Today, the school is having an eel launching rally. The courtyard is so crowded with students and eels. <laughs> okay. He's throwing fish. The eels are over. Okay. I guess it's an event that gets all the students, old and new, and the teachers to mingle with each other. Right now, it seems the third year's class Poodle and class Chow Chow are competing. Huh? Oh, that's the name of the classes. Oh, they're all named after dogs. That's kind of cute. Class Pom Pom is on in an hour, it looks like. There's still some time until then, so maybe I should talk to someone. Okay, I mean, we're going to go with Mr. Arakawa. I hope you guys are fine with me going through the Mr. Arakawa route. I mean, it was either him or the kid whose name I don't know. <laughs> Uh, very weird. Literally have to run everything backwards. Yeah, I'm going with Arakawa said so. Ugh. But yeah, let me know in chat right now. Oh, yeah. Which of the four Those boys would you be most interested in? Which one's route would you be going down? This is definitely my route, but which one do you guys like? Oh, is something wrong? It's Arakawa. It's me. Well, it's not like I'm sick or anything, but I thought maybe we could talk. Or are you busy? Mystery boy, ill milk, sensei, Arakawa, everyone, Aorta. Okay. Most people kind of agreeing. Oh, a lot of people like Aorta, actually. Nobody likes Saiki. Oh, no. Poor Saiki. <laughs> a lot of people like Mystery Kid, though. Interesting. In fact, I'm going to make a poll on it. Just so you guys can continue while I do this. Um, Aorta. Sensei. I'm going to call him ill milk for now. <laughs> And Saiki. Ask your community. Oh, it's not like I'm sick of anything. Are you busy? <laughs> what a lovely thing to say. No, it wasn't. I was just asking if you were busy, bro. I have some spare time. You can sit in that chair if you'd like. Yes, I did it. Now what should we talk about? <laughs> I'm so happy that I managed to say good morning to Sensei. But damn it. What if we like Max Momore? I don't... He wasn't an option to hang out with. I don't think he's one of the romanceable ones. It would be funny if he had a secret ending, though. Are you good at any sports or do you like yours? Let's find out if he's good at sports. Are you good at any sports, Mr. Arakawa? Hmm. Well, the family business is crab fishing. And no matter what, my hamstrings are always healthy. Yeah, okay. I'm definitely getting cannibal vibes from him. I'm not even going to lie. The hamstrings always being healthy. 
The one thing he ha exercises and he likes his meat to be supple. Okay, what I'm understanding is that you like to work out? You're really tall and thin. Do you do any training? <laughs> How does that relate? How do you think that relates? These are all like terms that I would use as fucking Alan Bink. I'd be like, hey, you're looking rather tender and supple today. Should I give you a massage? <laughs> oh, you've got such big biceps. <laughs> They'd be very good served with, you know, bagua or something. I don't know. Bagua is a different type of meat. Shit. Picante. I don't know. Go ahead. Try the hanging tender. Mr. Arakawa flexed his muscles as he said that. They only bulked up a little because he's wearing his doctor's coat. <laughs> Idiot. He's a nerd. I love him. But when I actually felt his biceps, they were pretty firm, albeit thin. You must do muscle training or something. They're rock hard. <laughs> yeah, me just being like, oh, damn. That is the effect of the renowned snail extract. What? If you've got that, even your automated external defibrillator will have no troubles with the expedition. Shit, okay, he's getting weirder as we go on to. Wow. Really? So like in case a student collapses or something, you'd be able to pick them up and carry them. Not that I'm planning on collapsing or anything. You have so many students, you must look so kind and strong and cool and... Wow. Oh, God. I'm so pathetic. <laughs> Here, I made some bota and shrimp tea and take some. I don't care who you are. I don't care how hot you are. If somebody hands me a drink or some sort of food and tells me to intake it, I'm leaving. That's that's a, that's a, that's a huge red flag. <laughs> oh, thank you. And just like that, we were chatting over tea. Nah, that, that, that's a problem. <laughs> that's a problem. Oh, yo, Aiona and Eelmilk are actually really close. But yeah, Sensei completely won. <laughs> Phew, it's finally over. That ill launching rally today left me dog tired. Oh, that guy walking over there. Isn't that Aorta Senpai? Um, uh, I'll call out to him, I guess. But if I just go home, do I get a different thing? Bye-bye. Oh. I fucked up. <laughs> I, okay. My bad. I thought it'd be like, oh, you left early, so instead you run into, like, Eel Milk Kun or the other kid or Sensei. Um, we fucked up that one. We know now. We know now. Never turn it down. <laughs> we missed today order event. It's fine. So much had been going on that April came and went before I know it. Who's April? Aha. And soon enough, May settled in. Who's May? God, no. They're terrible. I had to decide which club to join fast. And if I didn't hunker down with my studies, I'd be in deep water. School life is so busy. That's a fucking underwater pun. God damn it, game. All right. I'm submitting my club application. No. Hey. Hey. Creepy kid. Oh, it's you, Mr. Whatever your name is. Someone's gonna die. Um, are you gonna kill them? What? Huh? When? Where? Go to the occult research club today. Um, join the club. But don't get involved in anything after that. But, but why? What's going on, Mr. Whatever Your Name Is? Marshmallow. Marshmallow. Huh? Marshmallow? Tamaro. Marshmallow. Oh, that's his name. I thought he was telling me he wanted marshmallows. <laughs> that's all he's wanted so far. Okay. Tamara Marshmallow. Oh, he looks so shy when he's saying it. Adorable. He left. He right, though. He may have left, but he right. We have to stop that murder. I kind of don't want to stop the murder. I, I, I feel like I want to do something else just to, you know, see what's going on. Tamara Marshmallow. Is that supposed to be his name? It's kind of weird. Wait, that's not important. He told me to go to the occult research club today, and someone might... Die? But who? 
Where? And why? I don't get it. It's impossible. But for some reason, Tamura Marshmallow's eyes looked so serious. What's going on here? He's just tricking us into joining the club. I think he's one of the five members, right? Because he was there, at least the beginning. <laughs> he's, just, he's just like, someone's going to die if you don't join the club. You. I'll fucking kill you. <laughs> After that, Tamara Marshmallow's kun's words stuck in my head, stuck like glue in my head. Good morning. <laughs> oh, he said good morning with a ah, oh, because they're gonna translate English into other languages. Got ya. Good morning. Good morning. Oh Jesus Christ, dude. Okay, now I get to do it to the confidants. Good morning. Oh. Psych. <laughs> Fucking hell, dude. Guten Morgen. Oh my god, lunch is already over. I can't be doing this. I've got to get a grip on myself. My ears. Yeah, I'm sorry, chat. It did warn us about sudden loud noises. Oh god. Yasuda. <laughs> Yasuda. Hey, Yasuda. You're the color of a footlong if it were a donut. Um. Footlong if it were a donut. So, like, very orange? Huh? Is that your way of saying I look pale? <laughs> At least he could understand him. But, but I'm fine. It's nothing, really. Mm. Mm. He said pio pio soup. That's cute. You can make pio chan into soup. It, yeah, but... You're only just barely hitting the Moripo and the Soul Fig, so like, shouldn't you be getting some chirpy soup to Kazing the Shogunate back into business? <laughs> okay. <laughs> chirpy soup. Yeah, Pio. That's where Pio Tan comes from. Pio Pio. Uh, the noise that a bird makes. Also, that makes zero sense, but he seems to actually care about us. Now I feel a bit bad about just abandoning him immediately. Are you like telling me I should go rest in the nurse's office or something? Oh, I will go see the nurse. Yeah, you're right. I must be worn out from changing schools and all. It should be fine for me to rest a bit. Thank you. Let the teacher know I'll be late, okay? Make fair. <laughs> what? Okay, he cares about us at least. And he got us to sensei. Good shit. Uh, excuse me. I did like the Boy, super loud good morning, well, even though it awesome. kind of hurt my ears as well. That voice acting went in hard. <laughs> the fact that it cut out immediately as well. They didn't even let the sound like linger. It just cut out in the middle of the morgue. Good morning. Oh, hello. The bell's already rung, you know. But you aren't looking good. Just take a seat, please. What do you need? Take fair instead of take care. Oh. Is it all going to be rhymes? I'll have to pay attention to that. Maybe the rhymes make sense. I think I'm just a little tired, really. Excuse me, Mr. Arakawa. One of my friends told me something kind of weird today. He said if I don't join the occult research club today, someone will die. I like his face here as well. He's so adorable. His sleeves are... Lips are all curled up. Sorry, I know it's crazy. Like, really? That's going to cause a death? As if. I know it's a bunch of bull, but I just can't stop thinking about it. I think you're a little too stuck in your head. What's important is not whether it's true, but how you choose to proceed. My advice is to think about what you want to do, and then act on it. What I want to do... So what do you want to do? Do you want to go back? Or perhaps you'd like to lie down for a bit. Yo, is he inviting me to bed? Wait a damn second. Um... I'll lay down? Um. Yeah, okay. I'll lie down for a bit. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, that line! Oh my. What a pointless child. Don't put it that that's not what you said. Nah, oh, goddammit. 
That's fine. Come on, Sensei. Join. Me. What the frick is in this room? Oh my god, what's all the pink things? How long have I been asleep? The room is so quiet. My mind is much clearer now, though, so it's probably time I head back to class. Uh, Mr. Arakawa? Is he sleeping? So is the seahorse. Oh god, that's cute. I see, so I'm not the only person who'll tuck it out from all these new changes. And with that, I waved goodbye to his cute sleeping face and headed back to my classroom. Uh, okay. We have the dubstep back. Awesome. <laughs> School's over. Oh, I should save now. This is where I make the choice. Do, 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 do. All right, now what do I do with that, uh, that club application? Either join a cult research, join the game club, or join the going home. I'm going to speed rush going home for like two minutes. I'm going to see if somebody dies like quickly. If not, I'm going to join the occult research. I'm getting the heck out of here. I just can't get myself to believe what Marshmallow can said. And besides, I'm looking for something more worthwhile than club activities. Going home and watching Pokemon. <laughs> All right, let's go home. Okay, I fucked up. This is going to be good. Wait. Huh? There's someone at the end of the hallway. Uh, who is that? I feel like I've seen them somewhere before. What? What? Yes. I feel... So... Oh. Now that's a red flag. Um. School is over. All right. Now what should I do about that club application? Um. Did I die? What if I do the same thing again? All right. Let's go home. Someone at the end of the hallway. Okay. In that case, <laughs> what if I join the game club? Does the game club get me killed as well? Well, we're starting our darkness arc, I guess. You didn't know this is going to be dark. Okay, let's join the game club. What? I clicked game club. Did I not click game club? I'll join the occult research club. If what Marshmallow Kun said is true, the death would be on my hands. Okay. I filled out the application, so now I have to go to the club. Maybe Saiki will be there. Okay, I did choose game club. It just, the dialogue box was wrong. It's telling me you need to join the occult club. Wait, huh? There's someone at the end of the hallway. I feel like I've seen them before. What is the... Okay, we can only join the occult club. Interesting. It begins. <laughs> it begins. We only have one option. <laughs> the illusion of choice. I mean, it's not quite an illusion. Uh, this one's an illusion of choice, but every other time I've been able to actually choose things. Okay, I guess I'll join the occult research club. If what Marshmallow couldn't said is true, that death would be on my hands. Okay. I filled out the application, so now I just have to get to the club. Pretty sure the club room was... Here. Yeah. So if I didn't join... I, I die. I die. Oh, marshmallow -kun. Just like you asked, I'm joining the Occult Research Club. But why would someone die if I didn't join? <laughs> Quit spewing shit. Oh, sorry. God, I'm so, I'm so down with him just abusing me every time we meet each other. <laughs> I knew it. You're the one who killed me, aren't you? You really shouldn't get too close to Marshmallow. Huh? He left. Shouldn't get close to him. But he's the one who told me to join this club. Well, for sure he'd be joining too. Plot thickens. Twins? That would be a pretty interesting switch. If it turned out there were two of them. <laughs> again. <laughs> You're the one who came to check us out before. Folger, right? Thank you for coming. 
活動内容はこの前言った通りです。一緒に七不思議を解明しましょう。Well, you already know what we do around here. Let's work together to uncover the secrets of the seven wonders. I still want to know more concrete details about what the club actually does. But today is more of a party for the new students. Instead, I was faced with a big warm welcome from the few existing members. Oh, boo hoo. Oh no, they had a party for me? How terrible. Do you want to save? Sure. I mean, I only got one choice anyway, but fine. Do you play? Yes. But yeah. Twins would be an interesting one. It'd be more interesting if he's actually terrifying, though. It's Saturday. 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 Finally, a day off. Now, where should I spend it? Troll the internet or study in the library? Um. I mean. Study in the library, I'll probably run into someone. Troll the internet. Seems more fun. It seems more like me. Everybody's saying troll. Okay, troll the internet. Maybe we'll find some more occult shit. Maybe we'll find out some legends about people disappearing. Changing schools has left me dog tired. So I'm just going to laze around and surf the web today. Oh, wow. Time really does fly. I was curious, so I looked it up. It seems like there's been a lot of kids going missing in this part of town. Most of them are middle schoolers. It kind of freaks me out. I'd better be careful. Oh, but I also saw some stuff about this new vanilla sea urchin burger from that famous fast food Donald. Famous fast food chain, McDonald. Looks like they're also releasing a vanilla sea urchin shake to go with it too. Gotta check that out. And that's how I spent my day off. I got McDonald. <laughs> you know what? I'm proud of myself. Trolled on the internet, got McDonald. I, I, I had my best summer vacation. Do you want to save here? Yes. And a bunch of middle school kids have been going missing. Do I, I... God, we have so many saves. Why am I doing this? But yeah, a bunch of middle school kids have been going missing. Why middle school? We're in high school for sure. Marshmallow Kun kind of looks like a middle schooler, even though he's a high schooler. Maybe that's why he's in danger? I don't know. We've got a cooking class today. I'm super excited. Omek is great because you get to learn how to cook and you don't have to worry about buying or making your lunch. <laughs> I'd like you all to split into groups. Then Miss Aida will be in charge of food prep and who will be in charge of the fire. <laughs> I love that voice. Oh my god. Wee. Wee. I'm in the same group as Psyche. What should I do? Um, I'm going to do the food prep. I want to actually have something to eat. But if he does the fire and fucks it up, we're going to end up having... Uh, well, we're underwater. You know what? You make the fire. That sounds pretty impossible. I'll do the food prep. Can I do food prep? I'll go get the ingredients. Auto low pie pressure. De derivative. What? Later. Uh, later, Yusuke. You have fun making a fire. I don't know what goes through that kid's brain. All right. I've got all the ingredients cut up. Did you get the fire started, Saiki? <laughs> I do respect his energy, though. <laughs> it's vibing like the pond slide is under the Sissipi moon, man. The Sissipi. Is that supposed to be Mrs. Hippie? I don't even know. What the fuck? Oh, he's playing with fire. Where did he get fireworks? <laughs> These flames are prime number two. You should eat some too quickly. <laughs> I fucking love this voice acting. Oh, uh, sure. So I guess he wants to play around with the fireworks with me? Shit. That's hot. Oh my god, the fireworks are going off. Yeah. <laughs> with that, my first cooking class ended in total failure. <laughs> That's okay. We had fun with fireworks. And Saiki. You know what? I'm growing to like him. I don't. Definitely don't want to pursue that as like a relationship, but as like a good friend character. Yeah, he, he's Genki as shit. He's got my back. He's taking care of me when I'm feeling sick and shit. Yeah, he, he's that guy. He's that second guy in every dating game where it's just like, oh, let me tell you everything you need to know about the school. I'll help you out when you're feeling bad. You know, the one in like, um, oh, what's that called? Gekan Shoujo Nozaki-kun. Everybody falls in love with because it's like, he, he's so awesome. He's so nice. God. I wish we could reward that nice guy. <laughs> He's your bro, your homie, exactly. Tomoda! <laughs> yes! <laughs> Finally, school's out for the day. Huh? Is that Mr. Arakawa I see over there? Oh, I'm definitely... <gasps> but if I go to my club, I think I get murdered again. 
I want to get murdered again. <laughs> now that I've joined the ORC. Oh, wow. We've got an orc. orc. I should probably actually do stuff for it. But Marshmallow said that would get me killed. Oh, Aorta Senpai isn't here today. I don't see Marshmallow-kun either. It's you! Thanks for coming! Hmm. Maybe there is a secret route for Maximum More. The student council president can make it every time we meet since he's got a lot of work for the student council too. And as you know, our club doesn't have any members to begin with. So I know this is really jumping right into the thick of things for you, but I'd like to have you investigate one of the seven wonders of Co Academy. Yeah. This is definitely going to get me killed. <laughs> There are some rumors about a female student who wanders around the hall connecting the fourth floor library in the craft room. Is this or I die? I'm happy to have something to do, but how am I supposed to know how to investigate this right off the bat? Based on existing information, it looks like this female student is wandering around the area at sunset. It's not a hot spot for students, so it's pretty quiet. So I should probably find a hiding place and see what happens. I saw these things I found in the comment box about a girl who's missing the lower half of her body and then some footsteps being heard even though no one's around. If she doesn't have a lower half of her body, how does she make footstep sounds? A door's opening when they're supposed to be locked. A lot of strange phenomena like that. I'll have to get the cameras rolling so I can gather evidence. Yo, we're going full paranormal investigation on this? Huh? D did I fall asleep? Footsteps. Is someone coming? Hey, Marshmallow Kun! That's a little close, buddy. I'm gonna die, aren't I? <laughs> I don't like where this is going. Yeah. Marshmallow Kun! Why are you here? <laughs> the right type of person is gonna really enjoy this dialogue! <laughs> You look suspicious, you perv. Oh, yeah, you're right. Hiding in a place like this would like m would make me look like some creep. Um, I'm just investigating one of the seven wonders for the occult research club, though. Definitely not laying on the ground here to look up anybody's. Don't worry about it. I heard there'd be a ghost around here, so I'm lying <laughs> in wait for it. Gaki, <laughs> Who's fucking sassy child is this? How dare he call me a child? Isn't it time for children to go home? Wait, is it that late already? I, I have to go home. Oh, I didn't get anything at all done today. She's really timid, so she's not going to make direct contact. She? D does that mean you know about the ghost from the Seven Wonders? A word of advice. Don't dig too deep, or you won't be able to get yourself back out. <laughs> but if you want to die, then do whatever. Dumbass. <laughs> I like him. <laughs> I like him. <laughs> he left. It looks like Marshmallow couldn't know knows something after all. But I can't figure out what that is. He told me not to dig too deep, but... I'm worried about Marshmallow Kun. This is also strange. But for some reason, I'm really drawn to it. In any case, I guess I'll head home for today. He called you bored in Japanese? Yeah, he called me Hug It. <laughs> Do you want to save her? Oh, but I missed a time with Sensei. That was interesting, though. This is actually the mystery and murder. You know what? I'll choose Sensei most of the time. But I'm going to bounce between Sensei and Marshmallow. That, that was interesting. I feel like this is the actual, like, plot of the story here. Hmm. Why don't you try? Well, like, reload? Because then if I play through that, I'll have a save slot where I haven't seen Marshmallow and, like, heard about the mystery and stuff. His mystery seems like the actual plot of the game. Um, it's Aorta Senpai's birthday. It's trash burning day. I mean, 
Wait, June 112? <laughs> what? Um. Um. It's trash burning day. I took out the trash. And tomorrow is for non-burnable trash. I feel like I'm forgetting something, but nah, it must just be my imagination. It's actually a day skip. Okay, I'll reload that one. We're not, we're not missing a birthday. <laughs> God damn it. Are you playing? Yes. <laughs> Poor Aorta. I mean, <laughs> it was a funny reaction, though. <laughs> he doesn't even remember my name. Why do I have to remember his birthday? It's Aorta Senpai's birthday. We totally need to celebrate. Maybe he's around here. Aha! Aorta Senpai! Probably being too loud. Yeah. Excuse me, please be quiet in the library. In any case, though, how can I help you? Oops, looks like I pissed you off somehow. Sorry. But, um, today's your birthday, right? It's a happy birthday. Here's your present. <laughs> Give him some crayons. <laughs> I choose you, Orfish. I'm, I'm gonna throw an Orfish at him. Orfish are massive. This is, this is gonna be fine. <laughs> This is an orfish. Oh, no. I shouldn't complain about a gift someone gave me. Thank you. He hates it. Oh no. I feel like I'm not getting a good response here. Did I make a mistake? Even so, I did manage to give him a present at least. That's okay. We're reloading again. Fuck you, game. No, 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 no. I'll give him the crayons. You want me to give him crayons? I'll give him crayons. Yes. He hates it. Yeah, he really hated it. He tried to be as polite as possible, but god damn, he was not happy. Uh, okay, let's go shout at him again. Make him angry, and then give him some crayons. Is this somehow worse? Are these crayons? Oh! <gasps> These beauties are legendary items. It's passed down through the generations on this planet. I've heard rumors, but I thought he was pissed off. He's, wow, he's very excited. Huh? You aren't like super pissed off? I was worried crayons would be too childish for you, Aorta Senpai. <gasps> Aww. Thank you. This is perhaps the first time I've ever been so happy to receive a gift. Hey, crayons, bro. More than anything else, it is truly special that you were able to give. You were the one to give it to me. I can't thank you enough. Really. From the bottom of my heart. Hell yeah! I, I have no idea what just happened. But I can even see the roses in the background. <laughs> it was all worth. It was worth all the worrying. Oh, I I broke the fourth wall. Bro is so cute. He really is. I bet nobody ever gives him presents because people don't even understand him. <laughs> but I'm just happy you're happy. I hope you have the best birthday ever, Senpai. And so, I order Senpai's birthday and then in success. Okay. I'm not going down that route, but that was cute. <laughs> School's out. I'm running a little late. Oh, hey, is that Marshmallow Kun over there? Maybe I should say something while well, we learned what happens when we don't call out to people. Hey, Marshmallow Kun! <laughs> Butakuzu. <laughs> God damn. I'm learning all kinds of insults in Japanese today. What makes you think you have the right to say my name, you disgusting pig? You're gonna make my ears rot off. Oh, sorry. Um, but, but I was thinking we could go home together? You make me sick. <laughs> Don't be like that. Come on. We're friends, right? We could get some yakitori cider on the way. Oh, that sounds disgusting. Ugh. Why would you turn yakitori into cider? Doesn't that sound good? Yakitori <laughs> cider. Hey, he's into it. <laughs> Can we talk about the fact that every time I meet this child, I'm like, Hey kid, I got some food. 
Get in the van, kid. I've got some food for you. Yakitori cider? That's what you want, then let's get going. Yeah, I'm worried about myself in this game. <laughs> I didn't even get given that option, man. I'm just... Oh, God. Yo, they actually did the bois. You know what? I can't even... Oh, I have a drink. <laughs> the voice actor actually cackled during that. Oh, that's fucking great that they left that in the game. <laughs> tastes like the cooled off. Cool, tastes like the cooled sweat off of a wrestler's biceps. <laughs> I love that whoever voiced that laughed and was like, you know what? No, I'm sending that voice clip in. We're keeping that. <laughs> does that mean it's good? Also, why does it feel like everybody is a cannibal in this game now? <laughs> but yeah, it's super savory. Mmm. Delish. No. Mm. What's wrong? Oh, it's raining. And I don't have an umbrella. You fucking maggot. Look, I, I, I didn't prepare for an umbrella. It's not supposed to rain underwater. Also, is this a giant whale carcass we're living in? Oh, wait. Well, no, because there's fish swimming around, so it's not like we're in a giant aquarium. So, yeah, no. Is this like a giant whale bones set or something? Looks like you don't have one either. <laughs> you called me a maggot and you don't even... Fuck you, dude. It's getting pretty heavy, so let's find somewhere to wait it out. I know, that's so rude. What the hell? Aha, we can hunker down over here. Let's go. I actually like the lighting effect on everything too, like the glowy blue shine. <laughs> you bottom feeding piece of shit. Bro, I'm just trying to get us out of the rain, dude. The underwater rain somehow. <laughs> What's with all this abuse anyway? Oh, there's a frog in your shirt. Yeah. Don't thrash around. I'll get it for you. So just take off your shirt. Oh, here we go. Stupid, idiot, dumbass, pervert, bastard! And yet you're still doing what I said. I guess the frog is just that gross. All right, Mr. Frog. Come out with your hands up. Ugh! I fell on top of him while he's topless, huh? Yeah. Oh, God. Whoa! No! The censorship makes it look so much worse. That was just going to be abdominal. What the... F okay. Okay. That's what we're going with. Uh, ow. Ow. Sorry. It looks like it's hiding something here, which I hope it's not. I mean, <laughs> let me get off of you. Phrasing. Phrasing. <laughs> no. This is fine. Everything's fine. <laughs> He's not even flinging insults. Sorry I pushed you down. Does your back or your head hurt at all? <laughs> like a monkey in heat. A, a monkey in... I am not. <laughs> He's into it. <laughs> huh? He smiled? Stop breathing, low life. Huh? Or was that just a trick of the eyes? What are you sniffing? A Tideland shellfish with five minutes left to live. Is that what I smell like? They've had some weird descriptors in this game, but that one probably takes the cake for now. Uh, wait. marshmallow could Ah, the rain stopped. And thus, the curtain of rain closed on the mysterious and strange time I spent with Marshmallow. <laughs> okay. <laughs> the one time he smiled and he tells us to die. I, I guess that's his love language. It's, it's fine. Uh, it's fine. Uh, everything's fine. Damn sassy child. Okay. Uh, it's so hot. I can't believe it's already July. I think there's a swimming lesson today. I'm not the best at swimming, but at least it'll be nice and cool. I remember Coke Academy has an indoor pool, so I bet it's real pleasant. I'm looking forward to it. Is it bad that I like him? No, he, he endeared himself to me pretty early on as well. Degradation isn't normally my thing, and I'm not like super into that or anything, even with Marshmallow Could. It's just the way he talks is very funny. The voice acting is spot on. The voice acting makes me like really be like, oh, a cute little child. Let me give you some head scratches. <laughs> and yeah, just the fact that every time I show up, I'm just like, oh, a cute little sassy child. Here, let me give you some milk. 
You're gonna grow up and be a strong boy. He's fine. <laughs> it's kind of adorable. <laughs> and the fact that he actually like smiled after calling me a monkey in heat and I fell on top of him. Like, we're getting a connection there. We're getting a connection. And on top of that, it's just about time for summer break. I should ask if someone wants to do anything summery together. But who should I invite? I mean, <laughs> shit, I kind of want to go down two paths now. I like both. But I'm going with Mr. Arakawa, obviously. I lost Mr. Arakawa. A pool underwater. Don't question it anymore. The rain is weird enough as it is. Let's let's go spend summer with Arakawa Sensei. There's nothing weird about that. <laughs> Mr. Ar <laughs> yeah, there's nothing weird about that. Mr. Arakawa, would you be interested in going to the beach with me? Oh yeah, oh yeah. That's not what I said. <laughs> oh, oh yeah, oh yeah. You want to take me to Wally World? No. Do you want to go to Wally World? Was that your way of saying, let's go to Wally World instead? Nani the fuck? Your left knee is in the brain's fraction. Are you really okay with me and this moss ball intervening when concrete rice balls have been evaporating all the clams? Me and this moss ball intervening when concrete rice ball has been evaporating all the clams. I think he's saying, are you really okay spending time with someone old like me? Like old moss ball compared to like rice balls, which are more fresh. He's saying like, yo, you really want to spend time with this Christmas cake instead of some other kids? I think that's what he's saying. Huh? No, don't say that. Not that I understood what you said. But still, I'd really enjoy going with you, Mr. Arakawa. So if there's any way you can... Come. <laughs> he called me Fufu. <laughs> he called me Fufu. <laughs> Fufu? If you're so insistent, then I'll just have to split my bangs in a center side part. I mean, they're already in a center side part. Uh, you mean more to the side? Okay. That works. Yes, no take backs. Please don't change your hair, though, or the artist will have to draw a new character sprite for you. <laughs> All right, now I'm all hyped up for my summer break. He called me Foo Foo. It's our first swimming lesson. <laughs> Every time it gets me. All right, form a line and swim in a four hour crawl to the other side. <laughs> Pool gets deeper as you go to about 50 feet. Make sure you don't drown out there. Okay, that's pretty deep. Kind of scary, but okay. 50 feet is actually, yeah, I can only dive down about that far. That's pretty impressive. For a school pool as well. God damn. Why does he sound like that? I think he's another fish like Maximum Moray, but probably a smaller fish. That's why he's probably like, I'll just do my best. Yo! Yo, this is hardcore music. We're swimming freestyle. I started out trying to copy everyone else with the forward crawl I learned in middle school. But I don't know how to move forward. I can't breathe. How am I supposed to take a breath? It's getting in my nose. No, no, no. This can't be happening. I have to stand up. It's 50 feet deep, bro. Oh, what? My feet don't touch. Shit. Shit, shit. I'm gonna drown. Someone. Help. Oi. Kao ni hana. Suiterezo. Oh. You got a nose on that face of yours? <laughs> Psyche. Did you save me? Hiyoko marakas. Soyo kaze o soete. <laughs> oh my son. God damn it. The music got all romantic. I was like, yo, this is kind of intense. And then I read that dialogue and I'm like, when the chicken maracas garnish that sweet breeze. What does that even mean? But thank you, Psyche. I really don't get what you're saying, but you're really dependable right about now. God damn, that's a lot of abdominal muscle. After all of that, Psyche taught me how to swim. Oh, he taught me how to swim. Wait, I didn't know how to swim. Why was I swimming? <laughs> Why was I trying to... God damn it. It was a valuable lesson. That's it. We didn't even get a CG for the CPR moment. Okay. 
<sighs> I'm pretty tired out, tuck it out today. I guess it's because I haven't gone swimming in so long. Even though we live underwater, there are fish. Oh, the break's almost over. I gotta get back. Oh, a sudden wave of vertigo washed over me and I collapsed on the spot. My vision went dark and I slowly lost consciousness. Tanaka-kun. Tanaka-kun. That's not my name, Sensei. Tanaka-kun. Bokuno koe ga kikoemasu ka? Do you carry me here? Yeah. Tanaka-kun. Can you hear me? Mr. Arakawa? I'm... Ovid. Yokata. Do yara ne chushou no yo desu ne. Soko ni aru bokari o nonde ansei ni shite kudasai. Oh, good. It looks like you were suffering about a heat stroke. Drink some of that Raider Gate there and get some rest. Definitely not Gatorade, because that would be a problem. Oh, okay. So I collapsed back there? <sighs> sure been needing a lot of help today. Ugh, my head hurts. Now don't go challenging any more axolotls to games today, alright? A saddened homecoming is more desirable. I'm not challenging anyone. Ah, oh, shit, he's into astrology. That's not great. It's retrograde? What do you mean? Well, now it's in retrograde. <laughs> but no, it's homecoming. By homecoming, I guess he means to go home, though. Oh, I thought the Saturn homecoming was like a... Okay, don't worry. But neither of my parents are home right now. Let me, let me oxidize the grout on the tiles with this 300 yen coin. It's my duty as a doctor. I think he's saying he's going to take me home. <laughs> my baby. <laughs> Wait, what? Go make your preparations for the homecoming, and I'll get my baby ready for you. Um, okay. Your baby? But since you want me to get ready for homecoming, that means you want to take me home? Heck yeah, I'll go get ready. This isn't a red flag at all. Let's go, Sensei. <laughs> I want to see Sensei's baby. Oh, it's his car. That makes a lot of sense. I I don't know what I was expecting. <laughs> I, I'm not going to lie. I was expecting an actual child. I was expecting him to come out and like have a fish or like a normal human child and be like, this is my baby. <laughs> Well, this is going to get interesting. Um, uh, I'm praying for a safe delivery. But how's that starch tide going for you? I think that means like, I'm hoping to get you home safe, but how are you feeling? Uh, um, what? No, I'm fine. What? <laughs> anyway, so this is your car? Ah, it smells nice. The guy who can drive is really cool. Maybe I should get my license sometime next year, too. Ride is so smooth. It's rocking me to sleep. <laughs> me, 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 Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. <laughs> now he called me Foo Foo Foo. Oh, my. <laughs> what a precious sleeping face. Aww. I've been asleep in front of him a lot. Do you want to save here? I do, especially since I'm not sure if I just got kidnapped. It did not, in fact, show me go home. It showed me fall asleep in my teacher's car. <laughs> it's Sensei's laugh. Oh, no, I know it's Sensei's laugh. I'm kidding. It's just every time it has a foo or a foo-foo or a foo-foo-foo, I'm like, oh, it's me, foo-foo. <laughs> Continue playing? Yes. I wake up in a dungeon. <laughs> it's July, 4-2. Okay, it's Psyche's birthday. I'll, I'll go see Psyche. Psyche sounds fun. Let Fufu have his moment. Exactly. He's calling me Fufu. Or Fufu Fu. I'm happy. <laughs> Four two. Yeah, they didn't make the obvious joke. They were just like, it's fine. It's fine. It's Psyche's birthday. I've got to celebrate. Of course, Psyche's birthday is on 420. That lines up so fucking much. Should be around here somewhere. Aha! Psyche! Why are you in school? I thought it was a day off. Oh. Yeah. Um. 
It's your birthday today, isn't it? Happy birthday. Wait a minute. We're in July. Why did he say 420? 42? Um, forget it. It doesn't matter. Nothing makes sense in this game. Just, let's just roll with it. Here, I got you a present. Uh, <laughs> no. No, god damn it. We just finished Needy Streamer Overdose. I hope you like it. Um, I would give him a pacifier because of streamer safety. Plus, he's a baby. I'd give a pacifier to Marshmallow Kun. I'm pretty sure he'd like it. Ah, ticket! Ah, ticket! Oh my god, Globular! He likes it. It's a pacifier. You should try it out. Seaweed? Yeah. That's fucking adorable. <laughs> what the hell, man? The, the universe. I could see the whole universe. What was in that pacifier? He's so happy. It's like his mind is exploding with its own big bang. I'm glad he liked it. Psyche's birthday present was a success. Hashtag happy. He just looks so happy. Uh, okay. Um. Cute. <laughs> Weird, but cute. Finally, lunchtime. Oh, Mr. Arakawa. Hello. Oh, yeah. Takenaka-kun. Hi, hi. Takenaka-kun this. Ah, oh, Takenaka-kun. Uh, anyway. You look so cool without your glasses. Did something happen to them? Oh, yeah. It seems they escaped while I was napping. I've been calling for them, but they just won't answer. That's not great. What? Oh yeah, your hair's a mess too. So your eyes are too bad to see them. What should I do? Obviously I'm going to help look. Mr. Arakawa. Arakawa? Arakawa. I could look for them instead. Ah, that's a Oh, I'm ashamed to say it, but that would be very alternative. And he said alternative in English. <laughs> I like Sensei. He's fun. My vision is great, so just leave it to me. I'm never going to find those glasses, am I? Hmm. Where should I start? <laughs> Obviously under the bed. When things are going to get kinky. Help, Step Sensei. I'm stuck. <laughs> Wait, he might have some... Oh, God. I'm going to do both of these. I want to see what he's got hidden in his desk drawer. Uh, let's start within the desk drawer. We're probably going to do under the bed. I'll try the desk drawer. Let's see. Come out, come out wherever you are. Wait. This is... So this is what's all over the room. <laughs> this is a plushie of that, favorite, that famous anime mascot character. Jampy. And it's a limited edition. The room's full of them. Oh no, I know his secret now. He's not going to let me leave anymore. <laughs> you found that? Oh shit, he's a briskadette. This actually makes a lot of sense. All along, Sensei has just been a briskadette. Mm. You like Jumpy, Mr. Arakawa? It's my favorite. <laughs> oh, he said Fufu again. <laughs> Whenever I look at him, I get in a terrible mood. It's so nice. I, I what? <laughs> yeah, Sensei be into some interesting shit too. Ah, <laughs> uh, sure. Oh, and your glasses are under the jumpy. Here you go. Ah, arigato gozaimasu. Erai desu ne, Makihara kun. Hi hi, Makihara kun desu. Wow, thank you so much. You're such a good kid, Makihara kun. My name is Ovid, Mr. Arakawa. Happy I found his glasses. And I'm stoked to find out he also likes Jumpy. After that, we were so absorbed in conversation about Jumpy that I totally forgot to eat lunch. But I had a lot of fun, so it was worth it. Never skip meals for love. Terrible, terrible idea. Anyway, uh, <laughs> let's go try under the bed. Try under the bed. It smells kind of fishy down here. Oh, God. Let's see. Come out, come out wherever you are. Wait. This is... A giant pile of tissue box? Oh, no. 
Oh no. <laughs> hey, do I even want to know what you're using all these tissues for? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. You found them? Well then, Arita-kun, I'll tell you and only you my secret. <laughs> Once I start, I can't control myself. I just can't seem to stop. Sneezing. <laughs> oh! That makes a lot more sense than what I thought was going on. I have really bad allergies, and this season has seen its fair share of explosions. You poor thing. My school was blown up in an explosion. <laughs> After that, I looked everywhere I could think of, but the glasses never turned up. And then lunch was over, even though I never got to eat. Shit, that's not the best option, is it? Um, we should probably join in on club activities. But yeah, the first one was better. Let's let's speed run that real quick. We'll just literally skip through it. Um, in the desk drawer, skip. Jumpy. Okay. So we don't know his secret anymore. But we don't need it. We found his glasses and we found Jumpy. I think that's better. Let's join in on club activities. See if we get murdered this time. I'll head over to the club. Yo, I'm going to the club can't hate when they can't get in. Booty who? What the fuck am I saying? Oh, Why do I feel like Maximum More is always left by themselves? Oh. <laughs> oh, you actually showed up. Well, I guess newbies have that kind of energy. Anyway, come sit down. I'll give you some candy. This is how he got Marshmallow to join the club. That makes sense. Oh, wow. Thank you so much. Why is that so loud? <sighs> so now that you're here, I'll go ahead and have you investigate the second of Co Academy's Seven Wonders. The rumor regarding the mirror on the landing between the second and third floors of the North Staircase. Hmm? Hmm? What kind of rumor are we talking here? I love the way he fades out of deep, creepy voice. They say that the mirror connecting the floor is actually a portal to another world or something like that. The North Staircase is at the far end of the building, so it's not a place people venture often. Still, there are strange reports about that area. Namely, the people are disappearing as if being sucked into the mirror. It'd be pretty whack if that was true. <laughs> I give zero fucks. I'm just happy for my candy. Ah, <laughs> uh, you're sending me alone. It sure would be. That's why I wanted to investigate it ASAP. But, well... You've seen the state of the club. Aorta-kun is obviously a very busy guy, so I'm the only one who could do it. But I'm sure you can understand that it's, uh... Not a great idea to investigate alone. Oh, warm. So that said, let's go! Oh god, I love this game. The voice acting is so good. He's a Rakuen character. Why is he here? Why not, man? This is just that kind of game. We're here. 
The mirror is more normal than I was expecting, although this is where I died. Is that why I thought... Oh, this explains everything, actually. The mirror is a half-body mirror. So when people are seeing a girl approaching them from the other side of the room and it's only the top half of her body, it's just the mirror at nighttime when it's dark. And also, well, I don't know who killed me, though. This is still where I died. Anyway, the mirror is more normal than I was expecting. I was thinking there'd be, like, bloody handprints on it or something. It's kind of a letdown. Well, it looks normal enough, so that's why we haven't taken any precautions yet. Oh, I see. But look, even if I touch it, nothing happens. It's just a little cold. Right, Senpai? Ah. Uh, senpai? Where are you? Senpai? What's going on? 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 I have to find him. I have to go home. Find my home. Where was it? Oh. I know him. It's Senpai. What's a Senpai? Can't remember. Gotta follow him. Senpai. Hey, Senpai. Wait for me. Senpai. Why? Huh? Who are you? What? What? <laughs> That's the best fucking un isekai I've ever seen. He bitch slapped me out of that shit. <laughs> Damn kitchen scraps. Feels weird. Huh? What am I? Nah, he got that. <laughs> Damn, I can't understand what Nah, he's got those yaoi hands. Did you see how big that hand was? No wonder they're hidden underneath that sweater. <laughs> of course, a fucking moron like you wouldn't understand what I'm saying. Calling you a small fry would be an insult to the fish. Didn't I tell you to stay away, moron? Oh, Marshmallow-kun. I don't know what's going on, but I can't really see too well either. D did you save me? Don't get too full of yourself. You're just a puny, pathetic little creature. You got out by the skin of your damn teeth. S sorry But thank you? There won't be a next time. After saying that, Marshmallow Kun turned away and went off somewhere. Oh my god! <laughs> Holy shit! You okay, Moray? Oh, indoor voice, please. Are you real? <laughs> what are you saying? I was so worried about you, I died like three times. You just disappeared into thin air. <laughs> oh my god. It's pro good. I don't know. Fun fact the voice of Marshmallow Kun and Cat Sound Effects are the creator of this game. You are shitting me. They created the game? That's actually amazing. They're doing amazing at the voice acting. It's a very nice voice. And they did the cat sound effect? God damn. VA having so much fun. Yeah, they're just loving this. I I'm sorry for worrying you. But thankfully, I was able to return in one piece. That thing I saw earlier. Not Marshmallow Kun. Just who the heck is he? Why did he save me? And so club activities ended for the day as I calmed down my teary-eyed senpai. I'm also pretty surprised at how good the music is in this game. Like this creepy track, the creepy track, the way creepier track before it. Some of the sad music, the happy music, it's all been great. 
We got those random like dubstep moments. <laughs> this has been pretty fun. Do you want to save here? Hell yeah. Got saved by Marshmallow Kun again. Good times. They have a good voice? Yeah, they do. It's finally summer break. It's finally time to go out with him. I promised to go to the beach with Mr. Arakawa. Let's go. Date time. So I've got my best bro, Saiki. Number one awesome senpai, Moray, Maximum Moray. Got my boyfriend, Arakawa Sensei. And Marshmallow Kun is slowly becoming like my little brother who's also kind of creepy. Fun times. I promised to go to the beach with Mr. Arakawa. Damn. Okay. The ponytail. So sorry to keep you waiting. I got the ball gag and the animal crack. What the fuck? I got the ball gag and the animal crackers you ordered. Okay. A order forgotten. A order is just a student council president. We don't really. We don't talk about a order. No, no. Oh, wow. Thank you for the animal crackers. I mean, I didn't order them, but save that ball gag for later. Wait, isn't this the first time I've seen him without his doctor's coat on? A love story between me and a rippling six pack is poking out through his unbuttoned shirt. Wow, he's so cool. Main character gets so poetic when it comes to boys' bodies. Ah, <laughs> uh, he caught me Myron. Are you concerned about my duodenum, Matsuyama kun? Hi, hi, Matsuyama kun des. Huh? N no, I was just looking at your abs. I, I mean, no, it's nothing. Anyway, let's get in the water. What the? Before that, there's something I need you to do for me. Uh, what is it? Oh? I'm gonna have to hide this. Why are you covering up his back? What is streamer mode for? I'm so confused. This, this looks so silly. <laughs> Why does it... It makes it look even more dirty this way. I, uh, you barely even covered up the butt crack. I can see the butt crack. <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> no, but back. See, that's the thing. I would have been like... Sensei's back. But no, they covered it up when it's not anything we actually have to... I'm starting to think streamer mode is a joke. I, I'm starting to think streamer mode is... Just, they're not actually going to get naked. They're only going to get shirtless. But they were just fucking with us. This is funnier, to be sure. This is definitely funny. <laughs> okay. Take a look at my abdominal, external, oblique muscle. They're braided. And in quite high spirits, don't you think? Yes, you've got a very muscly lower back. Um... Yeah, uh, shouldn't you be showing me your stomach instead of your back when you say that? You'd think so. If you could rub this on me, please. And don't eat it, put it in your eyes. Or clean a drain with it. Just in case you were wondering about doing that. Uh, oh, you want me to put sunscreen on you? Yeah, you got it! I'll get you real good. I I'm gonna put sunscreen on your back. Shimizuka, <laughs> God, you're incredible with this. Yeah, just like that. <laughs> It tickles. Uh, you went all the way to to think you'd be so particulous about it. Mr. Arakawa? You, you sound so sexy, it's gonna make me... I'm gonna... I get the feeling that I walked along the beach with Mr. Arakawa after that, picking up shells and playing in the water. But I was sort of out of it the whole time, and my head was so foggy. But surely, that fleeting moment of my summer break was filled with a very mature sense of calm. You know, after I... I'm gonna... All over Mr. Arakawa's back. Do you want to save here? Yeah, I think I want to save. Um, That was interesting. 
continue playing? Um, definitely. <laughs> what happened? You know what happened. I put lotion on Mr. Arakawa's back and rubbed it in and was very meticulous. Anyway, good morning, everyone. Wait a sec. My whole family went on a trip and left me behind because I overslept. What should I do instead today? Library or park? I'd imagine library will be Aorta. Wait. How do you say class pre Incha? That's class president. What student? Council. Anyway, I'm going to go to the park. All right. It's a beautiful day, so I'm going to go take a walk in the park. Seto Kaicho? That's it, right? Seto Kaicho. Kaicho. Okay. Yeah. It's so hot out. I'm going to give myself a nice cool bath when I get to the park. <gasps> Marshmallow kun! So you do go outside on your own volition. You're wearing such a cute outfit, too. Oh, look at the adorable Yukata. You still can't see his hands. <laughs> the secret. Hidden yaoi hands. <laughs> That's fair. You're getting your spit on me, you revolting pig. Oops, sorry. Anyway, what a coincidence that we'd see each other here at the park. Are you taking a walk? Huh? What you got there? Get away from me. This has nothing to do with you. Ah, oh, come on, don't say that. Huh? I like how different I am with the different people as well. I was sensei, I'm so reserved and like I'm such a... I'm, a... I'm a bottom, let's be honest. Let's be honest, I'm not the top in that relationship. But in this case, I'm always the one leading Marshmallow along. Even though he's the one doing the whole straight up like, hey, you're a piece of shit. You're a piece of garbage. I'm still in control. I decide what we do. And those scissors. Are those scissors? And some canned tuna cat food? Oh, Marshmallow can... It may look yummy, but it's for cats. There's no way he's got to eat cat food. No, he's just, surely he's just feeding a cat in the park, right? Uh, what? Where are you going? Marshmallow could ran off towards the bushes. What do I do? Take a bath? I mean, I need to know. I, I need to know. It's so hot. I've got to cool myself down. I go to spend the day in the water. It was so fun. <laughs> Son of a bitch. I thought I was going to have a bath in like a fountain in the park or something. Okay, let, let's load that back. Chase after him, of course. Wait up. Marshmallow Kun. I wanted to like dive into a pond fountain, you know. Wait. Oh, hey. Huh? It's so loud. I thought the game's sound effects were just glitching out, but am I actually hearing a kitten? Meow, 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 meow. Oh, shit. Cow. Why am I a cow? <laughs> that's not a cat. That's not a kitten. That's... Why do you have it tied up, marshmallow kitten? What are you doing to the baby? Cheetah? Hi hyena? Cheetah. Leopard, leopards have spots, right? That's not a cow. And it's not a cat either. It's a weak little spotted hyena. It is a hyena. Okay, I should have known from the ears and the... Yeah. Oh. A hyena got its foot all tangled in some wire and can't move. Poor thing. I want to eat beef. Okay, but this isn't beef, Marshmallow Coon. Put the scissors down. And then Marshmallow took the scissors in his hand. And started hacking away at the wire around the hyena's leg. Oh, okay. But the wire was too thick to cut through. And it only caused the hyena to cry out in pain. If we leave the hyena as is, it'll surely just get weaker and die. What should I do? No idea. <laughs> Go to the convenience store. Let's take the hyena home. I'm pretty sure I can raise a hyena. I, I raised a dog that grew to be 160. Let me check how big hyenas get. Hyena average weight. Ha! Huh. They, they, they weigh less than my dog. Male 120 pounds. Female 140 pounds. I'm good. I can train that. I'll take it home. I'm not your Katie. Hey, let's take him back to my place. It's not too far from here. I'm sure we have some kind of wire cutters. Would you mind coming too? 
There's no one at home right now, so I need some help cutting the wire off. <laughs> I just slipped that in there. Okay, you're going to come back to my place too, right? Hmm. Then it's decided. Let's go. We rushed back home with the wounded hyena in my arms. Aw, my bedroom's extra pink now. Okay, we got it all handled successfully, I think. I cut the wire and disinfected the wound, and then we fed it the canned tuna Marshmallow Coon had brought. It can't walk yet, but it seems to be getting better little by little. It's even giving our hands a little lick too. Aw, it's so adorable. I'm really glad that the hyena is getting better. Don't get too comfortable talking to Marshmallow, you hypocrite. <laughs> Why am I a hypocrite? What have I done that's hypocritical? <laughs> I'm the one who saved the day, but you're still as nasty as ever. I can't believe I got a ha ha ha. God damn it. But... But thanks, I guess. Sundere. The dere has finally shined through. I kind of don't like it. I preferred the sun sun. But okay, this is fine, I guess. He's opening up to us. Huh? So you say things other than straight up verbal abuse. That... That's growth. Humanity is progressing. Hashtag peace. <laughs> Disgusting. Shut the fuck up. Okay, sorry. My bad. He's back. He's back. Um, but yeah, let's go take this little guy back to the forest. It's getting pretty late, so I'm sure you want to go back home too. Hang on. Oh, it started raining. I feel like I'm cheating on Sensei. Oh, God. This this has been a tough bunch of decisions. Oh, for letting him stay? Yeah, fuck it. Marshmallow Kun, my family's gone for the night, so I was thinking... What if we hang around here and talk until it stops raining? So, uh... I don't have any ulterior motives or anything, I swear. <laughs> the voice is just like, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Hey, don't look at me like I'm some weirdo. Fine. If you don't trust me that much, then you can go home. Fuck, he actually... Oh. I thought that was him leaving. He got closer. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Then Marshmallow Coon sat down next to me. I began patting the hyena on my lap. <laughs> Fra phrasing? Um. <laughs> He's so close. But if I jerked away, he'd stop with the phrasing. He'd totally think I was a perv again. So I did my best to hold still. But still, my heart won't stop pounding. Marshmallow couldn't look so dang adorable patting the hyena like that. It puts my mind at ease for some reason. And I found myself dozing off. I really need to stop falling asleep right in front of people. It, it's not a good safe idea. I told him we could talk, but then I ended up passed out on him. When I woke up, it was the dead of night. I couldn't see hide nor hair of Marshmallow Kun or the spotted hyena. Damn, they just left me. That's how it is. They don't even stay till the morning after. Yeah, sure, I'll save here. I've got so many saves just in case. I don't know how much, like, how many routes and options there is in this game, but... A narcolepsy arc? Yeah. <laughs> Summer break's already over. I'm a little sad about it, but I can't let that get to me. Going back to school means I get to see my friends again. But I buckle down and do my best in both class and sports. Okay. I'm gonna be the sports champion. <laughs> Today we'll be having a test to gauge your current abilities. So long as you've been studying, it should be easy. Seriously? Yikes. I spent the whole summer playing with Sensei and Marshmallow Kun. I, I done goofed. I'm going to do real. Shit, I had the option to go to the library so many times. Oh, they posted the test results in the hallway. Let's see. My rank is... 160th out of 250 kids in my grade. Not ideal. Just below average. That's that's not terrible. That's that's not terrible. Uh, it's not like I studied that much, so I guess it checks out. It's all like digging dogs' mouths to fill rubber or whatevs. What? 
Oh, Saiki. What was your ranking? Ah, uh, Jojo. That good, huh? <laughs> wow, a butterfly. Oh, I see. You're 193rd. I'm just impressed you're not at the very bottom, honestly. I guess you can read passages and stuff pretty well. <laughs> it's like we're two peas in a pod with the crappy rankings. He should be washing those tridents you used to clean the drive through. <sighs> Good life advice, Psyche. I'm so glad you're here with me. Is Mike's peeking? Yeah, I think they did that intentionally. <laughs> Especially that one point when he did the huge, loud good morning just to shatter our ears. I love his voice acting. I wish he made any semblance of sense. Then I might hang out with him more. <laughs> so true, bestie. Exactly. Every time Psyche's around, I'm just like, sick. <laughs> okay, bro. You have a good day. I, I'm just glad you're having fun. I'm, pr I'm happy for you. <laughs> Come to think of it, Psyche. Have you ever actually taken your classes seriously? But anyway, I have to put a lot more effort into studying too. <laughs> Screw that. I'm going to go find Arakawa sensei. <laughs> Lunchtime! Since it's my first day back, I kind of want to have lunch in the cafeteria. Today they've got the great white sashimi boast set. Ooh, excited to try it. Sushi at school? No way. Oh, sush. Oh, su Oi! Hey! Oh, watch where you're going! Oh, I'm sorry. Oh no. My great white sashimi boat set spilled all over! Oi, oi, oi! Oh my god, he keeps going! <laughs> oh, 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 oh! You got great white shark all over my uniform! The hell are you gonna do about it, huh? Gotta pay my dry cleaning bill? Huh? Oh yeah, oh yeah. Sensei. Now, now. What's the big deal here? Hmm. Hmm. I'm catching the scent of a vending machine on you. Mr. Arakawa? Is it the Puria Alivioris? One minute, I'm looking that up. Is that a body part? Oh, <laughs> Puria. Alveolaris. This disease... Oh my god. Inflammation of gums around the teeth. Okay, Sensei, whatever you say. Oh, I'll have scurvy for you. Huh? Uh, no, it's just a little mishap. Sensei, This ain't got nothing to do with you, Teach. This is between us. Oh, that's that's I see. So that's how it is. You applied the upper four corner hold on purpose just now, did you not? And yet you play such folly. Oh, he's about to murder someone. I'm pulling this one from my grandfather's sack of bulrush. Oh, oh, fuck, yes. <laughs> That's my fucking sensei. <laughs> also, I guess we hadn't seen his eyes before. For some reason, I'd imagined he'd opened his eyes while looking at us, but no. This is the first time we've seen his glowing red eyes. And he's staring at student A. Student A is going to die. Yandere? Fuck yeah, Yandere. I knew he was going to be the sadistic type. Have you ever heard the saying, let seasoning frogs die? <laughs> Holy! <laughs> His eyes are so red! What? <laughs> No way! Nothing he says is making any sense. I thought this was supposed to be a dating sim. What's with the CG and the BGL? <laughs> I love this game. Let's go. Let's go. 
高速違反ですよ。You wouldn't download a car, but I would. That deed just now was nothing short of illegally downloading a car. For Article 49 of the Co Academy School Code, you are not to draw another mole on the principal's butt without permission. This is in violation of the code. Okay. しし I don't think he did that. <laughs> I've issued you a warning before. Are you looking forward to your punishment that much? Don't worry. I've been excited for it as well. To watch you slowly but surely join me on the dark side. How shameful that will be. Wow, that was faster than light. 5G! Oh my, I still have a photo opportunity. It's one hell of a menacing look. Does this mean he was protecting me? He's such a nice person. <laughs> the amount of red flags the main character witnesses, it is just like. Ah, that's fine. <laughs> He's such a nice person. Yep, 100%. <laughs> now then, Morioka-kun, how's the espresso machine today? Hi, hi, Morioka-kun this. Wow, talk about whiplash. Espress? That reminds me. What should I do about my lunch? The great white was the whole point, so I guess all I have left is plain white rice. Oh, oh. Yeah. Offer this to the rostrum. Is this your lunch? So you're offering it to me. But this is your food. I'm skilled in contemporary dance, so it's fine. Well then, that's all. He left. I mean, I'm gonna. He didn't even tell me what the lunch was. Sensei has eaten some weird shit. He ate his own pet prehistoric fish. I'm just gonna eat the lunch. It's fine. Contemporary dance. He can dance his hunger away, chat. Come on, you have to keep up with the game. You have to be in the right headspace for this game. <laughs> well, let's dig in, I guess. Wow. Mm, it smells so good. This is bliss. When I looked inside, there was a whole ore fish sitting there. Well, who am I to complain? Someone who doesn't want to die? Mm, this is so good. I feel like I'm going to lose my mind. It tastes just like a toothbrush. <laughs> I wonder if Mr. Arakawa made it himself. Mr. Arakawa's handmade lunch. It feels so special somehow. And so I had the best lunch ever, feasting on Mr. Arakawa's delicious meal. Why didn't we share it? Is my main question. Why did I have to eat it all? An, uh, an ore fish? That's massive, man. Okay, school's out. What should I do now? Well, I'm pushing my luck about dying, but I'm still... <laughs> uh, I'm gonna go to my club. Yeah, I'll go to my club. Nothing bad will happen then. I haven't been warned about impending death multiple times. It's fine. It's fine. You're here again! <laughs> then today I'll have you finally investigate the third of Academy's Seven Wonders. The shadowy figure that waves at you from the school roof before jumping off. How about it? Zenkai <laughs> Hmm. Compared to what happened last time, this rumor is harmless to the students. So I'll have you go at it alone. I need to work on organizing the comment box anyway. What did I just vote on? Come to think of it, I should end that poll. Although, yo, Marshmallow is coming up in the polls. I'm excited. Um, It was just a uh, questionnaire to the confidants to see who their favorite character was. 
Sensei absolutely dominated, but before Aorta and Eel Milk were kind of close, but now Eel Milk's destroying. Marshmallow started to come back. Good shit. I'm glad we're going with both of them. Um, b -b 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 Compared to what happened last time, this rumor is harmless to the students. So how have you go at it alone? I need to work on organizing the comment box anyway. Okay, what exactly do we know about this phenomenon? Hmm, that's pretty. Yo, the sun doesn't set till like 9 p.m. in summer. Are we sure it's a good idea for me to be at school till 9? <laughs> I forgot your milk was marshmallow. <laughs> yeah, back before we knew his name. Apparently, it happens for a short time at dusk, right when the sun is about to set. That's she had so much to live for. Fuck that dude. Twenty years ago, during her graduation ceremony, a female student confessed her feelings to a senpai. When she was rejected, she went up to the roof at dusk and jumped off in order to get their attention. There were newspaper articles written about the incident at the time, too. But I'm not sure if that's related to these rumors. Oh, wow. But if it's not harmful, then it's not like an investigation will make the situation any better, right? So what's the point? As our student prouts prove as our student council president always says, this club is here to help everyone at Coke Academy stay safe. Even if this is just a ghost, we can't overlook someone jumping off the roof. I want her to pass on if at all possible. Oh, that's kind of sweet, actually. Of course, I became the president of this club not because I wanted to help ghosts move on or even because I wanted to solve mysteries. Because I was captivated by the allure of the occult. After what happened last time, I want you to report back to me even if there's nothing there. Got it. I can't handle horror, but I do get a little excited about the occult and like stuff that shouldn't exist. I love seeing ghosts. I would love to see ghosts, I should say. Love horror movies, so fuck yeah, let's go see this ghost committing suicide. Still coming to the ORC for the thrill of it all. So I guess I'd better get to investigating. And possibly die. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> I guess I should start by monitoring the rooftop from the courtyard. But this school is so big. Is that even where I should be looking? For now, I'll at least take pics of where I think the right place using the camera I got from the club president. Is this a ghost? No, okay. This right here, like right next to my, on my head is, I was like, that's kind of human shaped, but no, it's just a blade of grass flying in the wind. I'm an idiot. Then I'll wait until the sun sets. Ghosts are not fun. Ghosts are so fun. They're awesome. And the sun set. But I didn't even catch a glimpse of anything interesting. And the camera idea was a bust too. <sighs> it's so late already. It's way past the time for club activities. I've got to report back before it's too late. Hmm? Someone's going into the school building. Is that shadowy figure... marshmallow Kun? Why would he still be at school so late? Is this for some club he's in? What should I do? I'm gonna follow marshmallow Kun, obviously. Probably die. You know what? I should save her. <laughs> this is actually a pretty intense one. Um, we're even gonna make this one after gonna follow him but reporting back may be a good idea to get murdered too either one works can't just leave him alone marshmallow coon <laughs> you ran away from vox's stream because you you look man <laughs> this is gonna get even weirder <laughs> this has been much weirder don't worry about it huh where'd he go it sounds like someone's running upstairs this way maybe Marshmallow Kun. Huh. I finally caught you. What are you doing here so late? The school's about to lock up. And this is the top floor. The roof is blocked off, remember? So you got caught up in that club's dumb shit again. 
Looks like you can't learn from experience, just like every other idiotic single-celled organism out there. Sorry. Go away. Well, wait up. Huh? The door to the roof is unlocked. Hey, marshmallow Kun. if a teacher finds out about this, they're going to be pissed off. So, so you can't just go in there without permission. <sighs> Whatever. Doesn't even matter anymore. I'm coming up. Oh, that's pretty. It looks like the whole world is visible. The sunset and the different layers. Let's go, Marshmallow Kun. That hourglass figure, actually, too. Tiny little waist. God damn. Oh, the sky's so pretty. The sky was so beautiful today. And the view from the rooftop was even more exceptional. This music's a nice bop, too. It was worth coming up here, even if we do get in trouble. Why don't you wipe the crap off your face before you go stinking up the place with another load of shit? You're right, Marshmallow. I like you too. We're just the best friends. Harshing my mellow yet again. <laughs> but that's what I like about you, Marshmallow Kun. Oh, uh, I'm sorry. It's just, um, I didn't mean anything weird by that. I just genuinely want to get closer to you, Marshmallow Kun. Uh, as a friend. You're the one who told me to keep my distance from the Occult Research Club. And I'm partly here because I wanted to get to know you better. Shut up. Huh? Your voice, your appearance, your whole entire existence is disgusting. Quit talking to me like it's no big deal or I'll throw you off the roof. Vermin like you should either stay away from Marshmallow or get down on the ground and beg forgiveness for being alive. Okay, let me just get down on my knees. I know. Do you want to watch the sky with me? Thanks. <laughs> I love how little I care about the insults. It's just continuously like, you said it, Marshmallow Kun. The sky really is beautiful. Marshmallow Kun has been really kind to me lately. I've noticed. He hates everyone but himself. And his words kind of sting. Uh, okay, it's more like getting stabbed repeatedly. But I don't know. I just can't help myself. Because he still tries to be nice to me in his own clumsy way. He's really considerate of me. Or maybe I'm just overthinking things. <laughs> I mean, he was nice at my house, I guess. He was nice when we took care of the hyena. But yeah, his words have still continuously just been insults and telling me to kill myself. Uh, <laughs> Why did he want me to join the occult research club? What was it that I saw on that day in that place? Who in the world is Marshmallow Kun? I don't know. But I want to. We spent so much time here, but I never asked him. Because this is the time to watch Marshmallow Kun in the moonlight. I mean, just the moon itself. Crap. I was supposed to go report back to the president. So sorry, Marshmallow Kun. I have to go. <laughs> go take a shower. You smell like shit. Thanks for today, Marshmallow Kun. I, <laughs> I am so into degradation in this game. I'm just continuously like, thank you. I'll catch you next time, Marshmallow. <laughs> Could it be we're failing to understand others? That's literally what the point of this game actually is. It says in the description, four cute boys, but you'll never be able to understand them. One of them, you literally can't understand his speech. One of them just says nonsense. <laughs> yeah, I guess with Marshmallow, it's just more like, no, I think he's being nice to me in his own way. <laughs> that person's no longer in this world. Just give it up already, you fucking psycho. Kuso Menhera, damn. That's a powerful one too. I am learning so much Japanese today. Nihongo Jozu, but not in the best way. <laughs> Kuso Menhera, Kuso Buta, <laughs> Kuso Yaro. Oh god. Let me just save my game. This is more safe. I want to load and see what happens if I just went... Well, I mean, yes, but then load. I want to see what happened if I just go to the student counts. No, to the club president. Uh, bu -bu 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 Should I do? Yes. Report back. No, no, no. If I don't get back soon, the room will be locked. I can't worry about this now. 
So I reported that nothing happened and we called it a day. And after that, I went, oh, okay. Okay, okay. So basically, this game just seems to be a whole bunch of like, you either go on the route with the guys or you do nothing. That's fine. The ghost girl? I know, we never heard of it. Oh. I think Marshmallow was actually talking about himself not being in this world anymore. I may be wrong, but I think Marshmallow has like either been possessed or doesn't feel like he's completely in the world anymore. Like he talks about himself in third person. He talks about like Marshmallow couldn't this, Marshmallow couldn't that. I don't know. No, it's bad JP words. I'm well aware. <laughs> Today is our cultural festival. Where should I go first? Okay. My classroom will probably take me to Saiki. First year's classroom, Marshmallow, I'd imagine. The gym. Wait, if Saiki... Oh. I don't know, actually. Let's say... Wow, well, I just loaded. Um, Let's try first year's classroom. Is that Marshmallow? With the but... I'm going to try the gym. There might be something interesting there. Yeah, there might be. Because I thought Saiki would be at the gym, but my own classroom must be Saiki, so... Who the hell is going to be here? Sensei? I doubt it would be student council president Aorta. Wow, what a cool setup. It looks like they got the light music club, the wind ensemble, the dance club, and some other volunteer groups to perform on stage. It's a big school, so it's famous for having really unique, impressive concerts. That must be why the audience is so big. Even I'm being affected by these sick vibes. That's a lot of stuff. And that was Harmonica Looking Good from the Light Music Club. A big round of applause for them. That's a K-On reference, isn't it? Fua Fua time? Our next performance is by a volunteer group, a professional band with unique and distinctive members gathered here for today only. Give it up for the Fluffy Wuffy Mineral Tea Girls! Whoa, these guys are pros? I can't believe they got them to come here. So excited to hear them. I'm, I'm preparing to mute my audio. If it starts playing Don't Say Lazy or something, I swear to God. Okay, we're... Sensei, <laughs> you good, Sensei? You don't like Kaon? Are you fucking me? Your sights ready to explode, <laughs> Mr. Arakawa? You're in a band? I can't tell if that's a big deal or not. But isn't it a bit too early to explode? And now you can't play your guitar, bro. Isn't this a concert? Are you okay? So how the hell did you come up with a name like Fluffy Wuffy Mineral Tea Girls? Yeah, <laughs> we, maybe I am the type to squeakity squeak squeak when I run around barefoot. Let go! <laughs> Yo! I have no idea what these lyrics even mean. But you know, it's cute senseis doing cute things, so I'm gonna roll with it. What happened to my kind and gentle Mr. Arakawa? This is like a completely different person. I... I see now. So this is what he's into. I never expected this. But I'm... I'm here for it. I'm here for it. <laughs> well, the performance ended. More or less. And then it was time for a break. It was off the fucking hook and I had fun. Tashiro-kun, that what? So, you were watching us, Tashiro-kun. Thank you very much. Is it athlete's foot? <laughs> Nani? <laughs> but Mr. Arakawa, you saw me? I didn't think you could see anything, what with your hair flying around so much. That was off the chat. Wait. Shit, is this important? Shit. Fuck. Balls. Um. That was insane. I'm surprised they didn't stop the performance. Tashka. I believe we were riding a rickshaw? Yes, you were. Oops. Please don't step over the white line. Huh? Why? I'll need to go home and shower. I'm sure you smell fine, Sensei. Don't worry about it. 
Oh, you're all sweaty. I have a towel and some butt wipes you can use if you'd like. <laughs> Oh, I'm grateful for that. Please don't smell me. I'll exercise it and return it to you at its original packaging. You, 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 you can return it without washing it. Don't, don't worry. That was such a good opportunity to see an unexpected side of Mr. Arakawa. I had so much fun at the cultural festival. Uh, okay. You can wipe my butt. God damn, guy. <laughs> I'm just gonna... What else could we do at the school festival? I want to know what happened in the first classroom. Wait. Oh. Yeah. Yes. Let's see what happens in the first classroom. I'm enjoying this game too much at this point. We're never going to end up finishing it. I'll check out the first year's class. There might be something interesting there. Anything? Oh, I got tricked. Oh. Aorta Senpai, I... Uh, that, that's fine. That was off the chain. You were so cool. The guitar, the song, the destruction. It was all the top level of a pro. Couldn't have expected anything better for you. <laughs> the shotgun is huge, isn't it? Which shotgun? Okay, everything else is the same. Okay, I give him my butt wipes. Evade the aorta. <laughs> What's wrong with him? He speaks backwards, man. I, I don't need it in my life. It's very confusing. I'll stick with my main two characters. They're fine. He was blushing as he should. It's October 39th. And somehow... Okay. Oh, it's Mr. Arakawa's birthday. Let's go. It's summer, though. I'm pretty sure it's still July or August or something. It's Mr. Arakawa's birthday. I have to celebrate. It's October 39. <laughs> oh, I bet he's in the nurse's office right now. Excuse me, coming in. Ajimashimash. Ah, kimi deshita ka? Dou saremashita? Harmonika fukimasu ka? Ah, it's you. How can I help you? Do you play harmonica? I could for you, sensei. Uh, anyway, today's your birthday, isn't it? O tanjoubi omedetou. Here, I got you a present. I hope you like it. Well... This got interesting real quick. Um... I mean... We have to do it first, right? It can't be the right answer, but... Ta-da! Doki Doki Buck Naked Checkup at a Clinic for Adults. Koreva. This is... Mattaku. Waruhi ko desu ne. Dame desu yo. Gakkou de komposite bo wo hanatte wa. Oh my. What a naughty child. Oh no no. You can't let a composite bow loose in school. Uh, no. I don't think I ever did anything like that. Kono yo na mono wo mochikomare te damatte iru hodo. Nama nurui pudding wo arimasen yo. There is no custard so lukewarm as to warrant carrying it silently like this now, is there? Uh-oh. I do. Did I fit? Oh. Oh! Oh? Kimochi wa arigataki happiness desu ga, seido shidou ga hitsuyou na yo desu ne. I appreciate your feelings, and I'm very happiness, but it seems you need some student counseling. Sore tomo, boku no komposite bo ni yo ga atte, waza waza konna koto? Oh. Is it that you went through all this trouble for my composite bow? Oh, composite bow is a penis. That's what he meant by letting composite bow loose in school. I'm starting to understand, and I'm not sure if I like it. <laughs> Mr. Araka? You're getting too close. What do you think? Tell me. What you'd like me to do? Nah. How about it? Nah. Ah, uh, um, I, I, he, um. Nante, joke desu yo, joke. Just kidding. It's only a joke. 
He called me Foo Foo again. Oh, God damn it. Huh? I'm a physician, so I know the difference between a gecko and an iguana. It's since you made all this effort, I'll accept this in appreciation of your feelings. This BGM's really nice. Uh, oh, good. I I'm glad. Oh my god, my heart won't stop pounding. I'm totally happy you didn't do it for real. Yeah, that would be terrible. I'm glad my surprise for him went over so well. Now hold the fuck up. I've got one question there. Let me hit the log. I know the difference between a gecko and iguana. <laughs> Wait, was he really just telling me I'm too small right now? <laughs> was he just, like, no, you're too young for me. But at the same time, I know the difference between a gecko and iguana. You're a little baby gecko. I need an iguana in my life. Okay, let's give him the crab instead. Let's see what that does. I wonder if the crab is the bad answer then. Give him a red king crab. I thought the pawn would be the bad answer. It's a delicious red king crab. Oh, this is such an intelligent choice. Oh. I'm allergic to crustaceans, so I don't need it. Shit, I blew it. Oh, the pawn was the correct answer. What? What? <laughs> it's a giant crab behind us every time we have lunch, Arakawa Sensei. How do you live with... Okay, let's go back and give him the pawn. Here you go, buddy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Coming on me. Okay. Oh, God! Stop, stop, stop! Okay, um, um... We got up to here. Um... La la la, lunchtime! I'll eat something from the cafeteria today. Um... Oh, Aorta Senpai! Are you eating in the cafeteria too? That's a first. Oh? What a coincidence. I come to the cafeteria often enough, actually. I need to ascertain whether the food tastes good, whether it's nutritious and it's balanced, and whether there's too much or too little flavor. If you'd like, we could eat together. Oh, wow. He's really going off about something or another. <laughs> you still can't understand him. I love it. Um, 300 square ties. Oh, you're here too, Saiki. It's gamer week for Ishii too. So how about we ring around the mochi? What? You mean like, let's eat together? Saiki couldn't. Your slovenly attire is unacceptable. Quit wearing that hoodie. It causes your blazer to get all bunched up. Huh? Is the diameter of the Shiba Inu that unhinged? <laughs> Did he just call himself a Shiba Inu? Honestly, from your clothing to your piercings to your hair, you've only just transferred here and yet you're already so unruly. If the guidance counselor saw you, they would surely give you an earful. But Arashu's got a contact lens on his right hand and ramen growing out of his knee. Who's Arashu? I kind of want to hang out with him. That sounds badass. <laughs> You know how it is in me and him. Three times removed, fully vaccinated, achievements unlocked. <laughs> what the fuck? Do you call Mr. Arakawa Arashu Saiki? Oh, he's talking about Ara Arakawa Sensei. You know how the three times removed, fully vaccinated, achievements unlocked? What? Are they family? Um, he's got a contact lens on his right hand and ramen growing out of his knee. Oh, God. I didn't see that when I saw him topless. Um, yeah, I don't really get what this conversation's about. But did you order some point just get mad at Saiki? What should I do? Encourage Saiki to apologize or calm Iota Senpai. Um, calm Iota Senpai down, I guess. Now, now, there's no need to get your panties in a twist. Saiki didn't do anything wrong, and he's not bothering anyone either. Right? <laughs> So I know for a fact he said cocaine academy. Uh, perhaps. And at this rate, we will definitely dirty the good name of Co Academy. <laughs> okay, buddy. It's fine. It's fine. I'll give him a stern talking to later. I love how his mouth got all, like open at that point. He was like, "Oh, don't be mad at me." I, I see. If you say so. Yes. Psyche can act with more prudence in the future. Sawamura, 
パピオンポンテロポスコ2サモラパピオンポンテロポスコ2 What the fuck? I, I know you got a warning about something but I don't really get what it was about I don't get either of these two at least one of them speaking English but what the fuck? It feels like if a dog suddenly started barking at you but don't worry about it okay? Obviously you didn't do anything wrong Well anyway Um Um Let's eat lunch together fuck it I, I, it's always either you do something with the dude or it disappears, so fine. We'll get some bonding time with Saiki-kun. Oh, yeah. So, yeah, yeah. I <laughs> love him. Oh, yeah. <laughs> awesome. Lunch with Saiki. The VAs must have had a blast with this. Yeah. I love that one scene where Marshmallow literally laughed through the line. <laughs> it was so good. I ought to step I got so mad at you. Seriously. Do you have any idea why? Imaginarily. Oh, well, I order Senpai is a bit strict, isn't he? You shouldn't put too much stock in it. Because I think you're at your best when you're free as a bird. Kujo. Hi, hi, Kujo, this. You're catching some Z's? Ha. No, I'm awake. Did you hear me? I'm just about the third sexiest Norwegian forest cat in this generation, and you can reserve that. What? Uh-huh. Yeah, sure. Whatever you say. After that, Psyche and I had a friendly conversation? Question mark? Over lunch. I think it was time well spent. Question mark. <laughs> You sure are, Saiki? I know, right? You just... He, he. That goes beyond himbo. Like, he is just literally a puppy in a person's body. That's what it is. He's not dog boy. He is dog. Who happens to have human body. Was he flirting? I I don't know. <laughs> it's Halloween. Should I take the opportunity to go trick-or-treating? I could start with... Oh, God. It's been a while since we've seen Marshmallow Kun. But I'm gonna hang out with Mr. R. I can do both. Fuck it. We're doing both routes from now on. I don't give a fuck. Take double the time. Let's do Marshmallow and then Arakawa. Okay, everybody's saying Sensei. Okay, we'll do Arakawa first. Then we'll do Marshmallow. Wait, no, we have to end on fuck. I fucked that up already. We're gonna do Marshmallow, then we're gonna do Arakawa. We're gonna stay on the Arakawa route, but I wanna see the Marshmallow route too. Dude's got all the mysteries wrapped around him. You have two hands? Exactly. Maybe I'll take a candy offering to Marshmallow Kun instead. I want to do trick treating. Wait a sec. He's usually here. Where'd he go? Oh. I clicked off the screen because I'm an idiot. No. There he is. Mm. Oh, Marshmallow Kun, you are here today. Trick or? Hey, wait. Where are you going? That's the chem lab. Yeah, I'm good. He looks pretty busy. Guess he doesn't want candy that badly after all. Every time I try to understand this game, <laughs> I decided to double up my roots. <laughs> and the game was like, no, fuck you. <laughs> I'm going to go load up on candy from Mr. Arakawa. <laughs> no, don't make the joke. Don't make the joke. No, no, no. It's fine. It's fine. Sensei is giving me candy. Everything's good. Why do you go to the chem lab, though? What is Marshmallow up to? Hey, Mr. Arakawa. Trick or treat. Smell my feet. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. You could give me a gaming computer. I'm okay with that. Um, RTX 4090? Please? Oh, oh, oh this is Sakamoto kun. Hi, hi, Sakamoto des. I've been handing out gaming computers today, but it looks like I've just caught a fly. I'm in your web, Sensei. What are you going to do? Why are you giving out something so expensive to students? That's not even candy. Uh, does that mean you don't have any candy? I, I mean, gaming computers to hand out. Unfortunately, Aorta-kun has some paku ice. Uh, so no candy then. <laughs> then I guess I'll have to trick you, Sensei. Then I'll just have to trick you. Holy fuck. I told you he was kinky. I've got a third sense about these things. 
Ah, uh, <laughs> holy shit. There's no other option, is there? I wonder what you use to hit me across the back. Or drip wax onto my bare skin. Or tie my whole body up. It's all just BDSM stuff. <laughs> It'll be something unbearable, even for someone as mature and composed as you are, Mr. Arakawa. Go sit on that bed. I'll show you my technique. <laughs> what on earth? <clears throat> Oh god, am I gonna have to Okay, this is fine. <laughs> that scared the shit out of me. We're good. We're good. Do I see a nope. Don't mention it. Don't mention it. Text box, cover it up. I grabbed onto his side and started tickling him mercilessly. No one in this world has ever been able to withstand my art of coochie coochie coo. Take that. <laughs> <laughs> Please stop. I've never lost rock, paper, scissors before. Hi, hi, Edogawa Kundes. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I won't have touched your water pitcher again, Edogawa Kundes. I'll make you regret not giving me a gaming computer for the rest of your life. Take this and this. And my name is Fogo, goddammit! If you keep doing this, the yen is going to continue its depreciation against the dollar. We're gonna fall into a recession! Doesn't matter to me, baby. I got dollars in my bank account. <laughs> Someone help! I swear it in the umber swab as much as I need to that I'll only ever cook for myself. Is he okay? What is he talking about? Uh, uh, all right, I think that's enough. Or maybe I took it a bit too far. I don't know. He seemed to. En yeah, he seemed to enjoy it. He seemed to have a good time. Please don't give me any more false invoices. Also, oh shit, we're seeing his eye. That means we're gonna die. But it's yellow now, it's not red. Damn, he had a really good time. Oh my god. I just made him look so sexy. My heart's pounding. Mr. Arakawa's on full display. Should I even be allowed to see this? Uh, <laughs> I should have prepared more. This highball is due to my own resourcelessness. Also, he called me Foo Foo Foo. Oh. You have quite the knack for spotting my weak points. But to have experienced this trick with you, what a lovely holiday this is. Happy Valentine's Day. It, it's, it's Halloween, sir, but uh, okay. Mr. Arakawa, it's Halloween. I'm growing more and more interested in you. Not as a student, but as an individual. Oh shit. Huh? But Mr. Arakawa, I I'm so fucking in there. Chime of an at this my mustane. Oh my? The titanabulum that's just run what? Oh my. The titanabulum has just rung, hasn't it? <laughs> Please take care as to not be late to the welcome party. Now, if you'll excuse me. Well, welcome party? <laughs> Suddenly I can't wait to see what the future holds. But I have to get back to the classroom. Halloween is such a thrilling holiday. I'm just sad they aren't wearing costumes. That's my one sadness point of this Halloween. Everybody should be wearing costumes. I think you just pulled. I'm pretty sure I did. He, he said he's interested in me as an individual and not a student. I'm just going to save that.
That was much better than the marshmallow non-event. Also gonna blow my nose. One second. There we go. I'm back. Yeah. Also, yeah, chat keeps dying today. It's really funny. <laughs> Continue playing, yes. Because it's been a pretty slow day for chat as well, because we're all just kind of freaking out about the game. But I see like all the hearts start to explode when people can't send messages. YouTube is having trouble today. <laughs> Today is our sports festival. The courtyard is flooded with students. Hmm. What's the event I was going to do again? Oh, God. I don't know. Let's see what we get for each of these. Um, I'll save it number one again. That's the quickest one to get back to. Let's try a tag along race. What's the difference between a tag along and a two legged race? Wait, two legged? That's just a race. Pretty sure it was the tag along race. They're gathering us soon, too. I've got to hurry. And the next event is the Tagalong Race. Oh. It's almost like a treasure hunt event. Right down the way from the starting line, there's a table with a slip of paper on it. Players who take one of the slips to get their topic, they have to find someone who matches the description on the paper and take them to the finish line. You'll be disqualified if you don't bring someone with you to finish line, even if you yourself fit the description. You'll also be disqualified if the person you bring with you doesn't fit the bill. Now then, players, take your positions. On your marks, get bent. What? Donkey, donkey, he goop. What? Okay. Yeah, my topic. My topic. It's um here. A teacher wearing red underwear. Huh? So specific. I need a miracle. The best way to get this done is to ask each teacher what's going on down there. So, Mr. Arakawa, Mr. Arakawa, I need to know what's under there. Oh, you know. Underwear. <laughs> oh, hello there, Arasaka-kun. A necklace looks quite good on you. Can you put it on silent? I'm very confused, sir. I'm not even wearing a necklace. Anyway, I need to know. What color is your underwear? Okay, well, I'm going to Google that. I know they're going to tell me, but still. Um, hex code. Hashtag. <laughs> D9333F. Oh, yep. Yeah, it's Safflower Red. Okay. He's got red underwear on. <laughs> Fuck, where's red underwear, man? It's Sharp D9333F. Why? That's a red hex code, I'm pretty sure. It works. Mr. Arakawa, please come with me and take your pants off. I need to prove something to another student. <laughs> <laughs> Just like a perfectly boiled egg in the necklace. I, I told you I'm not wearing a neck. What are you talking about? <laughs> I grabbed his hand and gave it a tug. And Mr. Arakawa came running with me toward the finish line. He gripped my hand back tightly so that neither of us would get left behind. Also, well, welcome back, chat. How did you choose his route without knowing? I, 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 that was just our first guess. Nandaka. It's as if a knight in shining armor came to save me from... Oh, uh, look, a three-leaf clover. Your dynamic vision is insane. Hello? And when you're just about to say something sweet? I can't believe I lost to a clover. <laughs> yeah, three-leaf clover is more interesting than me. It's called a shamrock. It's, it's important. Okay, we're almost at the finish line. And no one else is there either. That means we're first. Go! We did it! We... We did it! I got... I got first place thanks to you, Mr. Arakawa. You did so well. I'll leave it up to you. I hire Sakai-kun this. In appreciation of your hard work, Sakai-kun, I'll clean up the room today. Mr. Arakawa? He pat me gently on the head. I didn't notice while we were running around, but his hand is so much bigger and warmer than I expected. I felt all warm and fluffy, 
Like even my heart was getting wrapped up in a big hug. It made me so happy. Can you give us a minute? May we confirm the color of Mr. Arakawa Suji's underwear? Hi, <laughs> Sonoyoni. Yes, like that. Oh no. Wait. Red loincloth, you son of a bitch. What are you doing? <laughs> what is it? And we'll have to disqualify Mr. Arakawa Suji's underwear from this competition on the basis of it being a red loincloth, not underwear. Oh, why are you wearing a loincloth? I had reserved it since last year. If you want to achieve victory, you must make necessary sacrifices. Oh, I did get a head pat from him. I, I guess it's fine. He was So he rented this loincloth? Oh, God. As long as you're having fun, Sensei. An actual red flag, pretty much. A red flag around his crotch, no less. I'm just going to save here. I'm going to see what the other two did. Just see if either of them is marshmallow. Lord. But yeah, we're going to stick with the sensei one eventually. Uh, boop. Are you playing? Yes, wait. Shit, I saved on slot one. That's my bad. Uh, event. Two-legged race. Pretty sure it was the two-legged race. They're gathering us soon. I've got to hurry. But Chad, I'm dying. <laughs> it's okay. Catch your breath. We're fine, we're fine. <laughs> Next up is the two-legged race. Oh. That makes sense. In this event, students will pair up and make their way to the finish line using just two legs. Through whatever means necessary. For example, giving one student a piggyback ride. Okay, let's see. My partner is... No potato, yo. <laughs> No potato, yo. Did they just record random lines? Like, did they just ask him to say random shit and then they put it in the game? Uh, 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 skip. Skip, but cute. Okay, what's folk dancing? You sure it was folk dancing? They're gathering us soon, too. I've got to hurry. His voice is dying, yeah. <laughs> He's definitely having fun recording those lines. And the next event is the folk dance. Complete equality. Dance partners will be decided regardless of class, grade, or gender. Points will be given to classes depending on which pair dances the best. Let's dancing! Now, everyone, let's dancing! Some exotic sounding music began playing. That's not exotic, that's rock, baby. And all the students began dancing to it. But, but I'm not that great at dancing. I learned the choreo more or less, but I'll really have to try hard to get voice. Let's see. My partner is... Oh! Shit. Okay, skip. Um, we got the perfect one first. I screwed up. <laughs> we got the correct answer immediately. Do you want to save... What? Did it break? No, I just loaded this. Also, wow, we're into November already. God damn, this game's moving fast. Please start a mosh pit. It's exotic for fish. That's fair. Uh, ba -bum. They discussed every line seriously. For real. <laughs> they did. They locked that VA in the room and left him to it. <laughs> That'd be funnier in my opinion. Them just being like, you know what? Say random shit. We'll put the text boxes in the game. We'll make sense. Don't worry. Autumn is already in full swing, huh? They say autumn is the best time for reading and art. But I'm pretty sure the best time to stuff my face and buying those delicious fried chocolate twists from the food store every time it comes around. I told you to cut it out with the babby fez. Is one per day too many? Maybe. Yeah, but the spring thunder's rolling in. It's autumn, my boy. It's... Oh, shoot. Lunch is already over? Autumn days just passed by way too quickly. Wait, I understand him now? I think my character understands him now. <laughs> I have to finish the bocce I got. Um, mm, 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 mm. Stuff in my face with a lot of candy today. Mm, 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 mm. Mm? What's up, Saiki? <laughs> you want some bocce too? If you want it, you're going to have to work for it. Just kit. Oh, is that blood? Oh my god. 
My nose is bleeding like crazy. I'm gonna go to the nurse's office for obvious reasons. I'm gonna go to the nurse's office. R reclining? Uh, I think he said reclining and he's like away from the... Is he stretching and saying reclining? <laughs> I <laughs> You really did just have fun with these lines, man. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Excuse me. I got a nosebleed. Oh yeah, oh yeah. So they were that's in this ne. Cochina noise in Koi Sigasai. Fall in love with what they must go. Oh dear, that's the weird. Come fall in love with this store. Has your liver functioning stopped at all? N no, I, I hope not. Thank you. Sorry to bother you. My liver functioning is just fine, but the blood coming out of my nose hasn't stopped. Oh, I could shove some gauze up there myself. So. No need to hold back. Just give your entire body over to me. That's right. Oh my god. Eep. Mr. Arakawa gently patted my head and stuck some peanuts up my nose. Taking care not to hurt me. Please not actual peanuts. Please like little... Uh, mm. There. You're fine now. You'll be better before you know it. Mr. Arakawa? You always make me feel so mature. I... I... Hamada-kun. Sonna kawaii-rashii kao wo shinai de kudasai yo. Hi, Hamada-kun des. Hamada-kun, don't make such a sweet face. I'm a doctor, but when you look like that, it makes me want to play around with you a bit. Uh... I was wondering what that was. I thought I just got shot by someone. <laughs> Oh dear. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. It looks like you got half a gallon of nosebleed. Holy shit! You're a naughty child for getting my clothes all dirty. Uh, oh my god! I got Mr. Arakawa's clothes all bloody! You could take them off. I'll, I'll, I'll wash them for you. I'm so, 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 so sorry! Ah, uh, <laughs> How could I make it up to you? I'll give you a shotgun, so please make a nice bouquet. In the meantime, I'll go make a charge keep. I don't know what these innuendos mean. Um, thank you for the ice pack. Wait, what is he doing? Huh. Huh. Mr. Arakawa! Oh, he is getting naked, isn't he? Um. I'm preparing to censor. Okay, streamer mode. Again, it's just topless. <laughs> I could have done this on non-streamer mode. That makes it look dirtier. God, oh well. He's, yeah, no, he's down to his pants. He's got, uh, he's got, yeah, he's fine. <sighs> wow, his little seahorse is very awake now. Oh yeah, oh yeah. So many nations in the Oh well, if you burn the friendship bracelet with too much zeal, it'll certainly deteriorate. Hey, you see, you could argue that that one means something along the lines of like, we can't be friends if we keep doing things like this. This is why we asked for normal mode, Fuchan. You guys did not know. You have not played this game early. You didn't know it was just topless. You didn't give a fuck if I got in trouble for it. <laughs> Streamer mode is just funny. Yeah, I mean... You got like that Adonis belt there. It's kind of adult, but you can still see it. It makes it look so much worse. The Adonis belt, also known as cum gutters by some. Don't blame us. I'm not blaming you guys. I was always going to be on streamer mode. I'm just not taking that crap where you guys are like, this is why we told you, Fu-chan. Lies. You just didn't care. You just wanted to see dick. <laughs> You're right, Lamau. Thank you. <laughs> The census said if you don't like male... It didn't say male chests. It said male bodies. It said male bodies. For all we know... You know what? I'm taking the piss out of censor mode. For all I know, there's actually like... Oh, why? Why is it doing that? For all I know, like in non-censored mode, like maybe you can see a little something sticking up from beneath the pants belt. 
Those pants are pretty low. We don't know. We don't know. <laughs> Uh, oh, it came out again. Hmm? Did you think something bad when you saw my body? I'm so sorry. That, that's not what I was. I couldn't decide if I wanted to look away from Mr. Arakawa's super hot body or not. But since I couldn't make my nose stop bleeding, I just decided to lie down and rest. Uh, this is fine. Love that one. That one really gets me. Finally, school's out. Sweet freedom. Ah, <laughs> Ah, relatively alcoholic. Oh, Psyche, you must have been worried about my nosebleed earlier. Thank you, I think. Oi, onara tabena. Hey, eat a fight. What? What did I do? Psyche? Psyche was tugging on the sleeve of my uniform. Was he asking to go home together? What should I do? I mean... Going home alone does nothing, right? Like, it'll just be me going home alone, literally. I don't get somebody else randomly running into me. Yeah, no, we'll go home with Psyche. Go home with Psyche. Let's go home together, Psyche. I love how they just give you the option to just skip routes. They knew you were going to get frustrated with some of these boys. They're like, no, we get it. Sometimes you just want to like run away from either the insults or the backward speaking or the nonsense speaking. You can do that in this game. So Psyche and I hung around together on our way home. We even got bubble tea. What flavor did you get, Psyche? They keep your Skoto planes in carbonic acid or what? I didn't have many friends at our old school. So walking home with Psyche like this, drinking bubble tea, it felt like I was really living life to the fullest now. No, I have no idea what he's saying. Psyche, have you made any other friends at school? I'm real tight with the same mass as Jupiter. Does that mean you have tons of friends? Jupiter's, Jupiter's pretty huge. Talk about extroverted. Today you decided to go home with me because you were worried about me? Thank you for that. Of course I'm worried. But I'm here because I wanted to be with you. Wait. That made sense. That, he really cares. About, what the fuck? That felt wrong. <laughs> Yo, he stopped making nonsense to just be like genuinely. Yeah, I'm worried about you, bro. I wanted to be here with you. I was just, I wanted to spend some time with you. Or do you personally play a normal mode after this? I mean, I, off stream, I'd play in normal mode even if it showed everything. I don't care. But yeah, uh, yeah, I mean, if I knew it was just going to be showing men's chests and backs, we would have played in normal mode. But we don't know for sure that is. Maybe they're even hiding CGs. Maybe there's extra extended CGs after things. Being tight can mean a close friendship. True. I don't know. I want to think of you as a friend, you know? Hey, 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 your hemoglobin disease is on the rise. Okay, we lost him. We had one serious moment. So he acts like this on purpose? That's weird. <laughs> Wait, he's putting on a front of being super weird. He's actually, he knows what he's doing. Whenever he does this kind of thing, it's so bad for my heart. I wonder if Saiki thinks we have a special relationship. Or something. I don't know what he thinks of me or even what he's saying, but I was still a little giddy the whole way home. Oh, so he plays stupid. His route might have actually been interesting. <laughs> Maybe you'd get to hear him actually make sense a little bit more often than we do. Um, interesting. He's getting cuter. Yeah. He's God damn it. Now everybody except for the Seito Kaicho is kind of like, damn, they're all kind of awesome. It's December already. Today marks the end of the second term. Can't believe I've been at Koshi and Kanoru in this long. So much has happened. I've done so many things with him, you know. This and that. Such and so. <laughs> I love how they're leaving it open, depending on who you spent the most amount of time with. 
For some reason, it's still hard to figure out what everyone's saying. But I really feel fulfilled with my school life up to now. They knew who I chose. Why? You haven't been in a hole. Uh, Mr. Arakawa, good morning. I'll be talking about my holes. Oh, yeah. Hmm? You have an even number of ears. Did you not get enough sleep? I... I, I did? Between the two of us, I'm pretty sure it's you not getting enough sleep. Your eyes are like, always closed. Okay, can we talk about the fact that like... He was really normal at the beginning. He's getting more and more confusing. <laughs> he started off the most normal choice, and now I'm just like, Are you okay, Sensei? Or is it periodontal disease? Fluorescent lamps can start a coup if you don't take it in shifts. So you'll want to reserve them plenty. Ah, oh, I've just comprehended. Asama-kun. I, Asama-kun Asama-kun. Could it be you have an infatuation with beer? Or maybe pot stickers? You see, if you'd hit me with whiskey, maybe, but not beer. Yikes. I'm not in love. Aren't you the one who's head over heels for beer and pot stickers? I do love pot stickers. Damn, they're delicious. There's no need to conceal it. I understand. I'm a shochu man myself. Good, good shit. Shochu's pretty good. Depending on like, what you pair it with. My man, you've known me for like six months. <laughs> I've sensed it for three years now. You have a quantum mechanical absolute water inside you that makes your intestines boil over. Um, no. We literally met eight months ago. I was pretty good at guessing. I was close. It's just... I just... don't have anyone I like. Um, because no one in the school, including the teachers, knows how to have a conversation. Don't say that. Remind yourself of their lovely face and voice. Mune. No. Your chest, brain, face, your pancreas, your groin, your nails, your bosom. Don't you just feel the rise in humidity? I mean, after that, sure. So I just think of the person I like. Marshmallow Sama. The Sampaku Four Eyes. The blonde playboy. That seahorse guy. See, this is how you defeat ego search, chap. This is how, yeah. Who makes your pancreas sweat? I mean, this is a big save slot. I'm actually going to, like, put this one way down here. This seems to be like... Oh, is this going to be the end of the game? Uh, the seahorse guy, obviously. I like this guy with a seahorse tangled up in his hair. Mr. Arakawa Shuji. But... But there's no way he feels the same about me. He's a real man. I'm just a student. He'd obviously never consider a kid like me. Ah! <laughs> Oh my. Not even a goodbye. Oh, I just ran away from him. Oh. <sighs> what a silly child. Damn it. He was there for specifically for me to confess to him. He wanted me to be like, You, Sensei. You. Can't believe he'd say all that. Mr. Arakawa's worked here for forever or something. I'm sure he knows all about students' love lives, but like. If he and I, and we were like, that? We went on dates and stuff. Uh, oh god, I'm gonna have a heart attack at this rate. Oh, oh yeah, it's just about Christmas. Should I invite Mr. Arakawa on a date to try and get closer to him? I mean, sure. Okay, I'm gonna muster up all my courage and ask him out. Oh shit. I mean, we technically already asked him out in the summer, but... 
Sure. Uh, Christmas is basically Valentine's Day in Japan. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. Even though they also celebrate yeah, like, Valentine's Day as like Red Day and White Day. But yeah, Christmas is when you spend with your loved ones, so yeah. Oh my. I've been expecting you. You yearn for pot stickers too, I see. Hell yeah! Let's go get some pot stickers for Christmas. Mm. Mr. Arakawa? Um. You know. So Christmas is coming up. Do you, do you want to go somewhere with me? Oh. oh shit, he's just as shocked as I am. What's this all of a sudden? Is it a stomach ache? Hey, I'm I'm being serious, you know. I want to go on a de a de a de a, de a, de a date, a practice date with you to practice. Ugh, I backed out at the last second. Such a coward. <laughs> you really are a silly child. I'm quite scared of Portuguese man of war chowder. So if you're going to ask this of me. I don't mind. I did perceive an unusual vigor in your expression today. If you'll allow me, I'll happily dilute the hot water with cold. Ah, That's strange, but cute. I think he's basically saying I could tell you were embarrassed today. Yeah, let's go on a, like a pretend date so you'll get over it. It'll cool you down a little bit. It'll make you feel more confident. So I'm sure you'll be willing to entertain me. Huh? He said yes? In a very conspicuous and specific way. <laughs> oh my god! Thank you, Mr. Arakawa! I'm gonna do whatever I can to live up to your expectations. I'm gonna entertain him. Okay, do you wanna- yeah, I, I guess I should. Shit's getting real now. Um... Going on a date with Sensei. Gotta entertain him. It's today. The day I've been waiting for. Christmas. And I'm going on a date with the guy I like. My god. What do I do? What should I wear? Um... I mean, dress down can have many meanings. Dress up, I'm getting to look pretty, but I might over. I think I'm gonna dress down, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it may be more funny. I'll just wear something normal. I'm feeling weirdly self conscious about this. I dress up, he'll probably just think I'm super cringe. I'm sure, he'd be more comfortable if I just look like I always do. What if he dresses up, though? I'm gonna look really embarrassing. Especially if he takes me somewhere. Why are we meeting at night in an alleyway? <laughs> Just gonna... Ah, hydrate. We're supposed to meet here. Mr. Arakawa's... Oh, there he is. Oh, sure, you look good. Oh, it's super early morning, not evening. Okay. Good morning. You look every bit a multi-level parking garage as always, Nakaoka-kun. Hi hi, Nakaoka-kun desu. Good evening. It's still ten minutes before we were supposed to meet up. But you're already here. Did you wait long? I was completely naked until about this time yesterday. He started preparing 24 hours ago? God damn. He was really itching to go. It's not a bad outfit either. The jacket over the sleeves is a bit of a problem, man. Show off those hands. Uh, the waistcoat could be buttoned up all the way and a bit more form-fitting. Nice colors, though. Oh, I really like the turtle deck. <sighs> it's cold. <laughs> we should get inside. Let's see. I'll be your escort today, so let's start with dinner. <laughs> okay, it is evening. I do, I'm so confused. Is it night or morning? Um, I picked out a local diner. Wait, no. I totally forgot to make a reservation. It's Christmas Eve, so it's probably jam-packed. What should we do? 
長崎くん僕の行きつけのコンビニエンスストアに入りましょうはい長崎くんです We can go to the Nagas We can go to the convenience store I frequent Nagasaki くん convenience store? Yeah, sure. As long as I can be with you, it's fine with me. People in chat, please remember to read my rules. Do not mention other livers unless I bring them up first. This is why a lot of people have been getting timed out today. So yeah, just read rules. Do, do. I really like that OST as well. Huh? Oh god, I should have dressed up. I'm gonna get kicked out. This is a fancy French restaurant, eh? <laughs> you even said restaurant. <laughs> Not a convenience store. Excuse me. I forgot to make a reservation for two. For the Barista Cabernet Secretary and his entourage, please. Barista Cabernet Secretary. Oh, Cabinet Secretary. Why did I just turn that into French? Cabinet Secretary. Um. He lying. He gets them to believe that he's. Okay, that's pretty cool. What's with that title? Please do something about that. It sucks. Wait a second. We didn't make a reservation? I'm the Emperor of Podluckia, so I can get in free. I can collect and nurse anything from snails to antlions as a result. It's a French restaurant, but they only serve bugs? This is going to be painful. <laughs> Podluckia? Yeah, I, I don't know, man. Just... just... You know what? Let him cook. Let him cook. We're getting a free meal out of this. <laughs> but yeah, that's fine. They gotta be good since they're high-class bugs. But I can't believe they just let us into a place like this. Is Mr. Arakawa rich or something? I he might be royalty. Or well known. He, he said he takes care of everyone. Oh, that's much better without the jacket on. There we go. Oh. It wasn't a waistcoat. It was another jacket. <laughs> okay. It makes me feel special, so I'm getting nervous. Is it because this is fine dining? Or because I'm not in my school uniform around the school nurse? <laughs> First of all, we'll have the usual wine. And the dried shit hors d'oeuvres. And then add everything on the last three pages of the menu, please. Dried shit hors d'oeuvres. Okay. Oh, they don't bring it out in courses. I'll have to order. Mmm... Yeah, the sodas are on... Huh? Ah, <laughs> Okay, well, I don't know what to say. 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 Okay, well, I do Okay, well, I do Okay, uh, um, thank you. I'm surprised they spell they sell Raider Gade. Mr. Arakawa ordered everything on the last three pages of the menu. So I've probably got a lot of yummy stuff coming my way. Sakagami-kun. <laughs> <laughs> deluxe. You seem tense, Sakagami-kun. <laughs> Just try to deluxe, Fufu. Oh my god! He knows my name. Oh, sure. Mr. Arakawa must be paying a lot of attention to me to realize I'm nervous. I have to make sure he has fun since he went out of his way to clear his schedule for me. Why do I not get wine? This is beer. <laughs> wow, everything looks so good. From the salads to the meat 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 to the meat. There's a real bias there. I guess that's what happens when you order the whole last three pages of the menu. Hope it's not too expensive. Yeah, he's rich as shit. The 17? But I'm on a date with a real man. <laughs> this is a lot of meat to pick from. What kind of meat is your favorite, Mr. Arakawa? Mm. There goes back to the fucking toothbrushes again. He loves the taste of toothbrush. Mm. I'd have to say toothbrushes. <laughs> Holy shit. He called himself out. <laughs> But while we're here, why don't you just call me Shuji? My criminality is on full display. Please don't let everyone around us know I'm your teacher. I... I would not do well in jail. I have such a nice ass and such a pretty face. I would not survive. Please call me Shuji. <laughs> huh? Oh, um... Yeah, sure. A teacher and a student now in public would... 
Yeah, it wouldn't look good for the teacher, would it? Even though I'm the one who asked him to come. <laughs> Phrasing. It really would turn into a whole big issue if I went and referred to him as my teacher. Shuji-san? Away with the face. Oh, he's already drinking the wine. Does that mean he wants me to call him just Shuji and not Shuji-san? Okay. I called him Shuji-san. It feels so weird, honestly. It's like we're dating or something. No way. No way, no way, no way. Get those crazy thoughts out of your head. I'm just spending some time with him today. All right. I'm going to have the steak. You are dating him. I mean, it's a practice date, so technically. But yeah, he, 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 he I asked him out on a practice date. So I mean, he doesn't see it as a date. Without even knowing the proper way to use a fork and knife, I dug into the meat using Mr. Arakawa as an example. Oh my, this is so good. And the presentation is spectacular. The juicy dating app, what? Mm. The butterflies is freshly slaughtered. The juicy dating app is so savory. I couldn't stop staring at those long, slender fingers as they lifted the glass of red wine to his lips, as they carefully cut up the meat with his knife and gracefully brought the food to his mouth. His tongue was beautiful, entrancing, as it so casually licked away the sauce on his lips. Takano-kun? Ay, takano Takano kun did your bone fracture? Yeah, uh, Mr. Ar I mean, Shuji-san. You just looked so elegant, so I couldn't help but watch. <laughs> okay, that innuendo is pretty fucking obvious. <laughs> you always tend to provoke controversy, just like a Venus flytrap. Do you long for a sword that much? Uh-uh. It's so bad for this heart of mine. It's pounding in my chest. But I think that alcohol might be getting to Mr. Arakawa a bit. At this rate, he's sure to have a blast. But don't put it that way. It sounds like we're trying to get him drunk or something. shuji san it's Christmas night. It'd be a shame if you aren't enjoying yourself. Come on, drink up. I'll pour you another glass. Oh, he is trying to get him drunk. Okay. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. I appreciate it. Uh-oh. <laughs> 30 minutes later. Oh, he's going to be super fucking wrecked, isn't he? The tension lifted and my belly was full. I started to get used to everything. But then I ran into a different problem. Oh, yeah. He's down. He's down. <laughs> Why is he crying? <laughs> Mr. Arakawa got drunker 20 times faster than I thought he would. Oh, he's a lightweight. He hasn't even finished the fucking bottle. Crying little baby. <laughs> Shuji-san, you're completely hammered. Are you going to be okay? <laughs> oh my god, this voice acting is amazing. Look at the dead seahorse. The seahorse is gutted too. Generally, like, I'm desperately being inoculated with negative ions, and, you know? The differences between oranges and mikans is like Monaco and Indonesia. <laughs><笑>たとえ火の中、水の中、土の中、ポッコリお腹、誰にも咎められることなく、ロト5ネウタに果敢に取り組んで一緒というのに、この受動喫煙社会はどうなってるんですか? <笑> Take this, for example. If you put your bloated stomach through hell and high water and earth soil, nobody's gonna blame the five bajillion who boldly wrestled each other. So just what is going on with this second-hand smoking society? Oh, botanical shampoo <laughs> what? Honestly, botanical shampoo is the punk rocker's joy. Revision. I need to drink some water. That cured my throat. One second. Oh my god. Ugh. Is he okay? God damn. 
I love how he added a second note there. Was that? Oh, God. I understand your grievances, Sushi son. Scratch that. I have no fucking earthly idea. But it's fine. We'll just leave it there. But Shuji san the manager and the other customers are laughing at you. Come on. Drink some water, okay? And calm down. There we both. Need oh my god. Oh. Oh. Those eyes. <clears throat> Today I learned Mr. Arakawa is a real bad emotional drunk. Happens to me when I drink too much too. I drink too much and then I suddenly get like nostalgic and start thinking about the past and yeah. I think everybody has those moments where they get super drunk and then just whoever they're drinking with, they're like, I love you, man. I don't feel like I say it enough, but man, I really mean it. I couldn't live without you. Yeah, that kind of thing. Yeah, I feel you, Shuji. But I'm glad I got to see such an unexpected side of him. Maybe I'm the only one who even knows how he comes undone like this too. Doubtful, since he apparently drinks wine here continuously. <laughs> Mr. Arakawa is always so mature and charming, so cool and reliable, and then he gets drunk and he becomes like any other guy in the world. It's endearing in a way. If the day had never happened, I never would have been able to spend time with him like this. I wish it could go on forever. Takagi-kun. I Takagi-kun this. Takagi-kun. Yes? What's up? What's <laughs> up? Tell me, what am I in your eyes? Ah, uh, what? Why are you asking me that all of a sudden? Well, I guess when you actually think about it, it's a pretty normal conversation, Copic. Who are you in my eyes? Just gonna save real quick. I mean, I'm gonna... My natural... Yeah, a special person is probably the one I want to say. If I say a wonderful teacher, that's probably shutting down the route. So, yeah. He's drunk anyway. What's he gonna do? Tell me no? I, I, that sounded bad. What I mean is, what is he gonna do? Tell me that this is wrong? No. He's too drunk for that point. He's gonna be, like, accepting of my feelings. And then he's gonna regret it in the morning. Yeah, I know that sounded bad. That was the wrong thing. <laughs> the meaning of that one. Don't clip that out of context. I mean, like, yo, he's drunk and he's emotional. That's what I meant. <laughs> Is he's not just going to be like super like, no. God damn it. You're a special person. To me, you're a kind, composed, precious, irreplaceable person. So I'd like to discuss this not as a teacher and his student. But it's just two people. Just like this. It's actually really good voice acting too. Being able to do little moments like that. God damn. They talk about my scent a lot in this game. I'm not really sure how to put it into words. But you have this nostalgic scent. It's calming. And yet... Fleeting. What would you do with me from here on? Wait. What would you do from here on? With me, I mean. Oh! Uh, um... I... 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 I don't know. What exactly are you trying to say? Oh, he smiled. See, that's what I meant when it sounded really bad. <laughs> Was that he wouldn't just say no, he'd speak his true feelings. And then he'd go backwards. God damn it. I think I've had a little bit too much to drink. Forgive me. I shouldn't have done that. Oh, okay. 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 Oh, okay
What? You're going to keep drinking? Oh, come on. Please learn the definition of moderation. After that, I continued to enjoy my Christmas date with the drunken, weeping Arakawa Suchi. <laughs> I didn't have the first idea of what he was saying the whole time. But it was still a satisfying day, filled to the brim with euphoria. God damn. Man has money. Black card means no charge limit. That means you can just keep going as long as you want. Which means... Probably alcohol poisoning, honestly. He's probably got some job outside of school. Oh, he has to. Like, goddamn. Black card? Mm -mm. That shit's impossible as a school nurse. He probably, like, works in the underworld or some shit. <laughs> Takes cares of mobsters and stuff that need a doctor, but can't go to a doctor because gunshot wounds. Happy New Year! It's already January. Wow. It only happens once a year, so I went to ring in the New Year at the neighborhood shrine. I'm not actually religious, though. Shrine is bustling with people. There's even a line to pray at the Hall of Worship. Over in the courtyard, though, there's a setup for making mochi and for playing Hanetsuki. What should I do? I... I don't know. Um... Pound some mochi! I feel like that'll be Saeki. I don't know what Hanetsuki is. I... I'm gonna try Hanetsuki. I'll go play Hanetsuki. Uh, hey there, buddy. Wow, even out of your school uniform, you dress pretty much exactly the same. <laughs> Mob doctors are the real heroes. I mean, <laughs> they get the job done. I like Blackjack. Blackjack's a great anime. Um, yes. We chose the wrong one. What did he say? We'll never know. <laughs> we'll never know. I'm going to pray instead. I'll get in line to pray. That's better. Oh my. What happened in a place like this? Hey, Mr. Arakawa. Happy New Year. Fancy meeting you here. Oh, okay, if you say so. <laughs> Congratulations. Master is the principal. The Northern Sky. Did you come to pray too? Actually, do you live around here? Oh. He's so fucking real for that. Also, that's the only time he hasn't been saying nonsense that he wasn't drunk. I go every year. I pray that the school and the students will be happy and healthy. And I'd also love a tax break if possible. <laughs> that's such a nice prayer. I'll try to keep in tip top shape so that your wishes come true. I'm probably just preaching to the choir here since you're a doctor and all. But you should make sure to take care of yourself too. Oh, we Uno reversed him. Let's go. So that's it. I'm a so formal. I wonder if that's actually supposed to be hair or if it was a haha. -ha. <laughs> of course. I'm a medical doctor. If I get sick, I can't work at school. Thank you so much. Yo, we haven't gotten that far yet. Nishimura-kun. Kin? Nishimura-kun. Why are you praying to God? Did you pass the exam? You want to add copper? Is it a prayer for childbirth? What am I praying to the gods for? Cold hard cash, baby! Um... I mean... Technically, if I get this, I get that. Because Sensei's rich. Um, I feel like Cash will be more funny. Frick it. It's this kind of... Well, yeah, fuck it. It's this kind of game. I want Cash! <laughs> He's really driving home the high taxes thing. <laughs> Is money important? Especially in today's world with high taxes and living alone. Owning a car costs a lot of money. Oh, the parade has started. This is our time. Let's do it together. Awesome, we're next in line to pray. I know we're in the middle of a conversation. We can't keep everyone behind us waiting. I don't exactly know the right way to pray. It looks like Mr. Arakawa is going to show the uneducated play prayer. I would start player. He's so nice. 
バケツを取り、水を取り、手を洗います。I didn't know this either. The pure factory font here purifies the heart and body. Get a bucket, get water, wash your hands. 洗い終わったら、容器を右手に持ち、左の手のひらに水を注ぎ、口をゆすぎます。After washing, 後背筋に口を直接置かないでください。Hold the bowl with your right hand. Pour water in your left hand and rinse your mouth. Do not place your mouth directly on your latissimus dorsi muscle. スバを吐くときは、膝を曲げて、左手で口を覆うと良いでしょう。水の状態によっては無理をする必要はありません。While inhaling, bend your knees and cover your mouth with your left hand. Add more or less depending on the water condition. 最後に鍋を立てて、ハンドルから残りの水を切り、oh. ハンドルを洗って元に戻します。It started off sounding real, now I'm very confused. <laughs> Finally, remove the case to drain any of the remaining cables. Wash your hands and put it back on. Wow! I barely understood that, but I had no idea the cleansing ritual had so many rules you had to follow. I'm learning so much. Sensei, are you a robot? Why do you have cables in your mouth? <laughs> you good, bro? <laughs> Now we're at the altar. Here's the box for offerings. Hey, you there, sitting in front of the screen. You pray with us too. Oh shit, they broke the fourth roll. Um. Mazu wa belu o narashite sanpai no junbi shi, tsugi ni offer ni o kane o iremasu. First, order bells and put money into the offer to prepare for your visit. Saisen bako no ichi o shu se shi, ni bai no fukasa de uetsuke mas. Mune no takasa de yukuri to mini ude o ange, liote o awase mas. Okay. Correct the position of the pot and twice as deep as the plant. I feel like this is a combination of teaching you how to take care of a plant and how to actually pray at an offertory box. Slowly lift your right arm away from your chest. In the event that you have any questions concerning where and how to use the internet, you can call us at the website. That's definitely a mixture of like different versions of like internet help. Like when you have to call the internet company and they're like, you could re reach us on the internet instead. And it's like, if I could do that, I wouldn't be calling the internet company. <laughs> Spread your arms out and attack twice. Pray with your folded hands or your heart and kneel deeply. I want to drink chamomile tea until I die. Your wish just now was totally different from the one you said earlier, though. <laughs> But anyway, that's how I ended my visit to the shrine. It, it was a good day, really. That was. Yeah, okay. Um. He just wants to drink chamomile tea. Good, good for him, honestly. As long as he's happy. As long as he's having a good time. Let's keep going. <laughs> oh my god. Winter break is over and school is back in session. Might as well take a look at my horoscope since it's a new year. I'll check mine and my crushes. Let's see. Mine says I've got great luck coming my way. Maybe something will happen with my crush. And it says my lucky charm is a shotgun. Sick. So I should carry around a shotgun from now on. Doesn't Sensei always mention shotguns? But it says everyone except me has bad luck. Is something bad gonna happen? I have to take care of their health and honor so that doesn't happen. Looks like their lucky charm is longing for pleasure. Kind of sucks. Yo, everybody has bad luck and they, they, their good thing is to long for pleasure. Well, that's the bell. Gotta put away my Sally. Who calls it a Sally? Alright, Happy New Year, everyone! Now take your seats! Wait, his voice got normal. I thought it was a little too quiet in here. Is Saiki absent today? Do you know anything about this? Uh, well, there's a bag in his seat, so he should be at school, right? Uh, maybe he went to the bathroom? Or the nurse's office? I could check the nurse's office for you. Come to think of it, I don't think I saw some blonde guy out of front of the school gate eating some demi glossy salivary steak off the ground. Yeah, that sounds like him. Did he get an upset stomach? Maybe. What should I do?、Uh, let's go look for him. I'm pretty worried, so I'm gonna go look for him. Why the ground? 
But somebody dropped it, and Psyche being Psyche was like, hmm, steak. Très bien. <laughs> I will eat that steak. <laughs> well, I've made it to the bathroom. Now what? I guess I could check if he's in there. Psyche. You alive in there? If you're alive, say something. That sounds like living condition. Uh, Dan Sal Delfebo, Mark Anthony, Gallery Caesar. Okay, that didn't make sense at all. Psyche. You're Psyche, right? Are you okay? I've got a stinky friggin' wind up on my tummy. It doesn't sound okay. I'm gonna go check on him. Psyche, open the door, please. And please let streamer mode actually censor something important for once. This has got to be bad. Uh-oh, I'm ready. Oh, we're good. Aww. Poor baby. Why is the toilet made of gold? What the f... What kind of... They did say this was a rich kid's school. Oh, uh, yeah. Mahershalala house bass. Psyche? You okay? And that weird ass string of letters is not my name. Got it? That was supposed to be my name? Okay. You ate that demi-glass Stalisbury steak off the ground, didn't you? So sad. Seriously? What even possessed you to eat something so disgusting? Couldn't get food poisoning. Because there was so much discipline on the lawn. <laughs> Ugh, just get it all out of your system, I guess. I rubbed Psyche's back as he threw up. Despite how worried I was for him, though, I found myself wanting to see more of Psyche like this. Oh, shit. We turned from... We haven't spent enough time with Marshmallow. We've turned from masochist to sadist. It was like a feeling of superiority or something like pleasure at seeing someone who's usually energetic and reliable was him looking so weak and pathetic. Holy shit, MC. Thanks. I was taken back by Psyche's hoarse voice. I realized it was wrong of me to entertain those kinds of thoughts. I shook my head quickly. No well, thanks necessarily. Necessarily? Necessary. I just want you to get better, Psyche. Oh, but um, if you're done vomiting, you should go rest in the nurse's office for a bit. I'll let Mr. Arakawa know, so. Yeah. Nah, it's all over. Stick the chopsticks in the bathtub. Oh, you're already going back to normal? Can't argue with that. Should we head back to class then? Atlantic Kajiki. Words of wisdom, my friend. Atlantic Spearfish. Afterwards, Psyche and I went back to the classroom. Psyche was quieter than normal, but he really was starting to look better. So I'm going to trust that he'll be okay. Sometimes you just have to get it out of you. That's all it takes. He'll be fine. It's lunchtime. I'm so hungry. Wait, crap. I didn't bring my lunch today. I guess I'll head to the cafeteria and get that Opabinia set that I love. Oh, that reminds me. What is Opabinia? God damn it. Is this a different type of fish? Yep. Oh my god, it has five eyes. Oh, and they stick out of its head. Oh, it's another extinct one. Okay. This is a strange, strange world we live in. Um, oh, that reminds me. I think I heard the baked hallucinogenia with olive fragrance that released two weeks ago is super delicious. It's pretty popular. Mm, what should I get? I kind of want the opabinia because it looks weird. What's hallucinogenia? That sounds like it's going to not be good for me Alusa oh no it's an animal oh that looks like a worm with legs a genus of lopopodian known from the cambrian aged fossils why are these all extinct what time period are we in <laughs> um does it make a difference probably um i'm gonna go with opabinia i'll stick with the opabinia set huh is that mr arakawa wobbling around over there what? I've got to keep this humidity in my underwear. 
Mr. Arakawa, what's up? Are you looking for something? Contact lens no kata desu ka? Oh, is it a contact lens? Um, no. I'm the one asking you. Anyway, you having lunch here too? Dochira sama desu ka? Who are you? Wow, after the fucking date we had? Again, I'm the one asking. Wait, did you seriously forget who I am? Is this amnesia? Are we doing this overused plot device? <laughs> that sounds like a Tosa dialect. Hmm? Are you joining the club? You're acting a little weird today, Mr. Arakawa. Well, that's every day. But it's like more this time. Do you have a fever? It's 102 degrees. Oh shit. That's insane. That cannot be normal. Um, back to the nurse's office with you. Let's get you cooled down. We need to get that humidity out of your pants. You should get some rest in your office, Mr. Arakawa. I'll go grab some lunch for us in the meantime. I grabbed his burning hand and took him to the nurse's office. Is he delirious? Yeah, he's completely delirious. Oh my god. Well. <laughs> I guess I'll take care of... Oh, the seahorse is KO'd too. No, oh, baby boy. Uh, getting carried away is just the best feeling. How are you always so sexy no matter what you do? Anyway, how do I handle this fever? Uh, I can't offer you any hospitality, but please don't push yourself too hard. I really think that's more of a thing I should be saying. His breathing is erratic, and his shirt is clinging to his body with sweat. It's so beautiful and so, so horny. I mean, I should wipe that sweat off of him, or else he'll get a cold. Um, Mr. Arakawa, would you mind letting me take your clothes off? Streamer mode, please. Um, I want to dry you off. Uh, so many pores. Could you please not count my pores? He's so nervous when he's watching me. Even though his eyes are closed right now. On the other hand, my eyes straight up started burning the moment I pulled off his clothes. They caught a glimpse of his skin. Even if I tried to look at- Oh yeah, okay, he's totally naked in the scene. <laughs> oh damn, streamer mode is saving me right now. <laughs> Even if I tried to look away, there's no way for my eyes to vo avoid that six foot three man. Hey, he's archivist height. So instead I carefully undid his tie and unbuttoned his shirt while staring directly into his eyes. It couldn't have been that long. But it seemed like a span of eternity every time I undid another button. Oh, okay. This is so fucking funny to look at. <laughs> it looks like there's a chibi him on top of normal here. God damn it. The contrast on your face bears a striking resemblance to the Aomori Prefecture. Once the sweat dampened shirt was unbuttoned, I peeled it off of him. Suddenly he didn't look like the Dr. Arakawa Shuji anymore. He was a helpless, powerless, hot as fuck man just a year or two older than me. Oh! He's only like 19. How is he a school nurse? With a blush on his cheeks as he lay in that bed. I slapped my face to get rid of all the sinful thoughts I was having and grabbed one of the wipes I'd gotten. Okay, I'm... Uh, gonna wipe you down. It might be a little cold, so don't be surprised. Just the fact that I'm touching Mr. Arakawa's naked skin is enough to drive me insane. But if I can just keep my eyes from wandering, I may be able to keep my shit together. I can feel the ridges of his muscles as I wipe them down. I wonder what these muscles are called. Oh. I, Yoshizumi-kun, this. Uh, are you by chance... Yoshizumi-kun. Wait, do you remember? Oh, uh, no. I'm not Yoshizumi. I'm Ovid. <sighs> I still don't wear a necklace, so... <laughs> uh, 
how could I ever forget that dried squid necklace of yours? You'd forgotten until literally just now, though. Anyway, I'm glad. I didn't know why or how you forgot, but at least your memory came back. Wait. Is this going to take a twist where he's been flirting with a lot of students and that's why he always gets my name wrong? とりあえず有名な声優や俳優を起用しておけばいいだろうみたいな思想には、どうもついていけません。声優は年を取りますけど、キャラクターは違いますし、もっと新人にスポットライトを当ててほしいです。And <笑> the salaries get really high as well. I mean, everybody should get a chance to shine. Otherwise, you never know who's going to be the new generation lead. Anyway, I don't quite like the idea that we should cast famous actors and voice actors in movies and anime. Voice actors get older after all, while characters don't. We ought to give the spotlight to fresh faces as well. And don't even get me started on casting famous actors in voice acting roles when they could have been taken by voice actors. You sure are chatty. But yeah, me too. I can't stand when the voice actor from the bottom in one meow gets cast as a top in another. That was a different conversation, but... No, that's fine. <laughs> they can switch roles. People can be versatile. People can be voice actors that are good enough in all roles. Sure, it may be easier to cast a well-known actor over a noob. And they'll rake in a lot of fans too, which means the viewership will increase. If you've got someone in their 40s or 50s playing a teen, I'm going to start worrying about the health of his throat, you know? <laughs> uh, wait. I'm sure you think you can push yourself since you're still young. I mean, you're a doctor, remember? You have to take good care of yourself. Hi, sakurai kun Oh. <laughs> Suck it, I couldn't. You're going so far. Come to think of it, is this getting meta from the fact that this man is both able to do top and bottom? That he's able to just like switch so easily between being the sensei that's like, oh, I'll take care of you. You look like you need a punishment. How about some uh, student one-on-one -on -one counseling time? And then all of a sudden he's just like, oh, suck it, I couldn't. <laughs> God damn it. Ugh. So absorbed in our conversation that I didn't even notice my hand my hand running the wipe into his pants. Oh god. I'm so sorry. I think I've probably got you all cleaned up. So so you can um do the rest on your own. From here on, if you'll just be more sincere with me, then huh. Be more sincere. I realized as this scene's gone on, he's gotten a lot more sweaty rather than less sweaty too. <laughs> That's so... If you keep saying things that make my heart race, I'm sincerely going to go insane, Mr. Arakawa. <laughs> what? You're asleep? But your eyes are always closed. I can't even tell if you're real or not. <sighs> well, anyway... Since lunch break was about to end and Mr. Arakawa had passed out, I went to the cafeteria to grab some food. I'm sure he was just teasing me, but God, it really is bad for my heart. That was certainly one of the scenes of all time. It started with me trying to take care of my boy, Saiki. It went places. It went places. <laughs> God, how much more does this game... Ha is it going to end on Feb... Yeah, I, it's going to end on um, Valentine's Day, huh? Maybe. God, it's been four hours already. We were flying. It's already February. The months fly by so quickly. The third term is just about to end now. And then it'll be my last year of high school. Looking back, this year really was over in the blink of an eye. I transferred to Koshian Kamaruan in April. <laughs> Still, Kade Maruin. Koshian Karameruin in April and met someone I'd ne I was sure I'd never get along with. And then we ended up becoming friends, more or less. I wonder if we'll be able to stay as we are now. I just... Every time I talk to him, I find myself wishing that we could be even closer. I'm so afraid that we'll ruin the relationship we have right now. So I pretend not to notice that voice in my head. I can't even imagine what would happen if I told him I love him. Maybe he'd stop seeing me as a friend. Would we be able to go back to how we are now? 
Oh, or maybe he'd even tell me he loves me too. Should we start dating? I just don't know what to do. Oh. Um, this is important. Confess to him. Right. I should confess. It's February, so Valentine's Day is coming up. It's the day you give chocolate to the person you like. I'll take this chance to tell him how I feel when I give him that chocolate. Now that that's decided, I should figure out what his favorite chocolate is. If I'm going to go through all the trouble of making something, I should at least make sure it's something he likes. Good morning. Oh, I order Senpai. Good morning. Um, catch you later. I'll catch you later. Sorry, Aoda, it isn't you. When the MCB 18 by this point? Oh, yeah, for sure. It's been like 10 months. It's pretty much impossible that he didn't go up at you. Uh, I sense a disturbance. What's up, Marshmallow? It's been forever. Oh, Marshmallow could. It feels like it's been ages since I last saw you. What happened to all the other mysteries of the school? Um, I, I think we should just focus on one ending right now, right? I, I feel like if we try to go for two, we're probably going to get in trouble. So I miss you, Marshmallow. Yeah, we may, if this ends like within the next 10 to 20 minutes, we may come back and do just Marshmallow. I, I'll catch you later. Gotta find Sensei. Sensei, where are you? There you are. Spam call Fujita kun desu ne. Ohayou gozaimasu. Hi. Sequins. Is that Fujita? Or Fujita? Is it like Fujita, like Fujita, but Fu? That's kind of cute. I'll, I'll be Fujita kun. <laughs> ah, Sequins Fujita kun. Good morning. Oh, Mr. Arakawa, good morning. What kind of chocolate you like? Um, you know, like chocolate and stuff. Karaoke desu ka? You are a mystery. <laughs> Karaoke? I go about twice a month. Okay. Right, I forgot people at the school don't know how to communicate. Um, What's your favorite kind of food? Plain slippers, perhaps? In any case, as long as it's not crustaceans, I'm fine. Okay, I can't be sure, but I guess you like to keep things simple. And crustaceans are a no-go. Thank you. I'm keeping this all in my mind. <laughs> okay, so simple chocolate. We'll just get like a nice milk chocolate. Maybe we'll put it in like a heart shape. Oh, ah, check out that slutch under your feet. What did I step on? Morning, Saiki. Uh, catch you later, bro. Um, I gotta make chocolate for Sensei. Um, plain chocolate. Nothing too fancy. Probably not too many fancy shapes either. Um, okay, I'm going home early so I can get to work on that chocolate. I have to get a bar of chocolate on my... Oh, shit, we actually have to choose things. This may affect the ending too. <laughs> Fuck. There's so much. Um, I'll erase... Oh, oh, that's where I want it. Yeah, okay. Okay. Dark chocolate for a mature palette. That might work for Sensei. I mean, if I was going to describe anyone in this game as mature... But he said he likes plain and simple. Definitely not super sweet white chocolate. Um, it literally says plain milk chocolate. Okay, plain. Milk chocolate is definitely the way to go. Okay. First, I have to melt the chocolate and pour it into the molds. What shape should I use? Um, a giant massive heart. Something small and easy to eat. Something small, small you can't even see. Um, I think small and easy to eat. Like, that's the simplest one, right? It's smaller, it's easier to eat, and it doesn't get your hands all sticky. I say it's the thought that counts, right? Yeah, bite size. That's perfect. Should I mix something in with it before it hardens? Nuts. <laughs> Money? Nothing. Um. Fuck. I mean, he is a rich kid. He eats some weird... He said simple. He specifically said simple. I would like to give him some nuts, though. Oh, man. Cadbury's... Dairy milk with nuts is like the best chocolate bar. Ah, oh, actually fruit and nuts is even better. Ah, uh, uh, nothing. We'll go plain. We'll go plain. Keeping it nice and simple. That way you can savor the taste of the ingredients. That's not how... Okay. Um, ingredients. And last up's the toppings. What should I add? The fuck is the silver draggies? Drag these. Um, I'm gonna Google this. Silver... Is it an ancient fish? Because if so... Um, 
Oh, they're the sugar pearls. Okay, they're the, like the crunchy things. Um, yeah, we're not gonna add anything then. Play it safe and don't add anything. All right, chocolate is done. I can't believe I'm actually gonna confess to him on Valentine's Day. I, I'm freaking out. It's okay, we'll do fine. Don't worry about it. You wanna save here? No, cause I already, well, mm -mm. sure. Just to play it extra safe. Save just after the one where we may have to go back all the way to Marshmallow Kun. Continue playing. Yes. Let's see how this goes. Tabasco would have been poggers. I don't want him to hate me. <laughs> it's finally Valentine's Day, which means it's time to confess. I just have to muster up the courage. I know I can do it. It's just about time to track him down. Mr. Arakawa! Let's go find him. G Good morning, Mr. Arakawa. Are you in here? Oh, yeah. Oh, good morning. Your front teeth are looking pretty young again today. What happened? What? Just muster up the courage, Folga. You've got this. Make him actually remember your name for the first time in life. I held out the chocolate I made for him. Mr. Arakawa stood up from his chair and started coming closer. Closer. どちら様ですか? And just who are you? Uh, um... Huh? This is, um... I made this for you, Mr. Arakawa. You don't remember me? Oh yeah, oh yeah. それはとても素敵ですね。僕が本当にいただいても? Do you remember our two dates? Oh my, that's quite splendid of you. Is it truly all right for me to have it? Arakawa Shuji. Sir? You may see me as just another student at this school, but you're special to me. There's only one single you in this whole world, and I'd like to make you not single anymore. I want us to be more than just a teacher and a student. So, Mr. Ar... No. Shuji-san, I... I like you. And I'd like to go out with you. Oh. Are you being serious? If that's really good voice acting, he's about to say no. Because that was a, are you being serious? Like it sounded like he was kind of hurt by it. Yeah, I am. I'm quite interested in you. Oh! <gasps> If it's you, I wonder, would you be able to accept me? Yes, I freaking would. Well, let's see how bad this gets. <laughs> but I think so. What do you mean? Getting ready to censor this. Oh, that's okay. God dang it. <laughs> oh, you just mean like the normal kind of accept me. Uh, okay. My deep, dark love, and the secret I've been keeping from you. If you learn this, you may not be able to see me the same way anymore. The secrets that he has feelings for me too, right? And he didn't want to act on them. Oh. M Mr. Arakawa. I won't turn tail and run. I'm ready for whatever you throw at me. Oh. Accept it all. If you try to run away from me, or even just consider it, I'll have to punish you mercilessly. Are you okay with that? Yes! Punish me mercilessly? Yes. I can't say for sure, but... I will say this one thing. 
I want to accept everything you give me. I want to know you and love you so, so deeply, Mr. Arakawa. That's a nice answer. For the first time in a long time, I want to try and trust people again. I wonder what his secret could even be, and what his merciless punishment would entail. I can feel his breath on my face. That alone is enough to make my chest feel like it's about to burst open. At this rate, I'm going to end up pulling Mr. Arakawa in for a kiss. As Please come to my office after school tomorrow. We'll continue our discussion then. If you still intend to accept me. Alright? Yes! Yes, 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 yes! <laughs> Oh, God, we're going to get murdered. But at the same time, <laughs> we may just get punished. I don't know. Oh, my God. Is the original cannibal thing going to come back? The red flags are piling up, but I am so there for it. He wants me alone off to school when everyone else has got home. We're going to get murdered. But yeah, yeah, you know what? I'm leaning into it. I'm like a bull. I see the red flag. I'm charging. I'm charging. <laughs> I'm looking forward to tomorrow after school. I want to know what Mr. Arakawa's secret is so bad. And so I decided to head home with Pep in every step. Yeah, I'm gonna die. <laughs> Do you want to save here? I mean, sure, why not? God, um... Uh, uh, let's continue playing. He's the red in the flag, I'm the pole. Oh, God damn. Oh, this music's different. The next day, my mind was so full of thoughts about Mr. Arakawa, there was no more room for learning. I could only think of his big warm hands on me the beautiful eyes i could see through slit eyes whenever he came near and the distinct smell of shampoo and chemicals chemicals you say that sounds like a problem <laughs> i couldn't wait for school to let out i watched the clock and fantasized about what mr arakawa would say to me when i got to his office i was thinking such terrible things but they felt so good i ran my hand over my face to try and reset my thoughts and as soon as the bell rang, I packed my things and booked it to the door. Yeah, I should have had a shotgun. You're right. My lucky item was supposed to be a shotgun. I should have had one ready in case this goes Resident Evil. I hurried through the halls, making sure that the thing I bought yesterday was safe and sound. I have a shotgun. I have a fucking shotgun. <laughs> making sure the thing I bought yesterday was safe and sound in my bag. When I was in front of the nurse's office, I tried to fix my myself up. And then I took a deep breath. The hand that opened the door was trembling with anxiety. Mom? Dad? I'm finally becoming an adult today. Is it not the chocolate? No, we gave him the chocolate yesterday for Valentine's Konnichiwa. Day. Orange juice to tanichi tenchi. Dochi ga ka? Whichever one you prefer, Sensei. Hello. Would you prefer orange juice or a D battery? DD battery has some innuendo to it, actually. M Mr. Arakawa! Hello! Orange juice, please, for now. You can give me the D later. Oh, we're going somewhere. That should be fun. Please, give me just a moment to sort through some papers before we leave. Leave? Where are we going? I'm guessing I'm not getting that orange juice then. You should get in the car first. I'll get the door for you. Oh no. The car? How far are you taking me? <laughs> uh, I mean, we've been in the car before. Is he... Wait. Is he hoping that I fall asleep again because of the gentle rocking of the car? Oh god. I didn't expect us to go anywhere in your car. <sighs> Mr. Arakara? Where are we headed? Your house? He specifically did not say his house. He specifically said the place where I live now. The place where I live now. There's something I want to show you. <laughs> oh no. It's not a house. It's where he lives. And what might that be? Y your secret? <laughs> 
お楽しみのようですね。<笑> You're quite eager to know. Of course, I'd be excited to get to know you better. I can't wait. Especially since you called me Fufu. Even so, Mr. Arakawa's driving really lulled me into a sense of complete security. If I weren't locked in this car with him, I totally would have dozed. <laughs> They're pointing out in the writing, I'm locked in. This is so good. Holy shit. こちらが僕のクーネルところです。え、Isn't this my house? Wait. <laughs> this is the place I eat and sleep. Wow. So you live in a house? Oh, okay. But I thought he was going to be like, yeah. いらっしゃいませ。飲み物をお出しするので、待っていてくださいね。It's a very modern apartment. Okay. This was. Why did he make it sound so weird with the place I live now? <laughs> Welcome. I'll get you something to drink. Just wait one moment. This is his room. It's clearly a living room. It smells so good. It's pretty one note and barren, but that only proves he's a serious working man. Look, man. All we need is a TV and somewhere to sit and lay down. I need, I need people to stop attacking people that just don't have a bunch of knickknacks. Some people don't like knickknacks. Well, maybe he just knew I was coming over, so he tidied up a bit. Yeah, and the systems. <laughs> I sat down on the sofa next to some dog eared books. I could easily picture him falling asleep right there, lying out across the length of it with a book and his glasses in hands. He's gonna poison you, Folger? Yeah, he is. I'm down for it. Mr. Arakawa is tall, so his legs would probably spill over the arms of the sofa if he were to lie down. The thought filled me with this feeling of euphoria I couldn't easily describe. I wonder what Mr. Arakawa likes to read. Oh, God. Yeah, the books are going to be real bad, aren't they? I could see some books on treating diseases and injuries. Had a vibe with the youth. Romance novels. He's probably so well read. <laughs> the first one's not so bad. How to vibe with the youth. That's a red flag as fuck. How to hang out with young people. Um, Romance novels. Has he been trying to like up his flirting game? As I look through the books, I notice an album. Was it his? It's full of murder victims, isn't it? If it is, I might find his baby pictures in there or trophies. I open the album, my heart pounding with anticipation. Huh? This isn't Mr. Arakawa. All of the photo. Oh no. All of the photos in the album were of students wearing the Coke Academy uniform. I flipped through several pages, but Mr. Arakawa wasn't in a single photo. Or was it just that he loved his students so much that he took his their pictures to remember them by? But honestly, there was something unsettling about all these pics. None of them were smiling, smiling in the photo, but not in the way you'd expect from candidates. All of their expressions were blank, staring almost feebly at the camera. And they were so pale too. They're dead. They're dead. He's the one who's been making children go missing. I really hope I have that shotgun right now. I swallowed thickly when I found another thing they all had in common. Every single one of them had bruises on their necks. The black and blue marks around their necks made it look like they'd been strangled. Like they were. Like they were dead. The moment I realized it, I slammed the album closed and shoved it away from me. <sighs> What is this? Why? Why would there be pictures of dead bodies in Mr. Arakawa's room? So many dead children. Wouldn't that be major news? News. That's when I remembered all of the missing students and the rumored kidnappings. The case was still unsolved. Four kids, including students at Coke Academy, I'd、gone missing. The people in these pictures be the missing kids. The ones who were said to be kidnapped? I remembered seeing it so many times on the news. And they do match the descriptions of the missing kids. The necklace he kept referencing? <gasps> the necklace. It's bruises around the neck. Oh no. <laughs> he's, that's why he's been mentioning different names every time. He's remembering his victims while he looks at me. And he talks about the nostalgic smell I have. I just tickled his fancy. I'm his type. I smell like the rest of them. 
and he's already imagining me with the bruises around my neck oh my god so the fact that this album is in Mr. Arakawa's room means <laughs> reverse energy oh god yep he's trying to drug me so sorry to keep you waiting I brought you the reverse energy drink oh Mr. Arakawa my heart leapt into my throat I broke out into a cold sweat and my arms and legs began shaking oh you look ugly is something wrong oh the mask slipped there too he just casually says I look ugly <laughs> um uh, that's like a straight up insult do you mean I look pale or something but um no it's nothing could it be that you saw my photo album Mr. Arakawa noticed that the album was on top of the other books stacked up and pointed at it I couldn't even speak I had no idea what the right thing to say was no matter how much I tried to think of something his eyes opened oh shit you saw it didn't you in his eyes I saw unclouded madness it was enough to convince me Mr. Arakawa Arakawa Shuji was the one behind the serial kidnappings he was a cold-blooded killer or at the very least he was involved with the culprit had he been hiding his insanity and playing innocent this whole time no perhaps the way he could never carry a conversation was evidence of that insanity I knew that if I said something wrong now there was a possibility that he'd kill me so I couldn't speak it's all right this is something I would have had to tell you eventually um my, Mr. Arakawa did you do this all the missing kids oh that's creepy <laughs> please smile you really are such a lovely person especially when you smile at me it's more beautiful than anything else I would so love to keep you like this forever at your most beautiful yeah he wants to preserve us Kimiwa you said you wanted to live with me yes would you still love me if by chance I've killed someone yes if you're not going to kill me but why would you do something like that is that what happened to student A after he opened his eyes at student A? Oh dear God. The first time, it was to stop a student from being bullied. I called the bully into my office, and upon being interrogated, a small skirmish broke out. That's when I realized when a human body completely ceases the functions it needs to live, it's preserved in that very form. No more, no less. それなら、もし愛しい人を一番美しい状態で永遠に維持できるとしたら、それ以上の宝。if that were the case then I would be able to freeze in time the one that I love the most beautiful state what could possibly be more precious more satisfying more pleasurable than that I wanted to preserve the person I loved so that I could love them forever 
誰も僕を受け入れてはくれませんでした何があっても僕を愛すと言ったはずなのに That's the punishment he's been talking about. お仕置きをしました、well, Love forever indeed, I mean <laughs> There were of course others like you None of them were able to accept me Even though they insisted they would love me no matter what And so I had to punish them もう一度聞きますが君は僕を愛してくれますか I'll ask you again Will you love me? I mean, I'm gonna say yes. I'm gonna hope MC doesn't fuck me up on this. I wanna fuck the crazy doctor. <laughs> I don't wanna be a corpse, I can tell you that much. I... I love you, Mr. Arakawa. Even if you killed someone. Even if you're a murderer. I love you. So you said that. That's the first time anyone's ever said that to me. Because until now, no one has ever accepted you. I accept you. Murder and all. We can do it together. We can get rid of all the skull bullies. You can choke them while I stab them. We'll have a lovely time. I mean, sure. Oh my god, he's actually doing it. <laughs> I mean, sure, killing people isn't great. It's probably why no one ever understood when you confided in them. But you told me this. Because I love you. And you love me, right? So I'm sure I can come to understand you. And accept you. And it's you we're talking about, so... So if I can be with you, even if you kill me, I'd be happy. When I told him this, Mr. Arakawa grabbed my shoulders and pushed me down onto the couch. Well, I'm not sure whether he's choking me to death or about to make out with me. This could go either one of two ways. <laughs> he's cute. I know. If evil, why so adorable? He, he, oh, he's so happy to be accepted. Murder and all. Huh. <sighs> Oh, you've exceeded my expectations. Your words, your expressions. I want every last piece of you to be mine. I'm truly happy that I told you. It was just the two of us. Alone in Mr. Arakawa's room. The sound of my pounding heart drowned out his voice, and I found myself wishing that time would stop. It could stop. Time could never move forward for us again, depending on how this goes. It must have been a heavy burden to carry all by himself. But it's fine now. I'm the only one who can share it with him. Our feelings were mutual. It's insane to think he needed me to accept dying to get to that point. But that's what makes him such a beautiful, wonderful person. I can't even imagine what hardships you must have gone through. Please, Mr. Arakawa, tell me everything. I want to know everything about you and more. Yes, alright. I believe you can become my greatest treasure. He slowly ran his fingers along the nape of my neck. His hand brushed against my throat, and his breath grew ragged. He'd gotten aroused by the mere knowledge that he could end my life at any moment, and once I lost consciousness, he would patch me up and preserve me just like all the other students in his photo album. He would treasure me like a rare jewel as I slept. He would be happy. I would be honored to be killed by your hands, Mr. Arakawa. Please love me, even after I'm gone. I love you, Motherfucker still didn't even remember. I love you, Nakamori-kun. It's Ovid. 
As he squeezed my neck and I lost consciousness, we stared into each other's eyes. And when I felt his tongue push into my mouth, I stopped breathing entirely. It was as if my beloved teacher and I had become one. And thus, the kidnapped student and the murderer began their life together. The world was once again alight with news about missing students from Koshien Kadadamurani Academy, but that didn't matter to us. Today, just like every day, I just waited at home for the return of my beloved master. Am I dead? I, I, I get... Don't act like I'm not special. How dare you? I've felt this way before. It's the same as seven years ago. I remember like it was yesterday. The feeling when I had when I lost that child. Uh, I've started crying. So then why? Why am I so turned on? <laughs> Yo! Oh, god damn. He is a serial killer. A child serial killer. Who had his first instance of excitement when he killed a child seven years ago. And now just kills more children. Oh, god. I don't understand. He, he killed us. He killed us. And he did that whole thing of like deciding we would be his most precious treasure and telling us how beautiful we are without even actually remembering our name properly. But then as soon as we were dead, yeah, he realized, ah, it's the exact same feeling as seven years ago. We were just another one, just another one of the victims and he's eventually got to do it again. Oh, we've got two different sides to this song. Where is the image I've been chasing? Single raindrop. The evening shower is near. Interesting. Huh. Anyway, cute song. Want to see if silent? Yeah, I'm going to see what's if silent. And then... I think we've got enough time to do the marshmallow one. I kind of want to do the marshmallow one. <laughs> I'm happy with that one, though. I got murdered, but it was a good time. He said he was turned on. He said he was happy. Even though we were just one out of many, he still didn't remember my name. That's fine now. I wonder if I'm supposed to be singing the bit at the top. My love ends as I recall your profile. It was hot till the end? Yeah, it was. I knew he was going to choke us to death. I thought he'd at least actually care a bit more about us. I think that's the ultimate insult. I thought that he'd be like, Ah, oh, you really will be my most precious treasure. And they said that whole thing about me waiting for my master every day. But then they just had to really twist the knife by being like this whole thing with like, oh, it's the exact same as seven years ago. The day I lost that boy. I'm wondering if Marshmallow's a ghost. Maybe Marshmallow was his first victim and that's why he's so connected to the paranormal. Hmm. I don't know. He's just too far gone. I think even acceptance isn't enough for him. No, because the acceptance probably wouldn't have mattered to him. He would have killed us if we'd said, if we'd been silent as well, I'd imagine. Or maybe we get out the shotgun if we do indeed have a shotgun. But yeah, he definitely didn't care so much about our acceptance so much as it was just like, oh, that makes it even better. You understand me. I'm going to preserve this. I'm going to make this my most precious thing. And then as soon as he'd actually done it, it was just like a high wearing off. It was a blast of endorphins from killing someone and thinking, I'm going to preserve this body. And then the immediate realization that it's just the same as every other time he'd killed someone. And so he's just going to go on and keep killing people. 
we weren't special. Even though we accepted him and were happy to die, he thought that would be great and fantastic. And then as soon as he did it, he was just like, uh, it's just like seven years ago. Okay, on to the next one. He didn't even remember our name until the fucking end. <laughs> oh, man. I, I kind of hoped that this game was going to give us a real fucked up end. I, like, whether he was doing the whole, like, yeah, I will accept you. And he was like, oh, that makes me so happy. I was like, yeah, let's be serial killers together. I like that ending. But no, they couldn't give that to us. <laughs> We weren't special. Yeah, I like the realism of it. I like the fact that that's the thing. I thought they were going to go like full fan fiction and be like, Haha, you cured the serial killer somehow. Like now he's fine with you. But no, they were just like, no, he's a serial killer. He's going to keep killing. That's all he knows. That's all he wants. You're not special. Don't you talk to me, sensei. I don't even remember my fucking name. We see the bad ending now. Oh, hell yeah. <laughs> yeah i like the realism of it i just i kind of wish there was an ending where it was like complete silly fiction me helping him kill more people i don't know i i would have become a serial killer for him that's how much i cared will you love me stay silent uh, i could never accept that but no matter what I said, he was definitely going to kill me. I had to focus on trying to get out of this situation. Somehow. Some way. Oh. The chain sound. This old ST is amazing. Let me turn this up. I knew it. You're just like all the others. You said you would accept me no matter what happened. Does that mean you lied to me? Didn't I tell you? I'll have to punish you. Mr. Arakawa is getting closer. S somebody. Anybody help me? He's going to kill me. At that moment, my sheer ter terror reached its peak. It consumed my mind and my body acted on its own. What? what did I just do? My mind couldn't process any sounds. Even when I came to, I couldn't hear any voices. The room was silent. And then I remembered. Glass was falling as I tried to push him off of me. Grabbing a coffee mob from the table as he recoiled, yanking on his tie as he lay on the floor. I choked him to death. Holy fuck. Oh, Sensei. I guess now I'm the one who gets to preserve you. You look so beautiful, Sensei. Perhaps I'll wipe you clean. Take a picture. Hmm. This might have unlocked something in me. <laughs> um. Mr. Arakawa? He's. He's not moving. On that day, I killed someone for the first time. But it won't be the last. Because now I have a taste of it. It turned out. Me and Sensei were even more soulmates than I thought. As I looked at his still body, two emotions welled up inside of me. The first was guilt, the realization that I'd just committed a crime, the knowledge that I'd have to carry this burden with me for the rest of my life, and the unbearable weight of it that could easily drive me to insanity. Honestly, I might have even been willing to take my own life just to escape this unbearable pressure. But the other strong emotion in me was able to overcome that feeling. It was... The pleasure of taking a life. The unsightly, lifeless face of a person dear to me moved my heart in ways I'd never known. Against my will, my body screamed for more, and I got increasingly overwhelmed. Mr. Arakawa, I finally understand what you were trying to tell me. And you were right.
<laughs> I'm the serial killer now, baby. <laughs> Suddenly, a bunch of middle-aged men are going to be going missing in this town. <laughs> Yo, that's actually a sick ending. We didn't even have a shotgun. We just beat him to death. I think we beat him in an evening shower, unrequited love. So yeah, I like how they have that double side to even the ending song as well. Oh, now we get the other side. This is sick. So I think every route has like a a win end and a loss end, I guess. I wouldn't really call that a good end or a bad end. They're both bad. A survivor and a dead end? Yeah, probably more like that. This is a nice song. So soothing. Man, like the first one better? I don't know which one I like better. They both have their good sides. Me being killed? Pretty cool. Meanwhile, me doing the killing and realizing, oh, I'm into it. <laughs> both work. Both are great. <laughs> the song is actually good. It is. The first song was good as well, but I was confused by like the two halves of the lyrics on stream. I was like, what, what is that for? Is that for like a different side for like imagining a voice in the head kind of thing now that i know that it's both sides like i can properly listen to it it's awesome I like murdering more especially since he didn't even remember our name yeah fuck him it was fun while it lasted though sensei was a sexy ride but it was a ride we had to get off of the red flags were there we charged forward into the red and it turned out we were stronger we are the serial killer I want to see the other routes. Oh, we're gonna. I'm hoping we can do Marshmallow without going too far back. I'm gonna reload the one where it lets you choose who you want. Oh, maybe I'll just. I'll go quite a bit back and then I'll just skip through everything that isn't Marshmallow. I want to see the Marshmallow route. Opening song, a song I wrote using only things I said in my sleep. You. That's why the lyrics are like that. <laughs> Ending song, an unrequited love. That's good, man. Local Ray May. Ending song B, evening shower. Okay, so we're listening to unrequited love now. Red flag versus red flag. This game is so unhinged. Yeah, it's great. I quite like this. I wasn't sure how this was going to end. And I was scared when we got taken back to Sensei's house that it may be too weird. But nah, it was the right amount of weird. <laughs> Damn, that voice is so soothing. Considering how unhinged that all was. The uncensored picks. Oh, shit, I didn't even notice that. Were they safe? Did, did we see PP? I didn't even pay attention to PP. You good? Am I going to have to take this video down? <laughs> Was it just, um, no PP? Okay, we're good. That's that's all you have to hide, really. It's just the underwear region. We're good there. <laughs> hey, Psyche. Jam Sampoido presents. Oh, a cure. Was that? Seno. <laughs> Was that second one Seito Kaicho, but actually talking forwards for once? Interesting. So. Okay, I'm going to hide this for a second because I know they warned me that in the gallery, everything is uncensored, even if you've seen it. And I'm going to... Um... Oh. No, they're not. They're still censored here. Interesting. I was lied to. In which case, yeah, there's no point in going through this gallery. If you, it just it looks like what it is here. Um, oop. There you go. It's still censored when it was censored. Interesting. 
Oh, it's if I restart the game. Right. Okay, I'd have to restart the game and choose. No censoring. But you were attracted to dangerous people? Oh, I knew you were attracted. Yeah. I mean, I haven't exactly hidden this fact. Okay, how far back should we go? Maybe where should I start? How? Late July, August. How far back do you think we could get away with? Think. Let's try just joining here. Let's try just joining on the person I like and let's see if we could just make Marshmallow the chocolate and work it out. Please turn them down the sound again. It's just on the opening screen. It's fine in the game. I don't think it kicks in the sound control until you get in the game. But yeah, I'm going to try Marshmallow Summer and give him chocolate and see if it works. I like this kid with pink hair and adorable little freckles. Hamura Marshmallow Summer. But there's no way he feels the same about me. He's an elusive mystery of a guy. I never know what he's thinking. He's way out of my league, though. Ah! Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. oh my. Not even a goodbye. Silly child. Oh, we've already done your route. Don't worry about it. Um, ba -ba -bum. I think he'll reject you. I think he will, too. I think we're going to have to go back far enough and, like, do enough of his route to get him to actually accept the chocolate. That's the problem. We'll see, though. It'd be nice. I can't believe he'd say all that. Mr. Arakawa's work to... Okay, we can skip most of this. Um, Should I invite Marshmallow Kun on a date and try to get closer to him? Oh, this is only Christmas. Okay, this is even Valentine's. Okay. Uh-huh. Okay. I'm gonna muster up all my courage and ask him out. This isn't so bad, then. If he accepts this, we've still got, like, quite a bit of time to build up favorability. Come on, find Marshmallow could anywhere. I still don't even know what grade or class he's in. He doesn't stand out much at all, so I don't know anything even when I ask. Wow. It's almost like he's not a student here. He's a ghost. <laughs> I just hope I see him before Christmas rolls around. Come to think of it, none of the occult club members mentioned Marshmallow at all, did they? He was in the room, but not one of them said anything about him. Aww. He is a ghost. Hmm. Is that that guy from Hanako-kun? I was gonna say- Oh god, you can't even find him to ask him out. Oh shit. Um, I was gonna say the girl from Tasogare Otome X Amnesia, which is a really good show. Beautiful soundtrack. But yeah, similar thing. Bum, bum, bum. I'm gonna skip. Wait, but I didn't ask them out. Um... Log? What the fuck? I'm gonna go on a date with the guy I like. I didn't get to ask him. Um, dress down. I I'll just wear something normal. I'm feeling weirdly self-conscious about this. Um, ha. Huh? We're supposed to meet here. Ah, oh. but in the end, Marshmallow could never actually showed up at the meeting place. I mean, I didn't ask him out. Why did I go to wait for him? <laughs> no? Uh, okay. Happy New Year. Skip. Found some mochi? Oh, God. Hi, Genki this. Okay, yeah, you are very Genki. Um, you know what? I'm gonna skip Psyche, too. Oh, I don't think... So no... I got there! God damn. Hehe. Toby, you like me too. Not enough time together, I guess. Yeah, we probably have to load further back. Do you want to save here? No. Let's, um, uh, maybe we have some more time to hang out. Uh, nah, it probably won't work. Mm. Fuck, do I end here? Do I do? Uh, do you guys want to do a second run of this with Marshmallow? It should take that long. Yeah, we can do a very short stream of this at some point in the future to do Marshmallow's route. I don't want to do any other routes. I know a lot of people are quite interested in the Seito Kaito, but Marshmallow is the only one I'm actually interested in. Maybe on a different day. Yeah, I'm thinking next week we can do another route. Psyche too. I'm not too bothered with Psyche. <laughs> Psyche, not really my interest. He seems like he's got something hidden there, but yeah. If you guys want to play all the routes, you can play the game. The link to the game is in my description for this video. Um, but yeah, I think I'll do Marshmallow on a different day since it seems like it's going to be long. But we did get to do the Shuji route. Shuji was fun. 
be a short, sweet, a sweet short stream. Yeah, hopefully. Okay. Let's head over to just chatting. And I guess we kill this game for now. Yeah, we probably have to start from the beginning and do nothing but marshmallow root. God damn it. Um, let me put on some music and kill this one. Boop. Psyche friend zoned? Yeah, pretty much. Um, Psyche and the student council president. Psyche's fun, but the nonsense would get on me. Like, I know I'd just be like, okay, Psyche, whatever. Eventually, he might turn into something interesting since he had that one moment of, like, being real with us. And it makes you wonder why he's being low to random all the time. But yeah. <laughs> this was fun, though. I wasn't sure how this would go. I went into this game completely blind, other than knowing that it was adult and dark and there could be all kinds of messed up stuff, so... That was good. It wasn't, like, full-on horror, but it had, like, dark moments. We got some nice fan service -y kind of stuff. It was good. It was good. A roller coaster? Hell yeah. Sensei lived up to all my expectations. Same. Looking back on it, I am glad they made it so that, like, if you say you love him, he's just like, okay, then I'll kill you. And just doesn't even care about you at all. Is just adding to his collection. Does not remember your name. And as soon as the killing is actually done, he's like, oh, it feels so good. Oh, it makes me horny as well. But then is instantly like, oh, but it's just the same feeling as seven years ago. <sighs> Called it, I knew he was sus. Yeah. I knew he was sus too, but I thought it was just going to be like extreme sadism. I didn't think it was going to be that. <laughs> Marshmallow's root is really good. I can't wait for you to try his root out. Oh, I'm looking forward to it. It's a shame we couldn't do it today because I did want to get through it today. But yeah, if it seems like it's going to take a while longer since we have to go so far back. He didn't accept our date. How dare he not accept our Christmas date? That's fine as well, because that means we get to get we get to spend summer with him as well, which should be interesting. We'll get quite a few different scenes next time. And yeah, who knows? If we have time next time, if it ends up taking just like two hours, then maybe we'll go down what's his name's route as well, Psyche. We might have time that way to do Psyche as well after that. It's been five oh my god, it has been five hours. To the minute, in fact. That's why. <laughs> oh my god. This is a fun game, though. I'm glad we played it. Um, yeah, more fun. Hell yeah. Their voice acting is so good and funny. I wish they had a few more of the... <sighs> I wish they had a few more of those moments where, like, the characters broke in the middle of reading it. Like, I would have loved that. That moment when Marshmallow's voice actor was just like... Yeah, it <laughs> yeah, it tastes just like the sweat on a bicep. <laughs> like started cracking up in the middle of the line and just tried to finish it. That was so fucking funny. Lemon grab homeroom teacher was great. Ten thousand years dungeon. Yeah, I think it's more Mickey the Mouse than Lemon. Oh god, I think it's more Mickey the Mouse than Lemon grab. But yeah, every time that came on, it was pretty wild. <laughs> oh man. Okay, I've got to read super chats from yesterday. But first, I'll read the super chats that are actually from today. So, Oop. okay, let's see what we've got. I don't think there were many today. Um, Ying Shijie, darling, it's better down where it's wetter. We were under the sea and it was a wonderful time. I want to be where the murderers are. <laughs> Walking about on what do you call them? legs i mean yeah i can't really make any joke about that one he, he strangled people there's no real twist to that one thank you for donating the food finds oh crap whose name was that i missed it <laughs> um where'd it go oh no wait there we go ying shi jie thank you so much for donating the food funds hope you had a wonderful evening and thank you for joining us and kindred and on i'm gonna hear those ye yelling meows in my sleep yeah, it's a shame they're always so loud, even though I turned it down to, like, literally one from the bottom. Oh, man. So much for teaming up with the Serial Destroyer. I mean, uh, we got a good ending where we took him out and we became the serial killer of the town, so... I I'd say that's the good end. I thought being murdered was the good end, but nah, us murdering Sensei and taking his place, that's the good end. That's fun. <laughs> oh, thank you for donating the food funds, Kindred and on. Lily Demon Nerd, foot time! Bleep bleep pillow came in yesterday and it's so soft. 
put it next to my bed and now bleep bleep watches over my sleep bye you oh thank you so much do you mean the bleep bleep and shiro one from the road trip collection if so i hope you enjoy it that's awesome i can't wait to get mine and use it as like a center back pillow kind of thing but yeah i'm glad you got yours already that's awesome bleep bleep is adorable in fact let me get my own bleep bleep there we go. <laughs> Thank you for donating the food funds, Lily Demon Flag. I hope you have a wonderful... E Lily Demon Nerd. Sorry, I combined that with a red flag in my brain because I read that in a different comment. Hope you have a wonderful evening, Lily Demon Nerd. Um, Sissy. By the way, for a short visual novel, have you ever heard of Perfect Apocalypse? Uh, cute puppies and hot evil guys. May not be safe for streaming, but puppy. <laughs> okay. Got to add that. Per... Effect apocalypse. Oh, they're like cute, cute. They're not like. Ah, when you you said cute puppies and hot evil guys, and I was like, oh, sexy. And then I saw the art, and they're like, oh, they're cute, cute. They're like super deformed, cute. <laughs> um, that's okay. That's very cute. It's not my style. Thank you for telling the food fun suits today. I was so ready for like sexy evil dog voice. <laughs> Nako, hi Fuchan. Thanks for playing my favorite game. This is your favorite game? It's fun to watch you enjoy with them. I look forward to the next one. Yeah, me too. I'm looking forward to Marshmallow. In fact, yeah, if you're going to buy this game and play by yourself, if you don't want to be spoiled, don't do what's his name's route either. Uh, Psyche. I'll try to get through Psyche's and Marshmallow's next time. Since we'll be able to fly through like every other dialogue choice other than like the ones we actually want to do. It shouldn't really take too long. It should be fine to get through two of them. Thank you for donating the food funds, Nako. You can definitely do the Seito Kaicho's route. I'm going to be honest. I, I avoided him like the death plague. Um, I'm probably not going to go through his route in the next one. But yeah, I'll go through Psyche since he, he seems like he's got something hidden there. He was a very good bro. We'll see how that goes. Probably get murdered again. I'd imagine none of these endings are going to be actually happy, happy. <laughs> Thank you for donating the food funds, Narco. Have a wonderful evening. Marineth. Oh no, he's hot, but a psycho. Me next, Sensei. I know, right? When he was like, can you really accept me? And I was sitting there like, I mean, if you want to work together, I mean, this game's a work of fiction. If you want to become serious. The thing is, being a serial killer in real life would be tiring. Exhausting, even. There's a lot of work that goes into that. You gotta always be watching your back. You gotta like clear up every bit of evidence. It just sounds stressful. Fuck that shit. In fiction, however, <laughs> if you offer me to be a serial killer in fiction, I'm like, you know what? Yeah, okay. I'm gonna, I'm, I'm gonna have fun with my sensei. <laughs> Thank you for turning the food funds, Marinette. You may hire. Dude, this was fun. The smile I had on my face during the endings, messed up but enjoyable. So. TY for the stream, Fuchan. Thank you. I enjoyed it too. Like I said, I had no idea which direction this was going. I was pleasantly surprised. It, it could have gone any direction. <laughs> oh, I can't wait to play the other two routes next week. And the voice acting. My God, it was good. The music ended up fucking slapping. It was also atmospheric and well done. Sound effects were even pretty good. Pretty random sometimes. I think if there was one problem, they did lead into the randomness a bit too much. But... Maybe that'll change like when we go down Psyche's route if there's actually a reason for his randomness. For the reason that he like makes no sense, but he can make sense. Like there's something there. There's some deeper level to him. We'll find out. But yeah, a, a lot, a lot of randomness. At least with the teacher's like necklace thing. I wonder if that's why he started normal but became more and more unhinged as he went. When we started the game, they mentioned all the missing middle school kids, which must mean another middle school kid had just gone missing. So, maybe he just killed then, and so he was in, like, the sanest point of his life. He was relaxed, he was chilled, he'd just gotten a kill, he was happy. And then as he got, like, more attached to us, as he got more wanting to add us to our collection, he started to see us as a corpse by that point. And that's why he started, like, never knowing our name, but also, like, seeing the necklace, which was just, like, choke marks around our neck. He was already planning to make us his next victim. And so his mind was going all kinds of random places and like just creating images in his head. Huh. It'll be interesting if this game gets that deep. <laughs> Marshmallow's route is definitely going to be interesting since even staying off of his route, we managed to see like three of the seven mysteries. And yeah, 
They were getting very horrified. We definitely went into another world at one point, but he slapped us out of it. Hmm. He really said, Choke me like you hate me, but you lo love me low key. Want to date me when you taught me? <laughs> yeah, pretty much. That said, so good times. Good times. Ah, I'm just another one of the people in the face album. A face album? Just another face in the album at this point. It's a happy ending for somebody. Yuki Ki Temper Pest. <laughs> I do. I just bought the game. I'll do student president justice. Can't wait to play it uncensored. Yeah. I think next time I will play it well. Yeah, you know what? Screw it. We'll roll those dice. No, we won't roll those dice. For all I know, one of the scenes is going to have more than just a little blood. There's also the possibility that that scene where I was wiping down Sensei. No, it said I went into his pants, so he's definitely had his pants on. But meh. We'll play it on. We'll play it on safe mode just in case. Just in case. <laughs> Do it, coward. Do you want an unlisted VOD? Do you? <laughs> Maybe try off stream to see how bad it gets. Then I'd spoil myself. <laughs> it's fine. It's fine. We'll play on streamer mode. The little censorship bars are more funny anyway. Especially on that marshmallow one where it was just him topless in the rain. We fell on top of him. Like that censorship thing made it look much more dirty than it actually was. <laughs> but Chan, you realize you also have a necklace sort of? I'm telling you, this game was made by me. Oh, well, not made by me. This game was made for me. That's why Sensei kept calling me Fufu and Fufufu as well. It wasn't laughing in the text. He was literally speaking to me. He was saying, I love that necklace. He was breaking the fourth wall. He was talking about my throat too. He was calling me Fufu. Everything was going exactly as I wanted it. It's, yeah, goddamn. <laughs> Thank you for donating the food funds, you Yukiki to Tempest. I hope you enjoy the uncensored version and enjoy the Seito Kaito route. Anastasia. Thanks for the stream, Fuchan. Reminds me of the game Sucker for Love a bit. You get to date Eldritch Gorge. It seems up your alley. That's also on my list. Um, we were actually possibly going to play that with um, br 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 the same group who did uh, thingy thing. Prom. Zombie pro prom. Prom? <coughs> Whatever that shit was called. Something prom that we did with Scala and Pio Chan and yeah. Um, camp. Was it camp? Monster prom. Thank you. We were going to do it with that group, but I think we took too long. Scala played it by herself. <laughs> so yeah, maybe I'll do a run of that in a couple of weeks. Um, but yeah, we were hoping to do that at one point, but unfortunately. Bless you. Thank you. I'm going to drink some water to clear my throat out. Ah, yeah. Hopefully we'll get monster road trip eventually, though. Anastasia, thanks for the stream. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> the game was so interesting. Can't wait to see the next route. Yeah, me neither. Marshmallows is the most interesting to me. It'll be interesting to see if Psyche has like a deeper persona to them. Should be fun. Thank you for donating the food funds, Anastasia. Laser. This game felt like a fever dream, but it was good. Yeah. <laughs> Parts of it were just like, uh, that's a bit over the top. Especially, oh my God. Psyche screaming out lines. I'm pretty amazed, man. The moment, oh god, the hello one was the worst one, the Guten Morgen. Where it was just like, Guten Morgen! And it just cut out. God damn. He put his whole effort into that one line. <sighs> oh, mystic. Aren't you fool? Red flags are so attractive in fiction. No wonder Sensei had you in a chokehold. Yeah, I just couldn't escape him. It was almost like he had me wrapped around his finger. Or. I was wrapped around his fingers. Either way. <laughs> Thank you for donating the food funds, Mystic. And yeah, red flags are always fun. That's why, yeah, at the beginning I had to be like, guys, it's fiction. Let's just enjoy this. Let's just be silly about this. Don't worry about it. Yeah, it was a fun time. Seneku Atsufuchan. This game has jump scared me more than any horror game. <laughs> but it was really fun. Yeah, the noises could be very, very jump scary as well. What of his lines in like the song where it's just stuff they said in their sleep? That's so funny to me. <laughs> I wonder if they actually recorded themselves while they were sleeping and they were just like, okay, so this is the shit I said while I was asleep. Kinoko wa tabanai. <laughs> Kinoko wa kirai. <laughs> shit like that. They just wrote it down and they were like, okay, I guess this is a song. Let's do this. <laughs> oh my God. 
Um, though the meow meows made me question my sanity. Yeah, especially when they just kept going. And then it turned out there was a... What was it? A hyena. A hyena was making the meow sounds. <laughs> I like those little moments where it does break the fourth wall as well. Where it's just like, huh, I thought the game was glitched or something. But no, I'm hearing meows continuously. <laughs> Shit was funny. Thank you for donating the food funds. Oh, and the kid, student A, who almost got murdered by sensei. Who possibly did get murdered by sensei actually um his moment of being like isn't this a dating game why is this bgm so weird why is this so creepy <laughs> camille achufu thanks for playing the game i immediately bought the game when you finished the first run gotta have this level of unhingedness in my life good i hope you enjoy it thank you so much for joining us i hope you enjoy the game i hope you enjoy whatever you do you're gonna play it uncensored camille <laughs> But thank you. Have a wonderful evening. And thank you for donating the few funds. Rip student A. Ah, oh, they had such a cool voice too. Hyenas are technically related to cats. Technically, it's pretty far back though. I almost think that hyenas are kind of like in between cats and dogs. In the way that they act. But I don't know which they're closer to. Okay, okay why? Why with the faces? <laughs> no, please. Well, thank you for donating the food funds, Akeske. I hope you enjoyed the stream. Have a wonderful evening. Please rest well and take it easy. Um, bum, bum. Tish, it's your foo. What did you play the game? Definitely makes me want to buy the game too. And I'll definitely choose the psychopath. Is that a pun? Because I mean, every path in this game seems to be a psychopath. But I'll play it on the pun if that was meant to be a pun. <laughs> Eight out of ten. Eight out of ten. All of them are the psychopath. Thank you for donating the food funds, Tish. Have a wonderful evening. Isono, Atsufu. That was an interesting game. Another VOD to add to your messed up games playlist. I don't have an actual messed up games playlist, but I should. We're definitely going to play Doki Doki Literature Club at some time. I'm not sure if that's going to end up being like a Halloween game for us. Or if we're just going to play it whenever I feel like sometime in the future. But I know a bunch of people have been like requesting that. So we'll do that at some point. Um, should be fun. <laughs> I feel like more senpai is the most normal out of them. That should be his route. That's some more. <laughs> God damn it. Okay, now that's a 10 out of 10 pun. I'm angry. I even sung along to that. Well played, this. Oh, no. <laughs> it was a good time. He does have a nice voice, but he abandons us too much. That's my one problem with Mr. Moray. He just keeps leaving us to do our own thing by ourselves. Ah. Thank you for donating the food funds, Disono. Have a lovely evening. Iris Yoru. I think this game is making me realize my type. I guess I like psychopaths. Without the killing. Without the killing of you or without the killing of anyone? Because, I mean, I'm good with them killing other people. <laughs> I'm good with being killed by them at the end, but I want at least a little time, you know, getting to join them, seeing who they really are, man. <sighs> Sensei didn't know what a good thing he could have had. He fucked up. Now he's just going to have to kill new people every other time. Stupid. Stupid. Thank you for donating the food funds. I, Yoru, I hope you have a wonderful evening and please do rest well. NPCs are sacrificed for the content. Always. They don't deserve to live. They're not interesting enough. Moria Senpai was cool though. The teacher as well. And student A. They all had funny voices. <laughs> Claudines, thank you for donating the food funds. The message says, I'm drinking the milk straight from the eel. Are you okay? You shouldn't drink eel milk. I don't think that's good. I don't think that's safe. We gave some to little baby Marshmallow, but that was just to make him grow up big and strong. Oh, God. Realm, I'm here for the weird. I only heard 20 minutes and I already love this game so much. Also, Tuscaru, both VA top quality. 20 out of 10. Aw, oh, thank you so much for donating the few funds, Realm. I'm glad you enjoyed it. I had a lot of fun with that voice acting. Especially Sensei. I don't think I do very good at Marshmallow. I can't really do a young character. <laughs> the only young character... I could do like a five-year-old. Even then, it doesn't really sound like a five-year-old, but at least it has the inflections. But trying to do like a young teenager, I'm just like... Yeah, a, a higher tone voice? I, get I, I don't know. <laughs> I do my best. But yeah, the voice that actor that they've got for marshmallow is incredible I had a lot of fun with that all of them are really good sorry i need to blow my nose again
It really does seem to be voice acting that does that to me. For whatever reason. Um, ba -bum, ba -bum. Acceptable casualty. Thank you for donating food funds twice in a row. Get that sense, sussy cyborg man. <laughs> Intake some. I did. That was a fun route. And also, a donut is a foot long eating its tail. Futoboros. You know? I mean, it's more like a... What do you call those? There's a French pastry, which is just basically a thing of dough covered in sugar that's just a straight log. I forget what those are called. But yeah, that's basically just, yeah, Ouroboros that turns it into a donut. Sensuci. <laughs> yeah, that's an interesting one. <laughs> Thank you for donating the food funds. Acceptable casualty. Have a lovely evening. Macaron. Oh, nowhere near. Churro kind of very different kind of thing from a donut. There's something, uh, oh. in, in England, we called them yum yums. And I know that's not the real name. Let me see if you can actually search that yum yum donut. Nope, that's something else. Um, yum yum paste, bake goods, baked good. What if I do yum yum? Oh, there it is. Yum yum recipe like Greg's. Yeah, okay. Greg's is like a British um pastry shop there we go so they're called yum yums in the uk and they are just if you google yum yum greggs g-r-e-g-g-s um g-r-e-g-g-s yeah look at those they're basically just unraveled donuts they're delicious they're amazing they're sticky as shit <laughs> but no they're really good and yeah they're basically what a donut would be if you unwrapped it have a favorite anime mushishi Although, yeah, I haven't thought about Tasugare Otome X Amnesia in a long time. I saw somebody in chat was like, by, by Amnesia, do you mean the one with the person locking you in the cage? No, not the Amnesia dating game. Uh, Tasugare Otome X Amnesia. I think it's Dusk Maiden of Amnesia in English. But that's really good. It has beautiful music. It's about a ghost in a high school and you uncover like what happened to her in the past and why she's trapped there at the high school. It's, it's really good. The anime actually goes all out and actually finishes it. Whereas, yeah, I, most anime, you know, they just end on a cliffhanger and it's just like, hey, there's more to come. That one actually finished. It was good. I just Yoru. I'm glad I'm here to watch you. I haven't been able to sleep well because I'm dealing with sunburn. Why does the sun hate me? Anyway, bye. <laughs> um, The sun hates us all, unfortunately. It just depends on how good our bodies are in defending us. <laughs> But thank you for being here, Iris Yoru. I hope you rest well. Put some chamomile lotion on it. That'll help. Rest well and yeah, take care. The sun is a deadly laser. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Suzuki, I'll buy this game and play normal mode. Yeah, I hope you enjoy it. I wonder if it is just shirtless. I have no idea. <laughs> I'll be glad to know next time. Since so many of you guys are playing the game by yourselves, you can come back and tell me if it is just shirtless, if it's safe. God. Uh, I, I find it funny that streamer mode just takes out the shirtless scenes. It's just like, you don't need it. It just makes it worse. Like, not worse as in bad. It makes it worse as in, like, it makes things look worse when they cover up certain areas in bad ways. Uh, but I hope you enjoy that, Suzuki. Rest well. Have a lovely evening and thank you for joining us. Um, ba -ba -bum. It feels like it's trolling. Yeah. <laughs> Krista. Hi, Fuchan. TY for the stream. Honestly, being killed on being on the other end, I see it as a win-win. Also, your voice acting was amazing as well. Have a good day. Oh, that's so sweet of you. Thank you so much for donating the food funds, Crystal. Like I said, I had a lot of fun with the voice acting. I always do like doing like dark characters and stuff. So this was an interesting adventure. <laughs> it gave me a lot of chances to do silly things and wild things. So I much enjoyed it. Um, yeah, in a fictional setting, both of those were good endings. I like becoming the serial killer. I also kind of like like the beauty of the character being so enamored that they're just like, yeah, I don't care if I die. Just treasure me, sensei. And then that moment right before they die of still being called the wrong name. <laughs> and then just immediately him calling back to the one from seven years ago, showing how little I mattered. Oh, that was so good. That was so tragic. <laughs> nah, streamer mode, let me fill in the blanks. True. That's true as well. It lets you imagine more sometimes. <laughs> Kiana, thank you for donating the food funds. No message, but I hope you enjoyed the stream today. I hope you have a wonderful evening. 
Um, and there was one the comment grabber didn't grab, which was... Miss Jerry Lawliot. Shuji is one of the top 10 anime betrayals. I don't know what I was expecting with this game, but I'm pleasantly surprised. Thank you for the stream, Fuchan. <laughs> bake fair. Oh, God. I forgot about the bake fair. Take care. Bake fair. When he said another name, I was so angry. Yeah, that's the funny thing. If he had just dropped our real name there, that would have been the perfect moment. The first time he remembered our name, literally as he's killing us and making him part of his collection and saying that we're going to be like the most perfect one because we actually accepted him. That would have almost been a romantic and fucked up ending. And they take that away from you too. It's so good. <laughs> They're just like, hey, kids, maybe don't. D don't trust serial killers to treasure you. Maybe that's a bad idea. Like We don't want to, you know, to have any hot takes here or anything. But maybe accepting being choked to death by the person you love is someone you shouldn't love. <laughs> Finally changed my name back. Yo, welcome back. This is a great game. All of them are my type. I'm going to play. Wish you and every bar have a good day. Thank you so much, Fuafuafuchan. I'm glad you enjoyed the stream. I hope you enjoy playing through it yourself too. Have a wonderful evening. Rest well and do take it easy. Um, I think I missed a few more. The Jolly Ram Rancher. <laughs> what a name. Oh God, where did it go? Uh-oh. No, where'd that super chat go? Oh God, I need to refind it. It was somewhere there. Hello, most respectable and esteemed Folga Sensei. I hope you're having a good day, sir. I did, I had a lovely day <laughs> being a sensei. It's a hard job, but somebody's got to do it. <laughs> that was fun. <laughs> no good ending for problematic. Well, the uh, second ending wasn't too bad. We haven't seen all the endings yet. We don't know for sure. It's as if I could fix him doesn't mean letting the psycho murderer, well, murder you. Uh, there are some people you just can't fix. And then there are some people you're like, I don't want to fix you. Let's make him worse. <laughs> like, that was my thing. I was like, I mean, I could join in, Sensei. <laughs> you don't have to add me to your collection, Sensei. We could do this together. We, yeah, I mean, uh, anyway. Tiff Tiffany. Bye for cute foo foo ah thank you so much for donating the food funds tiff tiffany hope you enjoyed the stream and i hope you have a wonderful evening and iris yoru i wish i could watch scary movies but i'm scared of everything it makes it hard to go out sometimes oh i'm sorry to hear that at least with movies it's fictional um yeah i can't really say like try to force yourself to watch them because that doesn't always work shock therapy doesn't always work but yeah maybe Try to build yourself up to just like slightly creepy things um i think a lot of the people that i like love horror like started with like the silly things like nightmare before christmas maybe that might help <laughs> something that's more spoopy than actually spooky <laughs> something that's more cute and adorable who knows but thank you for donating the few funds and i hope you have a wonderful evening um bu -bu -bu -bum. okay i finally caught up on all the super chats from today i'll continue the ones from tomorrow after these Surikula. Morning. Oh, yeah, with friends is a good idea. That's a very good idea. That way you have somebody to, like, help you pull you out of it and everything. Um, or a romance with a serial killer. Just watch Hannibal. We can't always watch Hannibal. Eventually, we've watched Hannibal too many times. You need to have more serial killer romances, man. Guess my Streamlabs didn't go through. No, I haven't checked Streamlabs yet, Envy Musahashi. I'm still going through Super Chats. I always leave uh, Streamlabs for last says you i mean you can keep watching it it's uh, god damn it fair fair <laughs> cooler. morning fuchan gg this game for me so strange but i have so so much fun seeing you play it have a good day and good night ah thank you so much Surikula. i'm glad you enjoyed the stream i hope you have a wonderful evening too thank you for donating the food funds i'm glad you had fun watching the stream <laughs> luthier achi fuchan Honestly, I fell asleep, but I woke up when Sensei was going to kill you. Good time, honestly. I mean, I am surprised you managed to sleep through all the times Saeki absolutely jump scared the shit out of us and the random loud noises that apparently class bells. Like, but I'm glad you got to catch that part. Love how unpredictable this game can be from Eel Senpai to Chib 
chibi yeah the little chibi sensor does not work at all see why for the va i hope you're having a wonderful day i did it's been a wonderful day i wasn't sure how this would go i wasn't sure if this would end up being a game i'd never want to look at again but yeah Fuck yeah, I'll do a second playthrough. I'll go through two more routes. <laughs> we'll see what happens. I want to fill in those CG scenes. I want to fill in the whole gallery. <laughs> Thank you for donating the food funds, Luthier. Have a wonderful evening. Marineth, it's you foo. It was fun simping with the comfies. Yeah. Can't really help it when someone like Sensei turns up, man. We love our red flags around here. <laughs> Thank you for donating the food funds, Marineth. Okay. I'm going to dive into the super chats from yesterday and then I'm going to go into Streamlabs. Ended up being much sillier than I expected. It's not quite on the level of bizarre fiction, but it is surreal. Yeah, uh, a bit of it is just like a bit too over the top with the like lol random, but yeah, it was a good adventure. It was a fun time. Um, bu -bu -bu -bum. Oh yeah, everybody's coming back. I forgot about that. People are actually going to be streaming again. Thank goodness. <laughs> like, opening up my YouTube studio and it's like, you have so many VODs to check out soon. It's like, oh, cool. Um, ba -ba -ba -bum -ba -bum. Where are we at? How do I? Super chats? Yeah, there we go. Okay, perfect. Oh, we got quite a few today, actually. Oh my God, we got quite a few during Final Fantasy. Wow, I am a dick. I'm sorry I didn't read them yesterday. I thought we didn't get many. It's just because I was playing the game the whole time. <laughs> Iris Yoru, thank you for donating food funds. Nothing like watching my favorite streamer with a sunburn. Oh shit, we got the sunburn comment yesterday. <laughs> um, BB, I'm a sheep. I said BB, I'm a sheep. Seems you're a bit, a bit of a pickle, but dumb. God damn it. Yeah, people misunderstood. It's not that they didn't put pickle in the sandwich. They normally give you like a spear of pickle outside the sandwich. So it's good for like a palate cleanser. That's what annoyed me. But yeah, it was very much a moment of like, he said he don't want pickle. I did want pickle. They didn't give me a damn pickle. Pickle sheep is wrong, foo. That sounds like a sheep problem to me. I like my pickles. The sheep don't have to have anything to do with it. <laughs> Misha, I love sick and sinister games. I had a lot of fun listening in on this one while working. Shh, they don't know. <laughs> Thanks for the fun stream, Foo. I'm glad you enjoyed it. I hope you had a wonderful work day too. And I still love this beautiful artwork. It still feels very Junji Ito to me. Knowing that it's yours is pretty amazing, but still. Very setting for like the stream that we did today. <laughs> Thank you for donating the food, to me, uh, food funds, Misha. La vie. Thank you for donating the food funds. Ba 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 ba. Good night, everybody. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. Iris Yodu, do you think you could play Final Fantasy X 2 one day? It's the one with the girls in it. God, no. God, no. <laughs> I don't mind Final Fantasy X. It's not one of my favorite Final Fantasies. I quite enjoy Final Fantasy X, actually. The twist is interesting. The sphere system is a bit OP for my liking. Killing all the dark junction, uh, the dark summons is no. Uh, Tenzu, definitely not into. Tenzu, I played through that and I was like, oh, that's a thing that happened. <laughs> has a cute little love story, but yeah, no, nah, it's just not the game for me. Um, neither, I mean, I didn't super like 13, but then they, when they went on to like 13, 2, and 3, they don't have a great track record for me personally when it comes to sequels. I think some people like the sequels to 13, but I wasn't even super into 13, so... Crystal Chronicles? I love Crystal Chronicles. I'm not going to play that for a long time. <laughs> if I was going to play something like Crystal Chronicles, I'd just go back to 14. It's like similar gameplay and stuff. Neo Akrad, Atsu and TY for the stream, foo. If I'm going to play another Final Fantasy in the future, I mean, maybe 7R at some point just to catch up before we get like 7R2. Um, but also Final Fantasy 8. 8 is my favorite. I would probably play that someday. It just depends on when I feel like it, because that's another long game. <laughs> the good news is, in about like four weeks, maybe, we should be done with both Fada Morgana. We might finish Fada Morgana next week. Um, in fact, we'll definitely finish Fada Morgana next week, whether I have to do one stream or two streams. We'll be finishing off. Um, but we'll be done with Fada Morgana, and we'll probably be done with Final Fantasy 16 as well. So the only long-form game we'll have left on the channel is Zelda... Um, Tears of the Kingdom, which I'll go back to playing like once a week, just as like a Zelzatsudan until the end. 
because we're already like two out of four of the uh, missions through that one as well. But yeah, we're going to be done with two of our three big long games soon, and then we'll be free to play all kinds of things and not lock in any other big games unless I get permission to play Baldur's Gate. <laughs> In which case, I will break my promise immediately and roll. I decided I'm going to do a Warlock. I want to play around with Eldritch Blast too much. Uh, but I'll go High Charisma so I can fuck around and shit. <laughs> but yeah, if we get permission for Baldur's Gate, just immediate. Just immediate. <laughs> anyway, can't wait for your next gameplay in the coming 505 stream. I love both the Sensei endings. Oh, me too, Arkwright. Arc they were fun. Have a nice day and bye, everybody. Thank you. Have a wonderful evening. Thank you for joining us, B.O. Arkwright. Wish they give you permission? I hope so, too. Eldritch Blast time. It's the only thing you need, man. You forgore Danganronpa? I didn't forgore Danganronpa. Danganronpa, I may come back to someday. Danganronpa has a better chance of me coming back to someday than... Um... What was the other one? Fire Emblem... Emblem? <laughs> the Fire Emblem that we played. I'm never going back to Fire Emblem. Danganronpa, I might go back to, but I think if I ever get through number one, I would just go immediately to V3. Ish, yeah, playing through that game a second time when it's so long, Engage, thank you. Emblem Engage. Yeah, not going back to Engage. It's too long and it just, it wasn't good for streaming. Danganronpa wasn't particularly good for streaming either, but I was kind of like, I could force my way through two of these to number V3. And then I realized I, I, so much longer than I remember. <laughs> like, I remembered the plot points of number one. And then when I tried to actually play it again, it was like, wow, it takes a long time to get through these. <laughs> yeah, V3, I've just ever played. Three houses. I love three houses. That's kind of what hurt me about Engage was three houses was so good on the characters. And then Engage was like a real step down on the characters, in my opinion. The gameplay was made easier by the emblem engaging thing you could do. It was it was just different. It, well, I wasn't super into it. The characters weren't great. The callbacks to all characters were like kind of smothered the new characters and made them less interesting. Yeah. Yeah. But anyway, Danganronpa, I'll maybe come back to someday, but definitely not anytime soon. I don't have any plans for it. Um, yeah. It's not that I forgot about Danganronpa. It's just, it's not something that I consider active on the channel. We haven't played it for ages. We're not going back to it for ages. Reina, what's you foo foo? I fell asleep midway, and when I woke up, my internet died midway. Uh-oh. <laughs> Gotta watch the VOD later, but this game killed my brain. As it should. It was pretty damn random. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed it. Have a wonderful evening, and thank you for joining us, Rain. Rest well. Take it easy. Hopefully, your brain won't be dead anymore. Um. Oh, I missed one. Yin! Atsufu-chan! Today is my birthday. Thanks for always streaming. Your streams always make me feel more relaxed. Thank you also to all the confidants who welcome, welcome me as part of this community. Oh, thank you so much, Yin. That's really sweet to hear. Happy birthday. I hope you had a wonderful day. Thank you so much for joining us for the stream. Thank you for the huge donation to the Foo Funds. And yeah, I'm glad to hear you feel accepted in the community, because yeah, confidants tend to be very sweet and accepting with everyone. And we do our best to be like warm and welcoming for everyone. Thank you for donating the Foo Funds, Yin, and have a wonderful evening. There's a new game that's like Danganronpa. Which one? Do you mean Rain Code by the same people? Or do you mean some other game? Wop, 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 wop. Okay. Do, do, do. Got a question, Fuchan? Do you burn easily? No, surprisingly. Since a lot of Irish people do. But nah, my skin's actually pretty good. Maybe it comes from, you know, coming from the future where everything is super high intensity sun that kills you. <laughs> Who knows? It's okay, but if you come back to Danganronpa, gonna look real forward to your voice acting. Yeah, it may. I may come back to that someday. I'm just not focusing on it anytime soon. Like, we're going to finish Final Fantasy 16. We're going to finish Fada Morgana. Eventually, we're going to do the Fada Morgana, like, prequel. I forget what its name is continuously. But we're going to do that eventually. We've got Zelda to finish. We might have Baldur's Gate if we get permissions. Um, and in general, yeah, we've got a lot of, like, short film games that we're going to be playing, as well as all of Spooky Season. Like, I've already planned out all of October, so there's going to be a lot. Requiem for Innocence? Hell yeah. So if nothing else, I wouldn't even say like three months. It definitely won't be for like the next six months. That takes us all the way to like Archivist days. So yeah, I don't really think more than like two months ahead in my own life. <laughs> Only give that away for you know. 
Spoopy season. I like spoopy season. <laughs> Acceptable casualty. Oh my god. Oh no, it got tripled up. Thank you for donating the few funds. Clive wasn't lying. That coop cussy be tough as a God, the coop cussy. Today we got sen sussy. Yesterday it was coop cussy. But you know what? We took that coop cussy down. Now that power belongs to us. <laughs> Strongest DMC player versus weakest Minecrafter. Oh, that's mean. I wouldn't say that Kupka was the weakest Minecrafter. He was a big boy. He threw those dirt clods pretty hard, but yeah. You cannot stand up to someone with Devil Trick. 99% <laughs> pure blue crystal. Oh, God. <laughs> Thank you for donating the food fund so many times. Acceptable casualty. I'm glad you enjoyed the stream yesterday. Damn, that was a lot. Thank you. <laughs> it was an incredible fight. I loved it. It was so good. It was so dramatic. I like to fight against him as normal humans as well, but man, they get so cinematic when you get to like Ifrit versus whatever summon they happen to have of the day. I can't wait to go against Odin. Although I think Baham yeah, Bahamut must be next because we're heading to Sambarek. Quazon! I didn't even have a Quazon button today, damn it. But yeah, we're heading back to Sambarek, so we're probably going to deal with Bahamut before we get to Odin, which is going to be interesting. Dante is good and beast. Yeah, he is. He's a big boy. Play DMC2, please. No. <laughs> no. I've got DMC4 on the channel. Eventually, I'm going to play DMC5. I don't plan to play any of the other ones. Five, I've never played before. Two was okay. Four is still my favorite. I, I, I like the red rose. I like being able to twist the sword and rev it up. I was doing a bit. Oh, okay. <laughs> Clive do be good with his sword. Yeah. It's a big sword and he swings it around so well. He not only has the size, but he also has the motion of the ocean. <laughs> DMC2 is easy to stream, just spam one button. Ah, but then you don't get the points you want. <laughs> Anything's easy to stream as long as you have fun with it. <laughs> um, Kami, thank you for donating the food funds. I love Ifrit. Ifrit may cry 16. <laughs> He don't cry. He just burns things. <laughs> Woodwinter. Bye, you with my little birthday wish, Fuchan. Happy birthday a day late, Woodwinter. I'm sorry I missed that. I hope you enjoyed the stream yesterday, and I hope you have a wonderful evening. I'm a good eh? Thank you for donating the food funds. And your message is a cute little cow emoji. Thank you so much. I hope you enjoyed the stream. And ciao, ciao. Thank you, Fu, for the lovely stream. Your voice kept me going for the late working evening. I'm going to go to bed hugging Bleep Bleep and Zero and catch up on the VOD tomorrow. I hope you enjoyed it when you got to it. Thank you so much. Hope you like the Sheep Sheep and um, Bleep Bleep and Shiro <laughs> things as well. Anyway, Foga, please play DMC2. Is that a meme or something? <laughs> what the heck? Claudines. Eek liver deek. Not cringe at all. <laughs> okay. Okay, whatever. <laughs> I'm fine with that. I know what that means. It's fine. Acceptable casualty. My man invented bread hole. Look at that shape. Honestly, if it wasn't so on the inside of that pastry, if it was instead like, I don't know. Like that looks like a good apple turnover kind of thing. If that was filled with like, yeah, caramelized apple or like cherry or anything like that, that would have been a delicious bread. He would have just invented something incredible. Instead, he just filled it with salt. It's a vine source meme? Oh, okay. <laughs> I know, like, no memes. I'm too old for these things. That's why I like the crazy one. It's not the only, like, active one I've ever, like, enjoyed. Most of them, I just hear them and they're just like, that's stupid, and I move on. Ugh. <laughs> Show me Hadinzoa. Hi, foo. It's my first time sending a super. I just wanted to say, TY for being the person who you are. Even if I'm in the VOD gang, your encouraging words help me get through and make the day a little better. Oh, I'm glad to hear that, Kyomi Hanizawa. And yeah, thank you to everybody who does. Like, obviously you won't be here now. <laughs> but to anyone who is in VOD gang who just only ever watches the VOD after we actually stream, thank you guys so much for joining. Like, I know it takes away a little bit of the impact when you don't get to see it live. And I know my streams tend to be 95% all at the same time recently. They always start at 10 a.m. EDT, so yeah. Sorry to anyone for whom that time sucks. <laughs> but I'm glad to hear that you guys enjoy the VODs and I hope you have a wonderful time. 
Bot Squad gets love as they should. But yeah, thank you guys. Um, ba -ba -ba -ba. Aki, thank you for donating the food funds. The message says, Have a nice day. Thank you so much, Aki. I hope you have a wonderful evening too. And I just showed you again. Ba -ba -ba. I'm trying to lose weight, but also watching you gives me confidence. Have any tips on how to stay motivated? Just stay active, really. Like, make sure you know what kind of diet you want. Maybe talk to a dietitian or a doctor about it. And then, yeah, stay active. Because, like, definitely when I had a problem, it was more about, like, being, one, lazy about actually preparing food, which I still am now, which is why I have a food delivery thing <laughs> where they just give me ready-made meals. I just have to microwave them. It's so fucking easy. Um, but other than that, yeah, my one was more about boredom. I'd be like, oh, there's nothing to do. I guess I'll just grab a bag of chips and like sit around and chill. Um, and also like, yeah, emotional stuff. So yeah, psychology is a big part of it. Take care of yourself and find some exercise that you enjoy. Whether it's like swimming, walking a dog, <laughs> cardio, weights are really good. Weights are actually really good for losing weight. A lot of people don't know that. Is the fact that actually if you put on muscle, it expends more calories just through a general day thing. And you will not put on more muscle than you want. Don't worry about it. So yeah, feel free to like start doing squats and stuffs to build some muscle. Um, but in general, yeah, just whatever you want to get to, work towards it. Keep yourself active. Don't fall into a bad kind of memory, uh, bad kind of headspace of like, oh, I don't like myself, so I'm never going to change. So fuck that. Instead, just be proud of whatever you achieve and keep working towards your goal as much as you can. If you're just looking towards the finish, you're going to feel bad about it. Meanwhile, if you actually like find things that you enjoy doing and change your lifestyle rather than just putting yourself on a diet or an exercise regime to be like, I have to do this for three months. No, make it something you can enjoy and you can do continuously. Then it will probably feel better. And obviously, just do whatever makes you feel comfortable more than anything. Whatever you want to be, whatever you want to do, go for that. But good luck with everything. I feel like I missed a super chat. Oh, I did. <laughs> oh, shit. I was you again, but today. I like spooky season. I buy all of the spooky stuff. Even when it's not Halloween. Yeah, same. I like to go to like those craft stores. I forget what the one I go to is called. Michael's, I think. Like Michael's, they always have like some Halloween stuff year round. But then you hit like August to September to October. And my God. The whole, like, first quarter section is just, like, a bunch of fake ravens, crows, books, jars full of eyeballs. Oh, my God. It's so expensive, though. Honestly, you can get just as good quality stuff from a dollar store. <laughs> yeah, I was about to say, Kami, Michael's are so expensive. And the only thing I've ever actually bought from there are, like, two fake ravens. One's, like, on a tree and one's, like, on a pile of fake books, which are nice. But they were so expensive. <laughs> Meanwhile, if you just go to a dollar store, you can get like similar stuff around Halloween for like uh, maybe one tenth of the price. It is kind of ridiculous. But I like going there and looking, especially since where I live, the Michaels is right next to the bookstore, which makes sense. It's like <laughs> they know their audience. They know their audience. So when I go to the bookstore, I'll just swing by Michaels as well and just look around and be like, ah. He's just so nice. <laughs> I have the raven with the books. Oh, let's go. I love that. They have such cool ideas. Couponing for life. Yeah, I'm, I'll never bother. I, I hate when they send like the shit tons of coupons through your door in America. They don't do that in England. Did you know that that's just an American thing? Every Wednesday, I get like 12 pages of coupons shoved through my letterbox by the official United States Postal Service. And I'm like, the fuck? <laughs> God damn it. But yeah, I just throw them all away. They're just so annoying. It's just, no coupons. Just give me a cheap price normally. How dare. Anyway, thank you for donating the food funds. I miss you. Have a wonderful evening. <laughs> La vie. Thank you for donating the food funds. I like the love heart. The smile makes me want to fight. I feel like you knew that though. I feel like you knew that when you said that. <laughs> Um, let me try to refresh the thing and try to catch Chimu's comment if it's in time. So wasteful, this is true. Yeah, that's the thing. I have to just throw them away every time. It's like, how many trees are you cutting down to do this shit? For people who don't even want them and most of them won't even use them. 
Not gonna lie, I'm not super conscious about the environment, but still, it's stupid. Chimu! <laughs> Hi, Futsan. Japan has had an Orbon holiday until now? Yeah, I heard about that. It's customary to make horses with aubergines and cucumbers to carry the spirits during Orbon. That's pretty freaking cool. I did not know that. I knew like the general gist of like the whole, I know, I know people like do festivals for it and everything. I didn't know you carve up aubergines and cucumbers. That's cute. To carry the spirits during Obon. Fuchan's pickle is now a horse too, maybe. <laughs> yeah, maybe. Maybe that's why they ran out of cucumbers and weren't able to make my pickle. They're too busy turning them into horses to carry spirits. You know what? That's fair. That's fair. I got my pickle this morning anyway. I didn't get it yesterday, but I got it this morning, so... That's my horse today. <laughs> Cucumber horses. I never heard of that. Man, I need to look that up after this. That sounds interesting. Um, blah, 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 blah. Luthier, thank you so much for donating the food funds yesterday. Thank you and rest well. Thank you. I hope you have a wonderful evening. You please rest well and take it easy. And Kindred and on. Otsu, rest well. Ah, thank you so much. I hope you rest well and have a lovely evening. Oh my god. So many of you just... Oh, you're too sweet. Again, say Subaru. Thank you for the stream. Fuchan, rest well. I feel like because I just disappeared so quickly yesterday, so many of you just dropped quick little rest while supers to just send me support. And thank you so much. I hope you enjoyed the stream. I hope you will have a wonderful evening. Thank you for the support right at the end. And you may hire. Thank you for donating food funds. Same kind of thing. Just no message. Just dropped right at the end. Thank you. And I hope you had a wonderful time on the stream. Have a wonderful evening for the rest of the week. Okay. That's all the super chats from yesterday. I'm going to load up stream lamps. Wop, 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 wop. And I also just saw a super chat come in from today. <laughs> Rain, thank you for donating the foo fans. But her months is Mariah Carey season here. Oh no. See. I no, no. I need my October to be Halloween. September and October, we get to keep Halloween. You all can have November and December. You could turn that into Mariah Carey in Christmas season. That's fine by me. Just just give me September and October. It's, it's autumn. The leaves are dying. Everything's turning orange and brown. It's, it's, it's Halloween. Everything's Halloween. <laughs> Let me have Halloween. <laughs> you can have November. I don't care, man. December, you can have it. Take January for all I care. Oh, God. Please. Please. I love full season. Yeah, me too. That's the thing. Ha uh, Christmas is more of a winter thing to me. Or is, yeah, spoopy season. That's more of an autumn thing. We don't get snow on Halloween. If we do, it fucking sucks. That's the sign of a bad year coming. <laughs> but yeah, just just let us have autumn. Just September, October. Come on, man. November 1st, that's you guys. <laughs> then the jolly man comes out. <laughs> Until then, let us be creepy. Creepy then, jolly. Okay, I'm going to start with the super chats from today. And then I'm going to read the ones from tomorrow. Uh, tomorrow? Am I a psychic? I'm going to read the ones from yesterday. Um, okay, so starting from today, Sisteri, thank you for donating the food funds. One of the slogans is literally, I don't understand their words. They posted a screenshot that the developers debating seriously. This line should be universe men taiko, then male baby chicken. That's better for Saiki. <laughs> what the fuck? Okay. I think I might have to find these developers on Twitter. It sounds like they have a lot of fun with their fans. <laughs> Let me translate the Japanese for that phrase as well i cannot oh nani itteru no ka wakaranai nani itteru no ka wakaranai yeah can't understand anything at all they did just throw a bunch of randomness into it it's pretty impressive honestly when even the devs couldn't agree yeah it's like this feels more like psyche to me we have to talk about the d battery we have we have to talk about oh god what else did he say in that game something about monaco he compared two places at one point and I was so lost. <laughs> it goes to show something. They worked hard to make sure it made zero sense. Potato? Yeah, he said like, hey, potato at some point. Oh, God. Monaco and Indonesia. Thank you. <laughs> oh, wait, that might have been the doctor rather than Psyche. But even then, so much confusion. Oh, Sicily again. By the way, for a short visual novel game. Oh, that's perfect. Apocalypse again. Yes, I have now. <laughs> The artwork is too cutesy for me. I, I I need sexy in my evil characters. I I'm sorry. I I, I 
and judge games based on their appearances. <laughs> we are going to play Coffee Talk eventually. Coffee Talk definitely doesn't have like a sexy look to it. It's more of like a soft, gentle, relaxed kind of look. We'll play that one eventually, though. I've heard that has like good emotional connections to things. So, yeah, that'll be the first one in a while that isn't like sexy. It's a visual novel. <laughs> Shirtless vampire men? Wait, really? Wait. <laughs> Called you a potato. That might be him calling you short or lazy. Please don't say you are lazy. That sounds oh, what crazy. And I know, yeah, yeah, coffee talk's pretty short as well, so that should be good. And two? Maybe two. If we're allowed to. <laughs> we'll see about that one. But number one for sure. Valhalla as well. Valhalla someday. I said this recently. I've already beaten that game twice. So, um, yeah, I'll, I'll have to be feeling Valhalla again. Like, I've already done that. I like Valhalla. It's a good game. But trying to go through that again on stream when I've already done it twice is, yeah, a bit painful. Ksenia, thank you for donating the food funds. This game is amazing and your reactions are priceless. They messed with my head so many times. <laughs> Thank you for donating the FIFA. <laughs> it was a fun time. The game was awesome. Who's your fave? Fave of what is the question? What about Valheim? Don't have any plans on going back to that unless all of Noctix plays it. That's the rule. Me and Alvin agreed we'd play that if Noctix played it, but I mean, now everybody's on to uh, the, uh, the zombie game. Who's your favorite Valhalla character? It's actually the main girl. It's the bartender. I do like um, the robot body girl who works as an adult entertainment industry member. Um, but yeah, the idol had some fun moments as well, but I, I, I just prefer the main girl. She's freaking cool looking. I like how she just gets drunk most nights and just chills. <laughs> All the pixel art of her is amazing. So yeah, even though it's very self inserty I just like her chill vibe and everything. Of course you do. Of course I do. She's a bartender. She's a cyberpunk bartender. How am I not going to love her? <laughs> God damn it. But I do like, yeah. Second favorite is definitely the adult entertainment industry. <laughs> Girl. Good times. Good times. Um, Hope. Thank you for donating the few funds. So bummed I had to work all day. You had a great stream. But on a positive note, we get to go to the fair tonight. <gasps> I hope you have fun at the fair. Let's go. Is it a normal fair or a ren fair? Those are two very different things, and I know which one I prefer. <laughs> but either way, congratulations. I hope you have a wonderful time tonight. Thank you so much for donating the food funds. I hope you enjoy the VOD when you get to watch it. This game was very interesting. Relatable character? Very relatable character. Olga coded? I mean, I'd almost say I was her coded. <laughs> Rather than that, but sure. <laughs> Envy Mizuhashi. We can start and finish wars. We're what called the dinosaurs. We're the asteroid that's overdue. The dinosaurs choked on the dust. They died because God said they must. The new world needed room for me and you. This entire Arakawa route. <laughs> yeah. Get you a man who would destroy the whole world for you. Shit's good, man. Shit's good. What's a red fair? Oh, no. A ren fair. Ren fair is short for renaissance fair. So it's one of those, like, nerdy ones where people dress up like many evil characters and they sell, like, chicken legs and other old-timey food and there's a bunch of like medieval stuff being sold as well. And they normally have like big dra dramatic like reenactments of fights or silly little jousting competitions and sword fights and stuff. It's good. It's fun. It's a hell of a day though. It's a hell of a day. Have you ever been to one? I have been to Ren Fairs twice. The first time I really loved it. The second time I quite enjoyed it, but I was there for a couple hours and I was like, I'm tired. I want to go home. Why do all the shows not start for ages? <laughs> So yeah, there hasn't been a third time. <laughs> Did you get a big turkey leg? Nah, I ended up just like having normal food. I, I, I like the idea of a turkey leg, but I'd have to have one at home. I can't imagine walking around on a hot summer's day with a ton of bugs <laughs> holding a giant leg of turkey. <laughs> yeah, I, I think a, a turkey leg is the type of thing I'd rather have at home. <laughs> but yeah, Ren Fairs are fun. I have good memories at Ren Fairs. Step, thank you for donating the few funds. No need to read? Okay. Aww. I'm glad to hear that step. Honestly, 
I would say like 98% of the population goes through that. Probably like 5% goes through that like on a relatively often basis. But yeah, it just, it happens. You have to deal with it when it comes along. So I hope everything works out for you. Do keep working at it. You're doing fantastic. Thank you for donating the food funds. Have a wonderful evening and please rest well. Did you dress up for it? Yes, actually I did. I wore a black and gold tunic with a very nice leather belt and some pantaloons and big old boots. It was a fun day. It was a fun day. I like fantasy and I like black and gold coloring. But yeah, it was nice just hanging out and chilling. Um, I think that was the first time. The second time I didn't dress up. <laughs> the second time I was lazy. The second time I was very much checked out. Yeah, the whole thing of it being like, this is a long day, man. I, I think I've had enough. <laughs> Would you ever wear a kilt, Fuchan? I've worn a kilt a couple times in the past. I don't mind them. Um, They do make me very self-conscious. <laughs> because it's not something I wear like often at all. I don't even wear shorts often. Like, even when I'm at like, my most comfiest, I'm either just like completely naked because fuck it. Or I'm wearing like sweatpants. I very rarely wear shorts and expose my leg. I, yeah, kilts I've only worn like a couple of times in my life. So the times that I have worn them, I'm like, the breeze, the breeze is scary. Oh God, how much am I showing? How much am I showing? That kind of thing. <laughs> you don't wear shorts when I walk into Fogger? I've just never been super into them. I don't know. I mean, like, I just feel like sweatpants are good enough. Like sweatpants are loose enough. You get a nice breeze in them anyway. Um, shorts just expose more stuff and it's like, they don't really feel much cooler than me. Anytime I've actually worn them, I've just been like, nah, I'm good. I'm good. <laughs> um, Share Bear, I will say thank you for donating the few funds, but you said not to read it, so that's cool. Oh, let's go. Really glad to hear that. Congratulations, Share Bear. Thank you for donating the few funds. Have a wonderful day and thank you so much. Oh, my God. I have the same feeling when I put on a skirt. <laughs> Fair. <laughs> Sun's out, legs out. No. Sun's out, buns out. What you want to do is just wear nothing down there. Just go outside, lay down on a bench or something, and just tan your butt cheeks. Your butt cheeks need to get a tan, man. <laughs> Sun's out, buns out. Um, ba -ba -ba -bum. Oh, no. I missed a super chat. One minute. Let me see if the comment grabber grabbed it. Yeah, it did. Holy shit. Good job, comment grabber. Oh wait, Ali. GG today, foo! Possible game tip for the future? Thronebreaker, The Witcher Tales. And through always giving inspiration for my future studies, for my thesis and future PhD with what you do. Number one, god damn, congratulations on heading towards a PhD. That's freaking amazing. Yo, good luck on the thesis though. That that yeah, that takes forever. I hope it goes well. I hope I pronounced is it or Ali rather than Awe Ali? Either way, thank you so much for donating the food funds. Game of Thrones Thronebreaker. I haven't actually heard of that one. Thronebreaker. The Witcher Tales. Oh, it's the one based... Oh, it's the Gwent one. Got ya. Uh, I like The Witcher. Do I like the world that much? <laughs> At some point, we'll probably play Witcher 3. It's got to be one of those ones like Legend of Zelda, A Link to the Past, and like Final Fantasy VIII, where I'm going to have to be in the right headset, where it's like, you know what? I, I, ju I just feel like playing this now. But that's like, yeah, that's not one that we're going to play anytime soon. That is very much one of those things where I'm going to be like, hmm, you know what? It's time. It's finally time. But yeah, now is not the time. Witcher 3, definitely though. One of my favorite games of all time. We'll probably just get up to like the Bloody Baron. The Bloody Baron is honestly one of the best parts of Witcher 3. We'll probably finish the Bloody Baron side quest. Then I'll be like, you know what? That's been like 12 hours of gameplay. <laughs> it's a long game. Exactly. <laughs> the Witcher 3 is one of those games. You could either finish it in like 20 hours or you could finish it in like 120 hours. So I don't think I'll ever plan on like finishing that game on stream, but just like... Playing a bit, showing off how cool fucking Geralt is. God, I love him. <sighs> There's so many versions of it now. It keeps getting upgraded. Dude, you can't do 12 hours. That's impossible in my mind. 
I mean, I could. <laughs> but the full gameplay would be so good. Here's the thing. How many people would stick around for it? <laughs> there is some game, like if it's a new game, like I don't mind how badly things do when I'm playing like Final Fantasy 16 or Fata Morgana. I don't mind that. Whereas when we're talking about locking myself into 80 hour game that I've already played, that's where I'm like, I enjoy this, but at the same time, I've already done this. Like a lot of the thing about games for me is like seeing how the story unfolds. Um, so yeah, for me, having it be a new game makes it a lot more interesting for me to do. Whereas when it's something I've already played and beat twice or sometimes three times, I'm like, I have to be in the right mood for that. <laughs> I haven't played the Witcher series, so I'd probably watch, but I felt like this, uh, but felt about the story novelty. Hmm. We can do Rakuen or Fire Emblem. Challenge accepted. Oh, you mean like 11 hours at a time? <laughs> Nah, I think my 11 hour stream days are over. Fuck, we hit six hours again today. Shit. Boss. <laughs> oh, fuck. Bollocks indeed. We always keep doing this. We're supposed to be doing shorter streams and, you know, making sure I don't work too hard, especially when I've got six streams in a row. And I have a meeting tonight and I have recording sessions tomorrow and. Uh, Claudine's! I like no pants, gamer foo. Fight me. <laughs> this is for my dear rain. Okay, I will tell you, unlike certain other streamers, I never stream naked. Like, I know there are certain people who sit there and stream, like, either in their underpants or naked, and they joke about, about that. That's not me. I, 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 when I do sit down, I have a leather chair, so that shit's not great. <laughs> naked flesh on leather chair in the summer? Not good. Not freaking good. <laughs> Oh, yeah, no. If I'm not wearing pants, it's because I'm just relaxing at home. It's not when I'm streaming. <laughs> oh, man. <sighs> Try to take your break and sometimes dreaming so much is because we have a lot of fun. Yeah, pretty much. I keep saying, like, oh, we'll do short streams and, like, oh, I'll take more days off. And then I'm like, but I want to play lots of things. My new excuse is, hey, I need to finish <laughs> Final Fantasy 16 and Fata Morgana. I can't take any days off. I mean, I gotta get them done before like mid September so we can properly prepare spoopy month. Just like just 10 more minutes. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> Thank you for donating the food funds, Cloudy. <laughs> okay. Wait, I have to do yesterday's stream labs. Whoops. Um, there weren't many though. Yeah, there's only three. Sister, thank you for donating the food funds. Rest well, Futan. There's a bunch of Z's, so I'll, I'll translate that as that. <laughs> Ren lost set. Thank you for donating a few funds. Have a fun adventure, Fuchun. I'm going to sleep first. Many pats to Doggo, Cat, and Cat. But take care of Fuchun, every ba. Aw. You don't have to take care of me. I'm the serial killer in this story, remember? <laughs> oh my god. But thank you for donating the food funds. And Ksenia, thank you for the huge donation of the food funds. There's no message there. But thank you so much. I hope you enjoyed the stream. I hope you have a wonderful evening. Okay. Blah, 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 blah. And that's that. Oh, God. Many people were donating because of my membership post. Fight me, chat. Um, but yeah, those aren't ones that came during the stream. Thank you for donating the food funds, everybody. Thank you for joining the stream today. This was a weird one. <laughs> I actually... I. I I bought this game because I was like, I'm going to play this myself um, during the stream visual novel sale. So I bought this game and then I was like, I wonder if I could actually play this on stream. It doesn't look too on. They have a streamer mode. And so, yeah, I asked for permissions thinking I'm never going to get permission. And then they gave it to me and I was like, huh? Oh, okay. C cool. I guess we'll see how that goes. <laughs> and it was pretty good. It wasn't too dangerous. It was pretty fun. Um, had some dark themes. I feel like, <laughs> yeah, especially that one thing that I said out of context <laughs> was really bad without explanation. Um, but yeah, a couple of things from this stream could probably get some people in trouble, but I, I think we'll be fine. I, I think our community is fine with these kinds of things. We made our way through Fata Morgana, which is a much more realistic and much darker kind of fucked up because yeah everything's so real in that one despite you know the magic and everything so i'm sure we'll be fine with this one I'm sure we'll be fine anyway this was good 
Thank you all for being here. We will definitely continue the marshmallow route and... Uh, God, I keep forgetting Psyche. Okay. Because I keep calling him Psyche as if it's S-I-A. But yeah, no. Psyche. S-A-E. And the Psyche route next week, probably. I should say probably because maybe the week after. We'll see what happens. Either way, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Psyche K. Exactly. That's exactly where my head goes. Psyche Kusawa. Judgment Night Self. Anyway, we're going to head out for the day. Stop giving me 10 minutes more, idiot brain. Let me sleep. Oh, not sleep. Let me go walk dog. God, another six hour stream. Everybody have a wonderful evening. Thank you so much for joining me today. Rest well. Have a lovely evening. We'll be back tomorrow for a membership stream. I'm just going to be writing Legardus 505. Don't worry if you can't make it, but same time as always. If I can't write Legardus 505, if I end up in a in a brain empty kind of mode, may, maybe we'll watch some more. Um, yeah, like if I can't write more than like two to three paragraphs within an hour, maybe we'll switch over to like The Last of Us and we'll watch two more episodes of that. But hopefully it will be a good writing day and we'll get some work done on one of the chapters. Uh, I'm going to start by like listing themes and stuff, so that'll be good. Either way, have a wonderful evening, everybody. As always, do not be led astray. And I will catch you guys next time. Really cut off my music early there. I didn't like not having any music while I talked. Anyway. Thank you guys so much for joining me today. I hope you had a wonderful time. <laughs> no, we're not going to do react content like that. <laughs> React content for certain shows is okay. Reacting to random funny videos. No, that's not something we really do here. Okay. Thank you to everybody who joined the membership today, including Dodo, Shironya, Eddie Hazuka Sheep, Shidanin, X Rain, Now You, Jesse, Shiksama, Lily, Joyo. Astreus, Iju, Connie, Mooney, <laughs> Morphid, Maru Maru, thank you so much for the 10 gifted membership. Hope you enjoyed the stream today and I hope you have a wonderful evening. Evol Poo, Adri, Mautian, thank you so much for the 5 gifted membership. Gracie, Jeff Kuzu Sara, Sea Bunny, thank you so much for the gifted membership. Marchi. Misha Dastardly D, thank you so much for the five gifted membership. Ceylon. Renault Papart. Azreen Isaac. Season Salt, thank you so much for the gifted membership. May Kayamon. Uma. SH12 Pen. Mormeg. Yang Cha Cha. Adri. Tori, EMS Nava, Mickey Tatan, Caitlin Struss, Jocelyn, Anami Chan, Camille, Atsu, Fenny, Mooney, Lorien, Alice, Jules, Lindu, KM, Kinya, Dan, or Nap, Yuyukiki to Tempest, thank you so much for the five gifted membership. Suzuri, thank you so much for the ten gifted membership. Hope you had a lovely evening and I hope you enjoyed the stream. Ash Shigure, Ellie, Shiori, Orchid, Share Bear, Kasumi Hayase. M. Jane, thank you so much for the five gifted membership. Lavi, thank you so much for the five gifted membership. Luther, thank you so much for the gifted. And finally, Natalie. Oh, and finally, Tam. <laughs> thank you for sneaking in there. I hope you all have a wonderful evening. And I'd also like to say a special thank you to the mods who always do incredible work. But today, there was a lot to do with <laughs> because of the nature of the game because of everything going on so thank you guys for working so hard as always i hope everybody has a lovely evening do not be led astray my confidants and i will catch you guys next time
Kino Kyo wa Kira I, Kino Kowa Takerai.